everyone, welcome back to Exandria Unlimited Calamity. I'm your humble GM, Brandley Mulligan. You, uh, you wouldn't believe what just got said right before we jumped on camera. Uh, but you know what? We'll save that for maybe some BTS. I don't know. You can all find out later. Maybe when I maybe when I do my little no, my little takeover. It dies with us. The secret dies with us. Folks, <laughs> if you're tuning in, this is the fourth and final episode. What do you mean? Of Exandria Unlimited uh, Calamity. AKA the fun one. The fun one. <laughs> the fun one. Uh, a return to an age of Arcanum and that age's ending. Here in the world of Exandria, you've been kind enough to follow us for our first three episodes. You know that things are looking grim for the Ring of Brass. Uh, it is a, a true pleasure, honor, and joy to play at the table with all of these six amazing people. Uh, and it is a pleasure, joy, and honor uh, to play this game and share it with all of you at home. Thank you for watching. Uh, this is a story of tragedy, loss, and betrayal. Um, and we uh, hope that you know that within those tales of woe, those grim tidings, uh, we tell this story for a love of stories and for all of you all at home. So Aww. thank you very much for watching. Um, uh, I'm buttering you up because I'm about to make you quite sad. <laughs> uh, uh, with that, we'll throw it to Marisha Ray. Oh boy. I'm nauseous, but I've got announcements. <laughs> so, uh, get ready, because next week we have a very special one shot <laughs> a familiar problem. Sprinkle's incredible journey. Oh. Totally the complete opposite end of the spectrum of what, what this is What a tone shift. So yeah. if, you, um, if you want a palate cleanser <laughs> after this, it should rest on your palate like a nice fresh sorbet. Yeah. Our animal Ooh. adventures will include both critical role favorites that you'll recognize, as well as totally new creatures played by our own Alora Bailey, a Matt Mercer, oh. a Travis Willingham. Oh. Alongside our wonderful guests, Isabella Rowland and a Heidi in Closet. Yeah. <laughs> this incredible journey will air Thursday, June 23rd at 7 p.m. Oh. Pacific on Twitch and YouTube. And the Familiar Problem One Page RPG, designed by myself and Grant Howitt, will. Mm. Yes, yes, uh, yes. Will be available from your friendly local game stores participating in Free RPG Day on June 25th. Mm -hmm. You can learn more at DarringtonPress.com. 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 Oh, there's more. Also, it's DM'd by me. Did I say that? Whoa. I'm running the game. Whoa. 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 <laughs> this is a friendly reminder that Critical Role Campaign 3 will return on June 30th, which is the last Thursday of the month. So Ooh, we will see you back then. Good announcement. Okay, Brennan, murder us all. Hey, 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 um, hey, um, hey, um, um, um. Well, <laughs> the, listen, I don't plan to murder all of you because I think some of you may murder one another. Oh. Hey, we're having a fun time. Okay? I don't even know. Don't I surprise? <laughs> <laughs> I will. What the spells. fuck? <laughs> what is Betrayal, murder, ruin, the ending of an age. A tragedy of calamitous proportions. Uh, with all of that said, steady yourselves for the ending of the tale to come on tonight's episode of Critical Role. <laughs>
Go back. Go back. <laughs> hey, gang. He can't start it. <laughs> yeah. Get it on now. We haven't started yet. Get it on now. We're all still oh, there. We're, 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 we're fine. Say we're we're this today. <laughs> Fire. <sighs> Everything feels slow. There is movement and there is heat. But the only noise you can hear despite all this chaos, his breath, it's yours, but it's also a stranger's. Things are expanding once again, Xerxes. Fire moving outward, fast at first and then slow, as though through glass time Near you in space is your oldest friend, Nidus, and the oldest friend of your husband, Evandrin Laren. All of you are suspended in time, the beginnings of a force more powerful than you have ever felt are starting to pick you up off the stone floor like paper dolls. Before you, the sundered tree of names is erupting into fire. And your companions, Patia and Loquacious, standing right next to it, you, in frozen time, will have a front row seat to see what happens to them. It frozen time? What? Yeah. I'm gonna throw up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just make sure you do it right in the middle. Yeah. 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 PTZ to capture it. <laughs> uh, the first thing we are going to resolve is the branches of the tree of names that struck out at each of you. We can just pretend like that didn't happen. It yeah, happened. One d six plus two damage. <laughs> and Rolls you roll a one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Falling off a phone. Uh, Patia, you take seventeen points of damage. Uh, and that's how today's gonna be. Uh-huh. Loquacious, you take uh, nine points of damage. Okay. Um. <gasps> good reaction. The trees branches, you see Xerxes, one glances off of Quay's arm, the other one lands a more forceful blow right under Pace's clavicle, going into the very top of her torso. And is it inside of her? Um, in the moment that those branches hit you, the limbs of the tree that they are attached to are being rent asunder by fire. So all of this is happening in a fraction of a fraction of a moment. So you tell me we've been like 0.3 seconds <laughs> of like the... actual time. <laughs> <laughs> That's the sound. I'm going to need a constitution saving throw from Pesha. Unusually, Pesha, you want to fail this. Ooh. And I'll let you know that the DC is only an 18, but you want to fail. Come on, get, come on, Pesha, fuck this up. Yeah, fuck this up, Pesha. Fuck this up, Pesha. Crash, 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 roll. Yes! I rolled a three. Plus what? five for an eight. Woo! There it is. My God. Failure! <laughs> The devil is a liar. <laughs> oh, that sent me way back. I'm gonna explode if we ha we haven't gone like one second into the session. No. No, no, no. Uh, we're resolving everything that happens in response to the tree of names being destroyed. Yeah, we're in the zero, zero point yes. territory. Yeah. Wow. Um, Still looking for that one. 
<laughs> on the hunt for the one. On the hunt. Uh, Pesha, incredibly. Um, 39 points of damage. Um, I want to ask you, um, your arm touching the tree, uh, are you weakest, do you feel, at the elbow or the shoulder? No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you gotta cut this shit out, man. He's all Hannibal. It's all Hannibal time. Uh, Just, uh, at the elbow or the shoulder. I imagine after decades of fantastic posture, the elbow? Thankfully, you fail your constitution save, so your arm severs at the elbow joint as the blast throws you away, so you are not pinned to the tree and have some chance of surviving what is to come. Uh, you watch Xerxes as you are being lifted up. Uh, the arm partially fused to the Tree of Names pulls and pulls and pulls. Pesha's slender elven frame. Uh, it's too slow. You can only hear your own breath, so you do not hear the <laughs> pop of the joint coming apart and the ripping of sinew, muscle, and skin uh, as Pesha leaves her right arm from below the elbow in the tree as she and Loquacious are being blasted backwards. It is at this time that you feel some of the spell effects reaching you and Laren and Nidus mm -hmm. as well. Um, as they are reaching you, um, and I say spell effects, but to be more accurate to say magical effects. Okay. Uh, you still feel a protection from good and evil on you, which may give you some ability to resist certain of these. Just, just so we get it out of the way, are we within 10 feet of him? Yes, you are. Oh, good. <laughs> Love you. Gonna be a, oh. a king, an icon. Um, a good question. We so now we're gonna, we're gonna pause here. Oh. Un unfortunately, to take a break. Uh, we're gonna take a little break. Yeah, uh, that was a lot. I do. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're going to pause here. Um, where is Pesha at currently? Hit point wise. Forty nine. Okay. Um, what is going to happen now? Um, is we're actually going to have to do a fair amount of dice rolling oh, okay. for all of you. And we're still under one second. We're still under one second, correct. First of the first. Yes. We're saying only one person picked up. Uh, this is, we are, we are resolving a number of simultaneous magical effects. So this is, this is a longer version of rolling damage for Fireball. Okay. Cool. Um, so. Wow. wow. Where uh, are you right now? <laughs> Safe! <laughs> oh my God, you're not here. Sarah, not here. Sarah Ooh. fully bounced. Um, well, uh, I'm picking up a faint signal and it's real funky. <laughs> <laughs> is the bond still up? Yeah. Just here. The bond's up on a Does he hear that? Does he hear that? <laughs> we know, but he does. Um, here's mental scream. So, real quick, what I'm going to need everyone here to do is to go over your magical items. And I'm going to need you for each of your magical items. Um, I'm going to need you to roll a wisdom save using your wisdom saving throw. And I'll tell you again right here that for each magical item, you're trying to hit a DC 23. Or a they, DC 23 uh, wisdom saving throw. Let me know each item that fails. Um, Luis, yes. you do not need to roll for your holy avenger. Mother. Oh, I do. Bucker. Well, I'm glad. Thank you, Pat. Uh, everything else I do. Okay. Who's within 10 feet of me? Me! Laren, Nidus, uh, not Dweomer, not Quay, or Patience. This is wisdom save. 
These are wisdom saves. So. Roll them for each magic item you have, and let me know which magic items you did not hit that 23 for. I will for. fail for uh, all of these. You, you too. Too. I, I mean, I will. I, I would have to hit a 20. We'll have to hit a 20? Yeah. Let's roll. I also, will ha well, what do I get Wait, from you? You get a plus five from plus me, five. and you get to roll with advantage against magical effects. Do I get Because of my holy, no. you're not within So I have, so I get a plus eight, and I have advantage? Uh -huh. I love you, you you're motherfucker. Great. You're great. Only if you're <laughs> So, yes, we, uh, we, an important question. We've covered that. You are all, everyone. Oh. Yes. So you change in a third of a second? No, but you, you definitely feel something in your direction that's questioning your loyalty and questioning your friendship. And in spite of all of it, you feel this surge of energy emboldening you. And you absolutely get those benefits. Mm. Mm. Okay. Three, um, you said? Uh, DC 23 wisdom saves, you're rolling for every magical item that you have. And it's 23? DC is 23. It's got, first one's a 22. Okay. Oh my god. And are you, are you all done? I all, I'm all done. Okay, um, let's go through one by one, and you tell me the I, any items that failed that saving throw. Okay. I, I rolled a 17 plus 10 for my Staff of Power, a 13 plus 10 for my Ring of Protection, and a three for my Ring of Mind Shielding. So my Ring of Mind Shielding fails. Uh, Pesha, you immediately take 26 points of force damage as your Ring of Mind Shielding uh, blasts uh, three fingers off your other hand. <laughs> Um, and scatters uh, all of the spells that it's protected you from, scrying spells, spiral into your mind all at once as the force damage begins to shred uh, uh, your ability to remember, your ability to, you also are still processing the legend lore that you just learned all of the secret names of the tree that has been protecting Exandria for 292 years. Uh, but you take 26 points of force damage from your ring of mind shielding, which is gone, disanimated and destroyed in a blast of magic. And I, I would say, especially with it being the ring of mind shielding and the mental strain that Sarah would probably absolutely, as well as everybody else, just hear this like, Blood curdling as she experiences an immense amount of trauma. Um, uh, in with a second, with that, the main explosion is pushing you backwards. This poof, twists you off to the side. You are now twisting almost to the limit of your body's capacity to move safely as you are being pushed through the air. Uh, I'm going to say that images of the legend lore are transmitted across the telepathic bond to everybody. So in this moment, everybody suddenly sees the truth of the Tree of Names as Pesha saw it, that knowledge. As the mind shielding goes, the dams of control and restraint that you've had up your whole life are uh, rent apart. Um, who here has their full list of magical items completed? Uh, I do. All right. Um, uh, uh, Quay. I lost my ring of protection. Okay. I lost my shift weave clothing. <laughs> and I lost my 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 tubes that uh, tubes. send messages to people and things. What are you? However, I did roll a natural twenty. For what? For which one? For the thing that she gave me. Oh and I don't know what that is. It's a, a piece of ether. It's a pure spell slot. It's a it's a, a, a piece of worked ether. Oh. Unbelievable. Oh no. Um, <laughs> That's too pure. Um, okay. Uh, we're gonna roll these <laughs> one at a time. Um, Quay, you take uh, twenty six damage as the <gasps> pneumatic misses. Yes. Is there any moment for me to try to throw uh, my arcane ward around him? Do you have a reaction available to you? Uh, from well, last I, time, I don't remember. If let's, it's, it's I will say in this case, yes, you can throw your arcane ward cool. over Quay. You do. Yeah. You do. Yes. Sweet. So, so, um, e so uh, Xerxes, as you're watching, you see that it's it's so fast. Normally, you can't see it because time is not moving this slowly, but. Uh, Laren, what does it look like as you extend your arcane ward in the slowest of time to Quay? What you see is a like gold, like 
translucent version of her get up from where she's on the ground and sprint and cover him. Sick. Oh, cool. sick. It yes. moves through time, flashing forward. Um, and um, um, as the as the pneumatic missives go, you take 26 points of damage, force damage. As um, your shift weave garments go, you take another 23. Oh. And then uh, on the last one, which is your ring of protection, you take 18. Um, the arcane ward will take 33 of those and it's gone. Okay. So I get back 33 points? It yes. Yeah, it absorbed yeah. it. It took wow. it more, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, Thanks you to all her, see, I'm at 43. Uh, Quay, what form are you? Are you wearing your true changeling form right now? Yes, I would be in my true changeling form. Um, all of you see that uh, m far more of Quay's artifacts are destroyed. The Ring of Protection, ironically, is the first to go. The, the pneumatic missives. Um, your gray fey body is in tatters. Thou as, as the shift weave clothing goes, you are covered in hundreds or thousands of lacerations oh. all over your body. Um, and pure, like, platinum white fey blood is beginning to scatter in time, oh. but in the slowness of time has not yet touched the floor. Hundred, hundreds of thousands? Hundreds or thousands. Of lacerations. Tiny, hundreds tiny. Or, tiny. hundreds or thousands of lacerations. Hundreds of like, thousands? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. It's like I fell off a motor. Like. Oh, God! Oh, like six digits? Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> We are going to go ahead now and get to like the back exactly. row. Nidus. Nidus. Uh, that's me. I, uh... Don't tell him. Prolong uh, it. Defender Scimitar. Success. Hi. Ring of Protection. Success. Yes. yes! Bag of Holding. Failure. Oh. And that's truly only because of my best friend. <clears throat> oh. <Wow. laughs> um, you take... 19. Uh... You take 26 points of force damage. Um, you take 26 points of force damage as the bag of holding, which contains a, an enormous amount of wealth, um, uh, explodes, um, and you feel like magma hot golden coins um, exploding out into your body. You feel the weight of them oh. like burning down through your innards. Like a landmine, like uh, into your body. No bouncing Betty, man. Um, Jesus Christ. Laren. I only have two magic items. Damn. My, my all-purpose tool was a success, but my ring of masks for sending failed. How many, where are you at? What? We have 112. Oh, Jesus. Fine. I did okay during the first fight, so. Um, Laren takes 28 points of damage. Is this, is this <laughs> spell damage or no? No. Okay. Uh, this is force damage, though. Yeah. Um, and you see that your your ring of masks um, shatters, and you watch the shards of your colleagues' faces flying towards you. Um, having concentrated on that ward, you now see unprotected shards of arcane glass and ceramics making their way towards your eyes, uh, neck, and mouth. Uh, we add a second yet. Nope. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Um, hey, episode four. Here we are. Here we are. Um, I mean, honestly, I think you're taking it a little easy on it. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Get out! I'm in my kids! Let's go. Can we take a break? Let's do some yeah, fun walkie talkie bits. I'm making some waffles. Okay. Um, Xerxes. Um, uh, did any of your items fail their saving throws? Um, so all of my magic items, right? Like my, my plate mail plus two, my shield plus mm -hmm. two, everything, everything, everything. I failed my last roll, my shield. Your shield goes. Okay. But you succeeded on everything I succeeded on everything. Okay, thank oh. God. Except I, for the last one. I failed on the last one. Oh, I succeeded on everything except my shield. Because you were rolling with advantage, correct? Yes. Yeah, cool. Good, yeah. good, good. good. Um, I rolled a two and a three on my last roll. Um, that's going to be 33 points of force damage to you as your shield. Mm, force, so I don't have resistance to it. Uh, no resistance to that. Um, 
uh, all of, so, you know, a huge percentage. And again, when those things go, they don't just do damage to you, they are permanently gone. They are destroyed and disenchanted. Um, uh, you watch your shield buckle, warp, and split and feel the warping metal stabbing in, pushing through your plate mail uh, and feel it hitting your side. Um, you look down, your eyes seeming to be able to move somewhat faster here to take more of this in in this moment. Um, everything else was is sort of being disenchanted and erupting, its magical energy erupting. Um, uh, by the way, the save on your staff of power, Pesha, uh, its retributive tr uh, strike absolutely would have triggered um, just probably destroying everybody in the room. Um, uh, so, Meaning had it not. Had it not. Had, oh, okay. had you not made the save on that, yes. that was about oh. to be... I want you to know that you've just dodged a pretty yeah. pretty remarkable bullet. Yes. Um, yes. You look down. Hold everything on is Sorry. being hit and exploding. Um, one of your magic items is not. Uh, your Holy Avenger in its uh. scabbard, you look down, and as force is erupting from the opening seam of fire in the world, you see it does not erupt, it does not explode, it corrodes. It diminishes and rusts, and you have seen this same thing earlier today with a golden bow of one of the heaven's mightiest angels. Your sword is unmade and ruined in the presence of what now comes. I have chills on my back. <laughs> on my back, guys. <laughs> okay. Now we can deal with the fire. Has there been a second yet? Please don't now we deal with the fire. It would make me feel better if you just told me it's been one Resident second. The Exactly. Oh. Um, okay. Um, what is going to happen? Uh, it has not been a second yet. Um, and I will say now, now it gets to, to like almost approaching a second now. That all happens. Thanks, man. Um, uh, um, I am going to need um, everybody here. Um, I'm gonna need everybody here, hold on, uh, to go ahead for me and um, make dexterity oh, saving throws. Pesha and Loquacious will make this with disadvantage. Dexterity. Do oh, do we oh boy, Pesha. Oh, oh boy. Okay. I ain't looking. But do we, we don't have an advantage? Is it a spell or a magical effect? Magical effect, not a spell. Ooh, not a spell. And you have a, uh, uh, Oh, wait. Natural wait. Natural 20. No, <laughs> you don't, because no, my holy adventure oh, is what granted that. Oh, and it oh, just, oh, 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 was good. Okay, uh, the so the, wait, sorry. No, 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 natural 20s in a row. If we roll two more, we win. Yes, if you roll two more nat 20s, we do avert the calamity. Four natural 20s in a row, we win. What'd you roll? It wasn't, it wasn't. Uh, uh, 10, so no, six, six, 16. <laughs> six, I'm sorry, that's hey, okay. Now we know whose fault this shit is. <laughs> Way to go, Pesha. Uh, okay, um, incredible. Just like what my granddaddy. No advantage. No advantage. My granddaddy. No, okay. Plus five. Uh, no advantage, but plus five, that's correct. Disadvantage, I still got a 25. Incredible. Let's go! Incredible. Um, wow. uh, trying to meet? Okay, so uh, you're trying to hit a DC 23. Jesus. That's not it. Oh my god, I did. <laughs> I did. Yours is a plus five? It's a plus five. Cool. I can't remember heart. anything. Okay. Um, what was the DC? The DC was 23. Yeah. <laughs> Any chance my dex has become a plus 20? <laughs> is, there, is that part of the effect at all? Unfortunately, <laughs> no. Great, I'm afraid. Uh, failure. Does the poop retracting okay. within my body? Yes. <laughs> I'm more dangerous right now. Yeah. <laughs> what? How many dice is that? You That's fuck. A lot of dice. Hey, how many All dice D2s. is it? Oh, no. D2s. Though? <laughs> yeah. Two, two, two. <laughs> two. 
Just hey, if it's uh, more than 30, I'm going to call you a cheater. <laughs> if it's more than 30, I'm going to call you a cheater. 30, Straight up. 40. 40. Gary Gygax Jr.? I'd like to report a cheater. Gary Gygax Jr. Oh, okay, Gary. Hey, what's up? Where's my daddy? What's best your bedtime? Okay. Uh, okay. Um, um, everyone here. Takes 20 uh, uh, If you fail the dexterity save, you, if you fail the dexterity save, you take 71. Oh my god! You take 71 points of fire damage. Ha and if you succeed, it's halved to 35. Uh, well, 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 I'm still alive. Um, night, night. Why are you shaking it again? She's gone. She's gone. That's, the, you shaking that's it again? the fire damage. You're a, I hate you. Wait, there's more? There's more. Oh, I'm, I'm going down. Definitely How much was that damage? Out. Pesha's body has been sundered. Wait, like out? out? No, just unconscious. Just unconscious. unconscious. Okay. It didn't knock you on your. Not okay. completely. And we don't want to call this a spell. But, but we're not. He's still going. He's still going. Can, can I like silvery barbs 46. this? <laughs> Wait, can I also silvery barbs this? How, uh, Distract the fire. <laughs> fire. <laughs> um, a tidal wave. Seventy-two. Have to thirty six bludgeoning, uh, but that's all. Know. That's all the same effect. What does so, that mean? so that means that the fire and the bludgeoning, because oh. you're going to be dealing with death saving throws now. So, in other words, that if you if that wouldn't do double your hit points, which I don't believe it does, or did you how, how much? Yeah, does one forty three go over your hit points? I, what was I at? I was at, at twenty three. Yeah. Uh, so what was it? One forty three. Total damage. What's your total. what's your total hit points? You My fail. total hit points were eighty six. So oh. I think that does. Oh, oh no! Oh, uh, it does. Um, yeah. in the eruption of fire, as you twist, the blast hits Pesha, and you can already see Xerxes that Pesha's head twists past the point that she can remain alive as she is consumed in fire. Uh, Pesha is dead. What? <laughs> Are we still under one second? We might be pushing point, point, point nine. No! Point, point, point nine. Um, all of you. I'm unconscious, by the way, because that was you, an additional yeah, 36 uh, points. An additional 36 points. <laughs> oh. so, you are, so you have fallen to zero. Yes. Yes, but you made your save. What's the total again? Um, I believe it was 35 and 36. It's if you made the oh, save. 143 you, between both of them, if you fail. Yeah, I'm, di I'm down. But I'm not dead. Not dead. You are down. So, unconscious, unconscious, dead. dead. Um, <laughs> it was uh, 76. And you us. both made your save, correct? So, we both made, yeah. so yeah, you both made it. So, 76 damage to you both. Fire. Seven, the first one, the first, if you have resistances, the first one was fire, and the second one was well. bludgeoning. I'm, I'm gonna go make some oh, yeah, okay. You're also unconscious? Okay. <laughs> Holy shit! Wait, you're unconscious? I am. Who's alive? Y you two. Laren. Wait, you're out. I'm out, yeah. <laughs> so just these two are up. <clears throat> now. Do you have healing spells? You no! You better! Use them! I'm a full-ass wizard! We got healing potions on us. <laughs> I think they all burned up. I know. I, oh, and I right. will say, this is the final. <laughs> this is the final save of this. Wait, there's moment. more saving? Final one. It's still one second. Um, uh, both of you, oh, yeah. actually all three of our unconscious companions oh, you're be will automatically fail this saving throw. Laren, I'm going to need a strength saving throw. So if you fail, is that two death saves? And I don't saves? get the plus no, five? Exactly. Does his corpse it will, give me it will just plus be, five? It will just be a single death save. Got it. Hmm? <gasps> what is that? It's real. It's real. It's is, like that, is that a natural one. 20? It's a natural one. one. A natural natural one. one. I got a natural 20 on the last one and a natural one now. <laughs> okay. Um, well, well guys, Travis did real good. One good thing I've got my wonder bat in the closet. Yeah. I'll bring it. Oh, <laughs> is that how it works? Yeah. Hey, Brandon, yeah. look at me. Need you to roll low. Yeah. This one is, the, you You have survived the explosion. This is the concussive wave and you hitting the wall behind Is this you. a spell effect? No. No, this is physics. This is, this is physics. <laughs> <laughs> this is the <laughs> You survived the spells only to be killed by science. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the irony. But the this irony. is a mu this is a much lower damage show. This is only 10d6. You padded the walls of the battery oh, in chamber, right? Yeah, is there moss? Yeah. 
30. There's a shit ton of moss, right? 24. <laughs> Half damage for moss. 34. 37 points of damage. Fill up. Oh, thank Sing God! It confidently. And the rest oh, of us fail and take top um, So, Quay, Xerxes, Nidus each fail a death save. Just yeah. the one, right? Just the one. 22 HP. Yeah. The only hit point that matters is the last that's one. That's all you need. That's cool. all you need. Holy shit. Um, <laughs> Mass uh, healing word. Laren, you are thrown out past all of this. And you you leave the calyx. You're like thrown through the door and feel yourself um, moving. Your companions intermittently like th are start thudding into the walls behind you. Um, you forget it. Time slows down. Xerxes. You feel a ripple. You've used your reaction for your arcane ward, Laren, but I will ask for an arcana check from you. 21. Time's down. Ninth level spell coming through. You freeze. This is now, now the time is no longer just slowed because we're in bullet time. Now something is messing with time. You are locked out of it. Boom. You're, you have no reaction. Xerxes, you regain three hit points. Um, as you are moving through space, Xerxes, as you come back to, I just want to go around and ask, though you, as you are like falling into states of unconsciousness and being thrown aside, what is the expression that Xerxes sees on the faces of those that fly through midair in this moment? And we'll start with Nidus. What is happening to you as you sail towards the wall? Uh, I think you see an expression of um, sadness. Uh, I think in this moment, um, Nidus uh, uh, wanted uh, this city to be great uh, and feels as if he's, uh, he's failed. He's, this is his fault. Um, he holds himself responsible for what is happening and his role in enabling it. Um, and uh, is saddened by the horror uh, that has knocked him unconscious. Pesha, the fire enveloping you closest to the source of the blast the last thing it leaves as you twist in midair is your face. What is the expression we see frozen on the rictus of Pesha Porco? I think she processes all of the knowledge that she's just been flooded with. that instant realizes you can hold all the knowledge in the world but if it dies with you it doesn't matter mm. and you just see like grim realization as blood trickles from her eyes Quay you see that expression closest of all as you feel some of Pesha's ribs thudding into your own body. What is the expression that Loquacious wears on his face in this moment? It's not one expression. His body and, and face is now liquid, uh, changing rapidly as he flies through the air. You see his face quickly morph between several different other faces. Uh, the face of Salandrix uh, St Studathorn, the guy that I, I exposed many, many years ago. 
the face of uh, the reporter that I fired, Elena Tuvaris. Uh, the face of Serret briefly uh, whips by. Uh, the face of Laren. Mm. Uh, and then uh, finally, uh, the, the face, it's not a face, it's the mask of the Matron of Ravens is the last one that you see sort of uh, uh, cross over my face. It's a blank white mask, and then I just fall unconscious. And Laren, you behold the ruined calyx. You see hunched at the foot of the broken, fiery tree, having crawled through. <coughs> Vespin, Chloris, long, fiendish arms, and a mask of pain and ruin on his face. You see images behind him. Canalthi in the city with the artifacts from Orwin's office, having just completed the ritual to summon Vespin through. And you see behind him, stepping into the world, a thing older and more evil than your vast intellect can comprehend. What is the expression Laren wears on her face in this moment? Even though she sees all of that, from the moment he turned and Quay told me that he was afraid of what I was in this moment, she never took her eyes off of him. So even with all of this, she's still staring at him and sobbing. It wasn't supposed to be like this. You behold the calyx, the ruined tree, so, so much ambition and greatness and pain and suffering, and it shouldn't have been like this. It should not have been like this. And then time <gasps> stops. Xerxes, you and you alone become aware that truly only you are left moving. You hear your breath. <gasps> but your body is still flying. You're still headed for the wall, but something has restored you. Give me a perception check. This perception check Are will decide our fate. Did you <laughs> Scroll. That one doesn't see a thing. Yeah, it's like, there's a case of healing potions right there. <laughs> I missed it. What's going on with this tree? 14. <laughs> Up above, you know, the tree is expanding. It's destroyed utterly, but it is expanding and moving. It was already, the, the blight was the finishing stroke on it. It had, it had, done, the tithe had already been shorted, the energy to it had already been cut off, there was a, a weakness in it already, the, the calyx needed so much energy to function, and the blight was almost just pushing it over the edge, and it <laughs> went. And you see branches moving, none of them near you, but they are moving in the direction of you, and moving fast. You see two things, one, spiraling off in the branches, small, translucent, blinking light. It blinks to you once every 30 seconds, once a minute. And then you see in the fiery seam before you, a foot has stepped through. If it can be called that a thing of shadow and flame, a massive 
cloven hoof of a being that is both the size of a man, but also 20 feet tall, but also as tall as the sky itself. And you cannot tell as you look at it because this thing is realer than your reality. You look up and see the thing trying to enter the world, the thing that it is good to be home. And you look up into the fire and you see a heart. And within that fiery heart, you see a writhing humanoid figure ah, calling out and screaming, horned. But for a moment, the face is golden like the bow of that solar. And the horns fade into bright red hair. And you see something tortured and in pain past the fiery seam. And you feel that there is something, not of the flesh, but of the spirit, that would allow you to reach out. I will. You turn. Yeah. In this moment, the tree, the light expanding, Vespin hunched, your friends moving, and the figure beyond the scene shrieking in pain. Where do you move the power of your spirit to? Oh my God. I've seen all of them land where they are. I've seen this shrieking, tormented creatures at the core of what looks like the Lord of Hells. That this thing maybe has more than one form, and there is some form within it that you can see that is in agony. Oh my God. Um, I look at, uh, I, I look at each of my companions and I see, before this moment, the last thing that I had seen milliseconds ago was this figure, a golden figure of Leyren rushing towards Loquacious and trying to protect him and then that getting shattered and their bodies breaking and snapping and falling and I wanna go to them so bad because I know that I can help. I start to head to, oh fuck. All the answers are right in front of me in the fire. I go to the fire. You reach into the flame. You see beginning to manifest something like a, a hand, like your hand, but it is deep and ruby red. It reaches out and the fire does not burn it. It moves through, and you feel its connection to you, and you see the figure writhing in pain, and that hand, you're still sailing through the air. The hand reaches what feels like an eternity away, miles and miles, and finally, your hand alights, and you feel the burning hot skin of the figure in torment. And that figure, that same size as you, almost small in the distance that you can see, turn to look ah! as the hand touches and sees you. I'm scared. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. 
I'm here, I'm here. Come on, come with me. Take my hand. Do you know me? Glad grasps your hand. I hold it as tight as I can. Xerxes. Yes. I promised you I'd never forget. I promised you I wouldn't either. I'm, I'm dying here. No, you're not. I won't let you. You can't. You can't come here. You'll die. This place is... Then you come here. He looks at you. I pull. Does the time stop? Stop. Xerxes, you pull the true heart of the Lord of the Hells into Exandria. And as it enters, you see this hand, this ruby red hand, he smiles and he moves through the seam. That massive form vanishes. The seam begins to close behind him. It, it's still there, the explosion is still happening in this moment, but he comes through and you see him floating. He's joining you, sailing through the air, almost as though he hits the same buffet of explosion that you are in as this hand pulls him. And you see, as he comes through, shadows <gasps> begin to move through the door with him. You see your hand that is pulling him. He moves across the threshold and is in the world. That ruby red hand shines so brightly. And you see the hand attached to a wrist and the wrist to an arm and the arm move all the way to your body and the wound that Zartaza, the devil, left in you. The hand is your blood. Your blood issuing on a tendril from your body across the fiery seam. And you see in the exact same spot that injury on the Lord of the Hells holding on to your hand of blood. And as he moves into this world, you see his face changes. He looks a lot like you. He moves and you see shadows moving into the space. You see Zartaza, the Arrhenius, the armored Arrhenius walks through. She's smiling and weeping. You see your blood still on her sword. And you see the Lord of the Hells and he puts a hand on yours. Let's get ourselves cleaned up. What will become of me? Who can say? You are an oracle. I would think that you would know yourself. Can I do something? Yeah. You are still moving through space slowly, but you can do something here in this moment. As you think of what to do, I'm going to plug my computer. Blue <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 is the physical manifestation <laughs> of all of our emotions right can't, now. Can't he is crap. being <laughs> oppressed <laughs> by this. Well, all you have, to do is have red hair. <laughs> I wish I had red hair. <laughs> oh. I wish I had red hair. He, you say Holy me. Holy um, oh. Xerxes. Yes. Oh. Um. What, you you recognize this, whatever this is, the yes. the, bl the blood of the chosen. Some yes. there is some connection here. You have been able to draw him into this world. Uh -huh. He looks at you. He's also going to cure you for uh, forty points of damage. Wow! Oh. Oh. wow. Um, huh. What about the homie? You know? <laughs> yeah. Can we have some for the homies? <laughs> yeah, what about? What about um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Do we vivify for the homie? <laughs> <laughs> Working on it. We know who that is. Um, <laughs> you see, he looks at you and says, says, 
whatever whatever you wish to happen can happen. What, what, what do you? <clears throat> Has he completely stepped in? He's he's floating through the air, being buffeted by the force of the explosion. You're kind of just like sailing weightlessly, yeah, slowly, slowly through space right now. He's but he's side by side with you. You're both sort of horizontal, and he's okay. just gazing at you. I uh, so that my man, my my hand moves from his chest to his face, and mm -hmm. I uh, I just kind of hold his face very gently, looking in his eyes, and I ask him. What do you remember? What do you remember of your existence before you found your way here? Everything. I remember everything. Then tell me, and I would like to, I place my other hand on mm -hmm. Evandrin's name stone. Mm -hmm. And touching his face very gently, I uh, I used cleansing touch, but powered by that stone. You use your cleansing touch, and you feel the portion of that ceremony you were casting for the the, the uncompleted ceremony. Yeah. Um. The the ceremony of atonement that you were that you were performing. Mm. In this moment, you feel your cleansing touch. That gives him the ability. The, the I believe the wording of that ability is, you know, someone's in a corrupted form. Yeah. That it, it can release them from it. You can combine it with that ceremony of atonement. Yeah. In this moment. Everything I'm tr I'm I'm doing everything I can to get him to what I believe is the purest him. Yeah. Um. You move through, and I believe he gets a saving throw. Correct. He does. You move a hand to him and you see he goes, I think you may be the most exceptional mortal I've ever known. He's great, yeah. Um, you begin to perform the ceremony of atonement. You go to cleanse him. He accepts your hand and leans his face against your shoulder as you sail through the air side by side. Zartaza smiles, Vespin hunched down by the tree, frozen in time as well. You should be, the spell should be working. Uh-huh. And it's not. And he looks at you, and he, like, he can tell something is wrong. Like he's looking at you like wondering what's up. I, I know that it would have succeeded, and it should have succeeded. Mm -hmm. Is that my understanding? Yeah, you, it should have, yeah, absolutely. So. And he's confused. He's looking at you kind of confused. It's like, are you, is something supposed to happen now? I don't know. What are you, what are you attempting to do? I want you to remember, like you said, you remember everything. Yeah. I want you to remember who you were before. Yes. Before you came here. Before all of this. Do, do you remember? I think I remember. The nature of the this nature of the ceremony. This is a ceremony of of atonement, yeah. correct? Uh-huh. I see. I think I know what may be happening. What? The ritual of Evandrin, the resurrection, it didn't work because he, you tried to resurrect him, but he wasn't dead. Right. You're trying to atone me, and I didn't do anything wrong. Oh! Yes! Oh! And he stabs you through the heart. Oh! You want to know what I've always hated about mortals? Uh, and you feel his claws dig into the back. You're wrong! I lay a hand on him and I cast remove curse. Oh God. Um, oh. He, uh, uh, he laughs uproariously. Look at me. <laughs> this is not who you are. This is not who you are! Who am I? You're not this! How have you forgotten? 
You think you know how you came here? You think you stumbled upon this place? Look at me. Look at me. I am the godless. I am a conduit of divinity that is far greater and more ancient than anything you have ever understood. Look at me. You didn't stumble upon this place, you and your kin. You were called here. We have always been here. You were wandering in the abyss, lost. And we called you here so that you can have a home. You didn't create anything. We have always been here. You came and you shaped. You took and you shaped and you changed, but you didn't create a thing. You're no god. You're a child. You're a child. And you're lost. How do you not see that? You have referred to yourself and your fellow mortals as our children. You are not our children. You are a bad first draft. Ooh. The first plan was to destroy this, to let you all fade into nothingness. That's not gonna be how we do it this time. You think that you are a man of true belief and that it is all these wizards around you that are humble. Who is the most proud man here? These ones who thought they would fly a city or the man who thought he would teach me a lesson. The only difference between you and the Dawn Father is that the Dawn Father is a little more humble. Now, I'll tell you why I spit on your forgiveness. I'll tell you why I loathe your redemption. To reach a hand down to somebody, they need to be beneath you! And I'm beneath nobody! You want it to understand me. Then you should have accepted that I was right! Um, and he pulls the back of your head and rips the skin off of your skull. You do have sweat. three hit points. Maybe you'll maybe you'll survive this. Uh, <laughs> Why don't come to this side of the table? Kill one of them. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, you see, on a raft coming this way. Sarah's at Seven Eleven. Um, <laughs> I got. I think I got exact change. <laughs> give me, give me an insight check if you would be so kind. Do I? Do I have a moment to do anything? You have a moment to do anything. Then you, I'm gonna cast a spell. What do you cast? I'm gonna cast Resilient Sphere on myself. Cool. Um, he counterspells it with a ninth level spell slot and um, and smashes you into the floor and breaks your spine. Um, uh, and he he heals he heals you again and. He just keeps you again. That is the coolest shit. He he breaks your spine, heals you, raises you back up, casts time stop again. I just want to remind everybody. Yeah. When I get when I get in between the time stops, buddy. Just just let a girl know, like. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. He casts the second time stop in the first time stop. Oh, okay. He the time stop. 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 This man is a god. He's a god. We're getting incepted right now. Time stop. We get a time stop. I fully hear you. Um, love it, he I love he it. brings you he brings you back. You see, he oh. said, he said, <laughs> in the vision in the hall of prophecy, you told me that you would help me confront those who did this to me. Wake up, Xerxes! You did this to me. You and your kin. You think my enemy are the prime deities? <laughs> those are my siblings. We were happy once, together. We traveled here together. Has it never dawned on you that before the schism, all was well between us? 
We came here to make something. And then one of our puppets, one of our foolish paper dolls mattered so much to them that they threw us into the pit. You think that my quarrel is with them? No, all of you did something to them. You made them turn their back on us. My greatest heartbreak is that when I have collected every last mortal soul and all of my siblings into my pit, that I will only have eternity to punish them. So, I can die as many times as possible, and Tempest is still out there. Mm -hmm. And my telepathic link to Tempest remains. Yes. As this is happening, I'm just basically transferring all of this with some instructions to Tempest. Mm -hmm. <sighs> um. Wait. For sure. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. You're right. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> yeah, you don't got lips no more. You speak to the Lord. Of the can house. I? I mean, can yeah, I? Yes, absolutely. Because did he yes. heal me to just rip my face off again? He, uh, you. I mean, this is his vision: yeah. endless torment without death. This is what he is here to do. Cool. That sounds like cool, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's not that bad once you get used to it. <laughs> 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 no one Flintstones dinosaur, my <laughs> my devil NPC. It's a living. Um, uh, We're laughing because it's so dark. I've never been more stressed in my else. entire It's not even life. happening to you, it's happening to me right now. I know. Um, Imagine so, how this so, is. Oh. I, um, I, you're I, next. I, I Does everyone want a gummy bear? Yes. Um, <laughs> faceless, gummy dead and alive, <laughs> unconscious. Yeah. Something. Yeah, can I um, play a So you, you can get that to Tempest, <laughs> trying to tell him that something is wrong. You are you feel that leap. Mm -hmm. um, uh, give me an insight check, if you can. Oh my god. This is nice. <laughs> I thought the other sessions were going to give me nightmares. 21. Um, you look into his eyes and you see the father of lies. You see, it was so easy for him. And what you see is you have fought abominations and undead before. You have fought things that are of an alien need for destruction cold, unfeeling things that are anathema to life itself, and this is not the Lord of Hells. There is an infinite hatred behind his eyes, purer than anything you can imagine. Perhaps at one point he wore a golden face. But that's long gone. And behind his eyes, when they were of gold, this hatred lived. And you see in him that unlike the, the alien aberration or undead hatreds you have faced in the past, this is not beyond. It is something that each human has the gift of because he doesn't just hate you, he hates everybody. And he doesn't hate them in an alien way. He wants them to know that they deserve it. I process all of that, and you just see pity. Uh, he goes mad. As, you, as pity crosses your face, he looks at you and goes, You hate everything so purely. Oh, you poor thing. Look at how much you hate yourself. You know what your fault is, Xerxes? Other than just being very trusting. You truly believe that you are above this all. 
this city that you will not call home. Me, the gods. But I'm not the one who left my little son down in that city for all of my devils to find. So I think you are going to make a very good champion for me. Uh, and he uh, twists your head around, uh, snaps your neck. You have died for the third time in uh, in less than that many minutes. And he drops you to the ground. Um, and you are now stand, you feel your spirit being released <gasps> f- from your mortal body. Uh-huh. Um, and you see the Lord of Hells existing in this sort of liminal space goes, uh-huh. Sorry about your sword. I tend to have that effect. But the fact that you pity me doesn't spoil anything for me because I think that you are my greatest champion, Xerxes. So, if you'd like to be back in the world, you see he grabs Zartaza the Erinus by the throat. She goes, oh. thank you. And he smashes her into the ground and you see a ruby headed black iron encrusted mace crunch as she explodes in blood and there is armor everywhere. The top of the mace almost like a black crown. Uh, the ruby glows with infernal fire in the head of the mace, and it rests there in this liminal space. That's there for you to pick up if you want, Xerxes. But you know the cost you pay for it. But I won't force you. The afterlife awaits. Do it. <laughs> um, I inhaled the water out of shock. Um, <laughs> I was trying to keep mace? it down. I appreciate the extra huh? ten seconds. Like, <laughs> the mace of the Black Crown. Oh, what's that? My God. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's the thing. Shit. Okay. Uh, I go. Uh, is it my spirit or my body that has agency right now? Uh, it is now your spirit that has agency. Um, you see that the Lord of Hell, the Lord of uh, the Lord of the Hells, is is exiting. Uh, he leaves this infernal mace in front of your spirit. You feel in a liminal. You feel the the pull of the afterlife. Your your dead body has let your spirit go, but there is this gleaming infernal. Artifact before you. Okay. Oh my God. I'd like to try. I'm sweating. Probably <laughs> too many so things. Much. Yes. Can so it's my spirit that has the agency. My body is just crumpled on the floor. Yes, correct. <laughs> I reach out and I try to um, grab um, the name stone. Can I? Can I? Can I ha- touch and grab anything? The name stone, its spirit is with you too, and it rests on your chest. Yours and Evandrin's. Both of our name stones are on my chest? Yes. Oh my god. Do you touch Evandrin's name stone? Yes. You hear in your heart, darling, no. And we will move from there. Oh! Uh, Hey, real, wait, but real talk. Did we did we do one second of actual time in that space? I don't uh, think we hit a second. I, it feels um, like we need to flames, flames, flames on the side of my face. Did we honestly do one second of actual time? Okay, now that we come back. One second! You asshole! Baby. Like two PCs in less than one but, second. Yes. That might be a record. <laughs> uh, hey, Gary, Gary Gygax the third. This is me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I want you to know, a DM oh just set God. the record for most PC death in under one minute. Um. Oh. Well, so I'm only one. There's only one of you dead. Well, okay. I'm, I'm well, clear. He, he killed Xerxes three times. times. I know. Does that count as three different PCs? Quote, yeah. quote dead. Um. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> you got marionetted, man. Yeah, dude. Nah, dude. That was fuck nasty, dog. <laughs> I don't. I don't. Trust I don't. 
<laughs> yeah, but. You know that dream where you fall off the mountain and you're like, oh, I'll wake up. And you're like, bam! Oh, I'll wake up. Bam! I'll wake up. Bam! Yeah, this is where you're like, why am I still falling? <laughs> Yeah, this, oh. is, this is the nightmare. Hey, how many? Um, hey, episode four My of Calamity. Hell yeah, baby. Hell yeah, baby. I really thought we were gonna just straight up like give us damage and then be like he's here and he's go wave to us and then he leaves and then we're gonna yeah. move on. Yeah. No, 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 no. no. Uh, but yes, uh, uh, the skin off his check face. Check out uh, the Mace of the Black Crown. Uh, uh, yeah. It's a uh, it's a whole ass, it's a famous ass badass thing. Yeah. Artifact. It's one of the arms of the betrayers. Yes, exactly. Arms of the betrayers. It's. So we, uh, we go to. Um, you may remove uh, uh, your Holy Avenger and add the Mace of the Black Crown to your inventory. If you, uh, if you so to... choose, if you choose to accept, I'll, and maybe not I'll yet. Still, you know, I don't know. It's been a second. It's been a second. I'll wait, I'll wait for the other. <laughs> They've only written books about it, so you know. Yeah. Just think yeah. uh, uh, right cool. Um, uh, amazing. Um, so, whoo, boy, oh boy. Um, <laughs> Is that her tail? <laughs> Damn. Um, we return, uh, uh, two of you are making death saves, um, and uh, Laren, you hit the wall. How many hit points do you have right now? 22. 22. Um, Laren, you hit the wall and drop. You may act at any time, but you also are aware as you hit the wall that time has returned. So, boom, boom, um, Nidus, Quay, and oh. Pesha, all hit the wall. Uh, Xerxes does as well. Um, I, I, you know, I don't. You could roll a medicine check to see who's dead and who's yeah, unconscious. Yeah, I see four corp. I see four Bodies. effective cor corpses. How far away is Quay? Um, From me. Wow. You got blown back through the door, so I think you're probably like forty feet back. From him. From Quay, and then there's another probably like thirty feet to the center of the chamber where you see. Uh, it's hard to look at him. First of all, there's heat waves all around him, like on a hot day, but he's also just impossible to behold. But you see something that your mind registers as a figure cloaked in red, uh, about 12 feet tall, looking down at Vespin, um, and you see the Lord of the Hells speaking to Vespin Chloris, and, and you can hear what he is saying in this moment, but... Um, 70 feet away. 70 feet away, yes. And I know how far counter spell works. Mm -hmm. But you're too far, and they're all bodies. I dimension door away. You dimension door away. Uh, 70 Let's feet go. is You're beyond. already dead. Let's stretch it out. Let's go. You're, you're already dead. You're leaving me. You're already dead. Okay. Just like always. So, <gasps> um, <laughs> um, you dimension door away. As you do, um, as you dimension door to it, like a secret private sanctum that you know about, um, you uh, see a screen, uh, a light in the room that you are in, from prone on the floor, being kind of glitching and staticking, is a feed from Dweomer, whose body is like on the ground. She might still be partially active, but she is just sort of like flat and still on the ground, showing you an image of what is happening in that room. Um, you hear them talking. Um, do you speak Infernal? No. Um, okay, copy I that. I have tongues. You have tongues? <laughs> yeah. Do you want to cast tongues? <laughs> I want to do. Oh, cool. I'm out of third level spells. So I'm running out of everything. You cast tongues. Um, you see uh, the Lord of the Hells looking down at Vespin Chloris and saying, uh, Hollow, friend, Lightbreaker, Cormorant. Get them all in position. Yeah! Vespin sort of crouches and squeals, and you see that the Lord of the Hells smashes him in the face with a hand, and he scatters to the ground and says, Oh, dead? Well, mortals are as disappointing as ever, I suppose. Have the Kanathi all activated their runes? Very good. Um, and you see that he is surrounded by motes of fire for a second, and you see images of Kanathi all around the city in hiding with those sort of like runes that were ceremonially cut with blood. Lord of the Hells touches his forehead and all of those runes. <laughs> light, 
the Kanathi begin to burn and immolate, and from their burning chests, full devils begin to crawl into oh, the world God. all over Avalir. Oh, the reason I ran. Because mm-hmm. Rare's te- telepathic bond is still up. Yeah. And I am just live feeding this to the last person that's still up and can do something about this. Incredible. So you know everything we know now. Um, I'm going to ask for death saves from Loquacious and Nidus. <clears throat> so many. Well, you have one failed one. So you're just going to give me one for right now. We're going to bend time a little bit here. <sighs> I'm so tired. Sorry. That's a six. Uh, that's your second failure, Quake. Come on, come on. Yeah. Yeah. Pack one. Yeah, pack, 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 success and failure for Nidus. Um, success and failure? One success and failure. Right, right. Um, you see, um, uh, this is crazy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Dr. Nothing was down there. I uh, know. You see I don't want him. Uh, that uh, the Lord of Hell's uh, Vespin um, looks and sort of looks up and snarls something up at the Lord of the Hell's, um, and you see the Lord of the Hell's goes. <laughs> <laughs> You're telling me that the God of Death is a mortal. I hate to say I told you so! Uh, and you see Vespin sort of shrinks away from that. Uh, and you see, he says, well, I cannot wait to meet this matron of ravens. <laughs> to think if they had just listened to us and not given magic to them, my sibling whose name I can no longer remember might still be here. Uh, oh, damn. Uh, you see that um, he then moves forward and says, um, Vespin, you know what you must do. Prepare the gateway for the emperor and empress. They must join us before sunrise in Vasselheim. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He said, uh, uh, you see Vespin goes, <laughs> and the Lord of the Hell says, Primordials can handle Avalir. My business takes me to Vasselheim tonight. Uh, he smiles, <laughs> opens a door and says, the Emperor and Empress, get it done, Vespin. Uh, opens a door and you see, for the first time, the towers of Gordranis, newly built by the powers of betrayers. He walks through and you see the second form of a hulking betrayer. The Lord of the Hells steps through this gate and goes, Brother! (laughs) Great ruiner. If you're not busy, I was thinking we might go and destroy the Dawn City together. Does that sound like a good time? And the door begins to close behind him, and he says, I have some interesting help from some old allies of ours. (gasps) Uh, And the door closes. Um, uh, So. (laughs) What are you talking about? I feel like we're in Cloverfield. (laughs) Yeah. It's just. Yeah. Fuck. And all it can see it's just got a camera yeah. they're like, cool! <laughs> Any day. Um, <laughs> uh, okay. Um, uh, I will ask for an- another set of death saves from <laughs> Loquacious. You and, you no, know, he has two, two failures. Yeah. Can, can I go. inspire myself? Unfortunately, <laughs> no. Can I, can I, can my dead body? <laughs> Unfortunately, give him, a little, give him a little look? Yeah. Yeah, just a wink. Uh, Don't worry. My wife will be right here to get us. Make it those last couple of seconds. Oh, I saw uh, that kind of tell us Yeah, mm-hmm. of course. Yeah. <laughs> you got it, buddy. You got it. Look, easy, easy peasy. 
That's another six. <gasps> oh my god. Six, six, six. Dang. Shut oh! up! Oh, shut up! Oh, god. No uh, fucking way. Uh, oh, it's sick. It's six, six, six. six. Oh, god. Uh, covered <laughs> in lacerations, the last of your blood leaves your body and you are dead. Fuck. Can I just, for flair, yeah. his changeling body continues to morph and change. And his na his nakedness, uh, his penis just changes shape into all kinds of different animal shapes. Okay. <laughs> becomes a duck penis for a second. Oh, no. Becomes sure, a cow sure. penis. Just oh, crazy. Oh, just crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, I just want to sully. I want to sully this. Right? Just, I want to sully I, this I, whole I, image you know, of that you like painstakingly painted sure, sure. with a bunch of dicks. With a bunch of dicks. What did Nidus get? Oh, we're finding out right now. Come on, bug. Natural twenty. Yeah. Oh, it's 15. Two successes, one failure. For our, I know that I know that we have seen a lot of conversation. I just want to say, for our purposes, this is the second round. Even though there's been conversation, lots of stuff happening. Time is a little wibbly wobbly here. This is the second round since everything happened. Um, we are going to. Um, hey, Brandon, do I know? Do I feel it? That he's gone. You do. Oh. Did you let that? Hey, did that stone that you gave me happen to have any sort of spell in, in it? It was. It was <laughs> spell energy. Could it have given him advantage or something? No. <laughs> okay. Okay. You beat me. <laughs> As, as he fades away, this the, is the true betrayal. The, last, yeah, right. exactly. the true betrayal that we're experiencing. <laughs> the, the last, the last phallic shape that you see looks exactly like Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> People got, think like, I'm nice, but really I just conform to the genre. Um, uh, I love it. Here we go. Clarence Grant's film, whatever, like oh, secret oh, she's oh. Um, we move. Uh, uh, Towards, Don't come over here. <laughs> uh, we move, no, we move to you flying over the city as the revel, it is now about 4 a.m. Even the sounds of revelry have largely diminished such that the noises of explosions and screams that begin to move through the city, you fly and begin to see the fire starting in various neighborhoods. Uh, people are, are beginning to scream. You fly uh, over Excelsior Plaza and see people rushing to a porter's dais, a teleportation dais. You see a porter, as people start screaming, seeing devils charging around a corner. You see a porter in uniform saying, everyone, everyone, don't clear, do not crowd the platform. Do not crowd the platform. Uh, you see uh, a, t uh, a terrified wizard, uh, uh, or you see a terrified spellcaster uh, cast command on the porter and say, get us out of here. And you see all of them, vivisected as the teleportation has too many people, blood all over the dais. Oh. Boom. Um, oh, the dais, oh, the dais. Blood on the dais. Oh, uh, um, oh uh, Devils attacking, burning Kanalthi corpses with open doorways in their chests as devils crawl out. Um, uh, you are headed towards a neighborhood that seemed to have less of this going, your, your home off in a different neighborhood. Um, uh, you see sky ships off in the harbors, um, but for right now, the chaos you see is mostly in Excelsior Plaza, where the most awake people were. But for the vast bulk of the city, just some fires are breaking out, and you know that it will be a long time, that, that people have no way of knowing what is happening. Um, you... Uh, are moving as fast as you can. Towards the Cloudstone? Towards Cloudstone, yes. Yeah. Or, or yeah, to, off towards your home, exactly. Um, uh, you see that the sky, you, normally you're, uh, you know, one of few, a few Aisura who are flying. You see multiple flying mages escaping from one thing or another, um, begin to sort of fly by. There's one mage that's levitating in midair, his face covered with blood, just looking stunned, unsure of what has happened. Uh, you move through this place and a light on the balcony uh, moving into your home. And for the first time we see them, Maya and Kier. 
uh, standing in front of you. Both of your children are home. They're home. Um, you see Maya looks up at you, your daughter, who is a young teenager, got a little bit of awkward plumage molt, like teenager molt around uh, her neck. Uh, uh, shout out to Sunny. Um, you see that um, she looks and she goes, Dad, Dad, I wasn't drinking. All right, just like so another kid saw it at the party. I didn't like. I didn't know that there was anything. I know, honey. It's all, it's, it's all right. It's okay. I, I did. I didn't see. I didn't see any of this coming. Are you okay? Are you hurt? Um. Well, we were doing. Where's your brother? Um. Uh, up in the rafters, hiding. You see your son with holding his little thing. Says, oh, "Copy." I'm here. Here, please come down here. A light's down. Hey, Dad. Okay. I, I, I look out the windows behind them. I just do a quick, like, 180 sweep as fast as I can. Like, is there anything perched, any danger, anything following them? Is this room clear for the next 30 seconds? Give me a perception check. Oh, Why couldn't you just say, yes! <laughs> 23. Um, you do not detect any invisible presences. To your knowledge, it is safe. Uh, hearing distant noises, you're rattled. You're not working on a baseline. No. Um, uh, you see, it has not gotten to the point yet where Kier and Maya, they, the screams they're hearing could just be 4 a.m. Night of the Replenish. It's, it's hard. It's like, is that someone being crazy and drunk outside, or is that something else? Um, uh, so both of your children look at you, and Maya says, Dad, what's wrong? I'm gonna tell you all about this at some point. I promise. It'll be an incredible story, but right now, I have a su surprise for the both of you. As you say that, you see that Kier looks down, as does Maya, Maya points to your hand and says, Dad, why is your ring glowing? Oh! oh. Why are you like this? Oh, God. It glows when danger is near. Okay. Which means that you need to get out of here. I have a special gift, and I take out the two the, the rune stones. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is for the each of you. It's going to take you to your mother. She's very excited to see you. But I need you to listen to me. Whatever you do, don't come back until I find you. Stay away from the city. Dad, why are you talking like this? Is Maya, everything it's okay? It's very important that you listen to me. Yes, it's okay, but I need you to listen very carefully. It's up to you to take care of you and your brother. Do you do you understand? Well, you see, Kira says, but if the city set us safe, what about my friends at school? And and wait, we had a and you see, Kira, Kira, Maya says, Dad, why are you talking like this? Like we're gonna come I, back. I understand. To I, I take her hand. I open it. Kira, come here. I open his hand as well. I love the both of you so much. So much. Dad. I take the stones, I close their hands, and I clasp them shut. You see, they look with those stones in their hand. All that they need to do is break those stones in their hand, and it, the spell will take effect. You see that Myla looks up and says, Dad. And you see Kier starts crying and goes, Dad, did I do something wrong? No, oh. baby. I'll always have my eye on you, and I squeeze their hands. Oh. <laughs> And both of them vanish as you see Maya goes, wait! And they're gone. You said that because you're not sight you can see um, The ring slowly stops glowing. They're out of the city. And you stand in the home you built with rain. It's so quiet, and it hasn't been quiet in years. You look at your ring in the emblem of the eyes of Abelir.
looking at this home and all the noise that would be here with young kids growing up. I think it occurs to you how much time this ring took from being in this home. Because there may never be the sounds of home and hearth, life and laughter in this place again. Give me an insight check, if you would be so kind. <laughs> Sarah looks at the symbol of the eyes of Avalir on his ring. The eye is sculpted to look down, ever watchful, the eyes of a city in the clouds. On a 26 insight, you found many threats to the city of Avalir, long years of being exceptional, perceptive, intelligent, clever. Your eyes ever peering down, cultists and criminals, even some magisters some corrupt officials, but on a 26 insight, often ones without friends or connections. The eyes of Avalir never looked up. And the price you paid was that here at the end of things, you still don't get to hear the laughter of your children in this home as was the case so many long nights of devotion and service. Where does Sarah go in his mind in this moment, and what does he do? Sarah slowly takes the ring off of his finger and almost absentmindedly starts to walk to his home office just down the hallway, pushes the door open. And as you'd probably imagine, it's a wreck. Papers, pictures, drawings, cups, dishes. The remnants of all of his work, of his obsession, of his craft, of his eye. And he's furious. He goes over and snatches a candle and looks around and holds it to a nearby wall and watches it just dance up. The flames move up. You step back out into the hallway. You are perhaps unparalleled in all the world at discerning fact from fiction, from spotting lies. And the last lie you told was to get your children out of here. And outside your office, you see a small little indentation in the wall, a little discolored patch where young kids would come and get their little food-stained hands up on the wall and press their head against the door to see if they could hear what you were working on. I see that. Even as I start to hear the familiar sounds of flame, 
I head over to their rooms. I open the threshold and just stand. And I take in how long it's been since I just looked, really looked, here. Not outside of this dwelling, but here. Your brilliant detective's mind looks at a room and begins to piece together stories, tiny fractions of a detail from the turn of a corner of a notebook on Maya's desk, you see that she has an incredible talent for history. Otherwise, why would she have gotten so far ahead in that chapter book? You look and see under Kier's bed, the telltale carpet throw of a child hiding some kind of toy weapon or something that he shouldn't have and see from the shape of it that they are small hand axes. And here in this moment, you put all of your vast intellect to work so that as the flames begin to lick the wall behind you, you solve the mystery of who your children were. That's just not cool. <laughs> but true. As it burns behind me, I think of where I've come from, a family devoted to this city. I think of where my family has gone, and I let all of it die for now, because there has to be focus for what comes next. Sarah, what comes next? I think back to that one second blurb where every letter of the alphabet was thrown together and just a torrent of sound and horribleness. Laren communicated and relayed everything that she saw? In this moment, you hear that, you hear. Do I know where she is because of that? Yes. Where is she? In the Meridian Labyrinth, in a secret compartment, a viewing station that you would know your direct way to. There is a path for you to get there safely. I steal myself, and as supersonic as I can, make for the Meridian Laboratory. <sighs> like a bolt, you leave your burning home behind. We, uh, I'm going to ask for a death save here. You have two successes and one failure. It was almost a natural 20, but it is a 12. Mm. Okay. That's a third success. You are stable. Nidus is stable on the ground. Um, Does that mean one hit point? No, is that still at zero? Still at zero. Um, uh, <laughs> There's a lot going on, man. There's a lot going on. Um, okay. Uh, we um, are going to. <laughs> yeah, it's been three rounds. So what is that? Like thirty-six seconds. Um, we return to the astral realm. Um, we come back here. Um, uh, you are
in a sea of silvery mist and beyond them stars. And you see Tempest approaching for a moment, but then you see it, it's not, it's not Tempest. It is a body composed of starlight, amethyst, liquid glass, and stepping through the mist, you see Evandrin. <sighs> he reaches. Don't touch me. I have waited so long to do only that. I can't bear it if you were to touch me right now. Xerxes. What have I done? You, you believed, and that is not a fault. That is not a fault. I, you more than stars and the moon and life itself. <sighs> Are you in this place because Laren has sent you here? No, I don't know how I... No, Laren didn't. Or maybe she did. She sundered the tree. Do you know what happened? The tree. Yes, yes. Do you know what came through the tree? Yes, I do. Um, I've missed you. And he leaps at you. Uh. Um, he embraces you and holds you close. I hold him back. Um, he goes, I, I did not. It is too much to bear that I have waited here in between these places for seven years to see you for but a moment before I lose you. I don't want to lose you. You will never lose me. Never. Uh, uh, I take off um, my name stone and I give it to him. Holds it, puts it around his neck. He looks and says, I, I, I know that time is of the essence, but also time here is strange. This, this place is in between. Years ago, when I was first knight, my darling, I would have told you, but it was the very beginning and we did not understand it yet. I told Laren it should be me. She did not pressure me. She was my dearest friend, and I love her with all my heart. It was the role of a first knight to journey into danger. Laren explained her vision to me, the, the, the astral lay right. Aeor posed the gods and the matron of ravens in her ascension, and Laren's vision was from whence do the gods come? By what token do they award themselves that title? And what realms beyond could we explore? It was a beautiful dream. And I knew that there was danger and I wanted her dream to come true. She sent me here and I was protected or so I thought, and I was protected here, but when I returned, the, we didn't understand the tree. We didn't understand the Calyx, and intentionally so. The Druids did not trust us with that knowledge. And truth be told, the tree didn't kill me. When I was moved out here, I became anchored to this other realm. You can see that I don't look like I did. No. The tree did not 
kill me. Exandria was killing me. I was a foreign thing. I was not of that world. The tree was pushing me back out into the astral. That's why I started to vanish. The tree was trying to return something that it was protecting the world from. And if I had the ability to communicate past this, I would have, and her vision was not the simple magic of the threshold crests, not a quick move, not a one-way trip, not a single destination, but truly to take a ley line off of the face of Exandria and chart it to the stars that we could go wherever we wished and be whatever we wished. And we didn't know the spell that the tree was writing. We just didn't know. It's safe here. Well, safe, I suppose. I'm not quite alive or, I mean, I'm alive. I'm just from somewhere else than where I'm actually from. And, uh, Evandrin, our son is still there. How do I, Elias is still. He's still there. He's still in Kath Moira. Get him here. How? I don't know. I don't. Do how? Why are you here if, if Laren didn't send you? I don't know. I'm here. Thrixis, tell me the truth. Why are you here right now? I look around me. I look down. I try to see any sort of uh, remnants of what just happened in that room. Behind you, you see the mace. You're a spirit. You may tarry here for some time, but you are moving on. I failed. I fell. And now I'm here. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't know for how much longer, but I feel a pull to another place. Well, wait, Evandrin. wait. There's a way around this that we'll f- we can, let's just be clever, let's just figure something out. I haven't been able to find a way back, but now there's two of us here, and we'll find a way. We'll find a way. You know I can't stay here. I look at the maze. All right. All right, you move on to the, if you move on to the afterlife, we'll find a way to resurrect you. I need to find a clever Wait, way Evandrin. to get back Evandrin, to save stop, Elias. Stop. And if I save Elias. Yes, save Elias, save him. Uh, I, just, I, I don't know how to get back to the world. I haven't been able to find a way for years, but, but I'll. Do I still have a connection to Tempest? You do in your, I think, I think post-death, no. No, I don't, and I'm not in the same plane. I don't think that works. Um, you see the mace behind you on the ground. I, um, I can't help but turn back and look at it. The Vandrin, uh, I had no idea that the life of the first night in that tower would be so lonely. I failed you, and I made it lonely. I should have been a cleverer spell sword than I am, because I know how special you are. You tapped into something deep and profound. When I saw you for that moment, there have been times where I could see through Tempest's eyes, 
And I saw you wield that power earlier this night. There is a place beyond the stars that your heart alone can reach. And I have known it of you since the first day we met. Is that where you want me to go? Is that where you think my place is? Yes, you. And you see here, Evandrin looks at the mace and narrows his eyes. He doesn't like what he sees there. You see, he says, Yes, you can go. If you have been struck down, if you have been killed, then we will find a way. We will find a way. There are, yes. there are resurrections. We will find a way. Evander, listen to me. Okay. I believe in my heart that you will find a way. I know you will. But you know me. And I know what I believe is true. And I will never give up. The age of Arcanum is dead. What comes next? We don't have to accept it. I don't accept it. I start to reach for the mace. Find a way of Andren. And if that place up there amongst the stars is where I belong, then I will end up there. You see, he looks to you as you reach for the mace. You look in his eyes. You know that if you move into the space beyond, that your beautiful husband will not find a way to save your son. He has been trapped here for many long years. If Elias is to be saved, then you know what must be done. If any of them are to be saved, then I know what must be done. Your hand grasps the mace. I say to him, what follows the Age of Arcanum eventually must be the Age of Salvation. And I grab it with all of my strength. He looks at you, <laughs> fire. <gasps> Your gleaming armor is charred with flame beyond recognition. Your skull begins to split as two curling ram's horns move from your skull. You see Evandrin looks and goes, Xerxes, no! Xerxes! You feel yourself being pulled. You know the bargain you have struck by accepting this power. And he looks out after you, moving through fire. You are not burned. And at first you wonder if it is due to some image of your new form. But you know that that's not why you're not being burned because the devil wants his followers to hurt. And you're not hurting because from the stars themselves, a love as profound as any that Exandria has ever known surrounds you. And you hear Evandrin's voice in your mind. I don't know how deeply you have sacrificed to do 
what must be done, but I know this. There is no God that strides this world that I worship more than I worship your heart. There is a power beyond the stars that you alone could find. And though you may be his by working of foul magic, I vow this, I bear your name. I bear it on this stone and one day I will bring you home. You arrive back in the chamber and Nidus um, is stable on the ground. Um, Pesha and Loquacious are both dead. It is the fourth round since they have died. What is my state? Do I have hit points? Do I have spell slots? You have 40 hit points. You have the spell slots you had while you were alive. Oh my god. You just look different. You've got got a mace. I've got a mace. Do things. Is my telepathic bond still on, or is that severed? I think the bond. uh, Give give me a. uh, Do you you think Xerxes would keep it, or do you think he would sever it? I, I, Stop! <laughs> I think it's gone. Cool, it's gone. I think um, it's gone. You come back. Um, I don't think he would have known better. I think it would have just left him. Um, uh, you come back, and as you arrive, um, you see your friends. You, uh, uh, you get here, and Laren, immediately on the screen, you see uh, Xerxes curling ram's horns, charred armor, wielding a mace, no shield. But the as you s- are holding the mace, you've arrived, there is writing in Infernal growing around the mace. It's like the contract for your soul is writing itself upon the mace. It's not finished being written. Uh, it's not finished being written. Uh, can I assess the situation around me? I'd like to know if I can tell that he's still alive. If they're you can dead. tell that he is, st- you, you can tell that your old friend is still alive. Pesha and Loquacious are both dead, but quite recently. Yes. And um, Vespin Chloris is in this chamber, um, who wheels around to see you and goes, <laughs> uh, but sees a fellow fiend and regards you. Uh, appropriately. Appropriately. Does not seem to advance on you. Leave this place. This is now under my control. Uh, give me a persuasion. Can, oh, I, oh, can, I, can I use yeah. a bonus action? <laughs> yes, you can. I'm going to use my channel Divinity. Okay. It gives me a plus five. Uh, so so re- emanating poop, from me. Friend. Yeah. Oh. Emanating. Mm-hmm. Uh, Godless uh, no more. Yeah. Emanating from me is uh, just like the, the, the ripples. And then, and it, and, and it just kind of like enters everyone around me, and they all sense of calm. They all settle in themselves as I uh, uh, use my channel divinity. Uh, when he does that, mm-hmm. yeah, yo, Dweomer, my homie, yeah, maybe works a little different. Can I use her like a like a bit of an intercom? Sure. I think I've yelled through her at people. Sure, 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 sure. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, then you hear the moment you say that. What have you become? If you're him, bring them back! I just, and this is through Dilmer? Yeah. yeah. Uh, that you just like feel this like uh, 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 peaceful presence just emanate and, 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 and it floods it into Dilmer because Dilmer's a subject of it as well. Yeah. Um, so. I will gonna, say actually because of that, roll this with advantage. Okay. Go for it. Uh, oh, uh, 34. 34! <laughs> cool. 
Um, uh, Vespin looks out at the at the now shrieking uh, uh, Dweomer and goes, Aah! and screeches out uh, and blasts her with a fireball, uh, destroying her. Um, um, but you see that he goes and stalks and begins to stalk down the hallway. Wait. Mm -hmm. The master has told me that you are to bestow upon me some some magic, if you can. Um, in order to I will serve say this, him. As you say this, you are yeah. rapidly losing time. time. Okay. As uh, you can continue this interaction with Vespin, but certain clocks will Fuck. begin to tick. Okay, past. and I need to know this. Cool. Fuck. <laughs> um. The tree. Yes. Pieces of it dead. Anything. <laughs> Com it's completely, just... completely sundered around. Um, uh, I let Vespin leave. Give me, you can give me, yeah, you can give me an insight check on Vespin if you want. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, insight, insight. Uh, Twenty-two. Um, what I'll say is this: as Vespin begins to leave, you look at Vespin, and you see in his face the thing you did not see in the Lord of the Hells. A look of pain and recognition of something that was once a mortal man. But you see, he nods to you and... I run up to him and I touch him and I touch him. I, I, I'm gonna say, I, this I will bring us him. into the fifth round. Come okay. on. Cool. I need help. Cool. <laughs> Go for it. Um, so I touch uh, Evandrin's name stone and I, mm -hmm. uh, 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 a, a, a cleansing touch through that name stone onto Vespin. Mm -hmm. I need him. I need him. Okay. Fifth round. Uh huh. Paladin's got big ideas. Hold on one second. Um. So the DC is eighteen. Yes. You cast your ability. Yes. The wording of which is you fail all saving throws automatically for a minute. I do. Um but you allow a corrupted being, a potential, to make a saving throw and attempt to come back or restore some portion of itself. Well, is uh -huh. he your ally now, so we get to plus five? <laughs> 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 Maybe. <laughs> Save it till after he resurrects me. Right. Um, <laughs> um, uh, okay. Um, so what you see, I I rolled I rolled a save. You go to Vespin, Xerxes. You do what you attempted to do on the devil, on the Lord of the Hells. You attempt to give an opportunity for redemption, for understanding. The very act that doomed your soul. an understanding and a belief in the power of redemption that Evandrin thought was beautiful. You stick to your beliefs, even though your beliefs may have doomed not only yourself, but the world. The Lord of the Hells is older than the world. Vespin Chloris was a man. The power of stars flows through you for what may be one of the last times as you are changing into what you will become. Vespin, is this naivete, is this foolishness to open yourself up and give the chance for redemption. In this instance, <laughs> the skin regrows. You see the face of a man still in a fiendish body. He goes, I don't know who you are, grabs the mace. We don't have much time, cast time stop. Boom, 
he reaches his hand into the haft of the mace and says, bad contract, and you see infernal runes move all throughout the room as he has stopped time, looks around and goes, I don't know what power this is you hold, but thank you. I can't do anything about the soul, but they usually put the claws about when it goes into effect at the end. He inscribes a series of runes at the end of the haft. The deal for your soul goes into effect at sunrise. And the redeemed for the moment, Vespin Chloris, gives you one night. He stands there, just his face peering from a fiendish body. Is he back to what he was before? (coughs) You see, he is no longer this shrieking devil puppet that he was. Uh, You see tears stream down a face from gaunt eyes, but it's the face of a man. You see, he goes, dispels something in himself, and it comes back, his spine grows. I don't have enough power to help you. It's it's all right, it's all right. Listen, we don't have very much time. Let me come out. Um, I don't know much of what's happening. I am Vespin Chloris. I know. And you know what I've done? Yes. All right. Um, I am going to turn back. I don't have the power to stop this. Whatever gift you had bought a moment, but it's a moment only. That mace, you know what it will do to you come sunrise. I do. All right. I, uh, um, uh, in life I was a, a malconvoker, uh, a, a infernalist. I, I sought, I thought, I thought I could do it. I thought I could do it and the world will remember me as its greatest villain. That history hasn't been written yet, and you are not out of time. But we are running out of time, and I rush to this guy, and I revivify him. Do you have that? I have it, baby. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. It's my last third level slot. Within, Within the time stop, Within the time stop, it's your last third level spell. Yeah. Um, you're still in time stop, so the magic is leaving your hand, and you see it seeping into Loquacious's chest, his body. Um, uh, you see that Vespin um, looks at you. Um, he says, "He says, all right." Um, uh, uh, and uh, I don't have enough. I don't have enough. Am I awake? Uh, you are awake in this moment. <sighs> Uh, what, what, what's happening? You, you, I like, oh, I don't have telepathic bond. Um, Fuck. However, you got, you got horns. I will I say horns. this. <laughs> ah! Um, uh, ah! Loquacious, Loquacious, you hear him say, I don't have the spell. I don't have the energy for the spell. Loquacious, it's me, it's <gasps> Xerxes, it's Xerxes. There's not enough time to explain, but we have spell friends that are down. Uh, I rush to Nidus who I know is only unconscious, and I lay um, him hands, give him five hit points. Uh, I will say this, you are, you are about to rapidly come out of the time stop. Yeah. Uh, uh, both of you give me perception checks. I, I'm I'm not even perce- perceiving, I'm reaching down to the stone that she gave me. Um, as you say, you don't have the energy for I don't it. have the energy. Uh, loquacious holds raw ether in Do his Do I know hand. what it is? That's the one that I take it. the spell. I yes! take it, and I rush <laughs> to Patia, and I cast Revivify on her. Boom! Uh, Quay and Patient, you are both at one hit That's point. That's so dumb. That should uh, never have happened. I that should never have happened. Happy. Um, this is a power of love. It's a power of love. Um, um, he's gonna kill us all you? three times. What happened to you? What's on your face? I, I instead of answering, I'm the ne- if I have time in this time warp. Uh, um, it's, it's coming out, you see Vespin looks and says, you do not have much time left, but listen, you know of what the Lord of the Hell spoke, the one of you, 
you have precious little time. If there's anything you must ask me, ask me it now before I go. I will try to fling myself somewhere else in the city far from here, but I will come back. I cannot stay like this. How do we save the city? How do we stop them? Like, what, where, what is, what have you left behind? You had to have left something behind. He says, there is no, they are here. They're the tree here. is destroyed. They are here. Go, the, the, the woman, the first one, the one who warns you first, the Hall of Prophecy. We'll go there. I rush to Nidus and I, he, and I he lay on He dimension his. doors and says, oh, she. says, do not bother with my name. In the darkness, I saw my name would be destroyed. And I asked beyond all things not to be forgotten. And I know the Lord of the Hells will see that wish granted. I thought, I'm a fool. And I have brought ruin to the world. <laughs> Hope that you are forgotten. And he moves uh, through the door and disappears. I lay on hands on Nidus and I give him five hit points. Whew. You are here. Uh, Sarret and Laren. Huh? 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 Okay, if I, I had to wait for Sarah. him to show up, uh -huh. would I have teleported somewhere where I I mean, I wait that long, I'll pass. Um, yeah, but I was by myself for a very long time. Uh, it'd be a pretty crazy show to watch. Yeah. Um, pretty solid show. I'm just gonna fully, it's, it, so, uh, you're back, um, and, uh, and that's, Sorry. that's all you, so you have no more revivifies, correct? I have that's, no more revivifies. That's all she wrote. That's it, um, it's gone. Well you I had it next well, used. Well, you. well, yes. Looking out through the, like, viewing window, I know he said, uh, I heard the Lord of Hell say that uh, Vespa needed to go to a gate. He needed to prepare a gate. Yeah. Would I have any idea where that would be? No, but there's a limited number of places that you can start ruling out. Um, in other words, it's, it, there, there are multiple places it could be. You need to know more, but knowing more is a thing that could happen fast. Okay. Then I wait for Sarah. Um, you wait for Sarah, Sarah you arrive. Um, I um, uh, will bring um, all of us here. I'm just gonna say you arrive here in this chamber. Um, Vespin, you hear a shriek from deep within the Meridian Labyrinth. He dimension doored somewhere, but it has stopped. The, 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 uh, the he is, he did not have someone to give him until sunrise. He's gone and he belongs to the Lord of the Hells. You gave him a moment and a moment only. Are we all here? You are all here? We have to go to the oracles. I guess. And I just wrapped my hands around him. I I'm her so back. sorry. No, no, no. Oh, you, you had no idea. I don't. I don't know what happened. I don't. Oh, where? Where are you? What happened? What did you to you? I made a deal. I only have a day before I lose myself. Most of myself. Uh, I'm gonna hit him. <laughs> I'm gonna punch him real hard. <laughs> Bar punch. Uh, Bar punch. You made a deal? For what? For you. It's what allowed me to come back to save you. I saw you in that moment when everyone else was down. You stood beside him. What did you do? Don't look away from me. The city is burning. The city is burning, and he's here. And I played a part in him we both coming. Did. We all did. Well, not all of us. We have to fix it. No, not all of us. You're right. But we've all made deals in the past. M maybe not all, but we've all made deals. Maybe not as h horrifying as the one you just did. We don't have time for self-flagellation. No, we don't. 
there's a gate. He's making a gate to bring back the Emperor. We have to find the gate and stop it. We can still save the city. Vespin. How? We can it's fix it. clear this. headed Vespin said that we need to go to the, to the Oracle. Then why are then we waiting go. here? Uh, are we sure? We not. don't have much time. We don't, but we have nowhere else to go. There's nothing else but this. What's her name? Carwin. Carwin. Yes, Carwin. Um, I'm. I don't know how to read anymore. <sighs> I. I'm gonna. We need. Look at us. We're not in any shape. No. Whatever any of us can do to help. We need to do it now. We need we need it now. We need to go. We can go and do that at the same time. I start to move and I I, can't, I put land hands on myself. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna throw a third level healing word on Loquacious, and I'm gonna throw a third level healing word on Patia. Um, it's 3d4 plus five for each of you. I'll throw a, a healing word right back at you, pal. Hey, thanks, pal. Third level. I will say, you guys do, I mean, but you guys do all have the ability as you're moving. If you want to take full actions to do cure wounds or anything like that, you're also welcome to do oh, that I don't as well. Have cure wounds. Uh, I'm gonna do my mage armor at will, mage armor spam to try to get my arcane ward cool. back up. Um, all of you move. You rush to um, uh, you rush to the hall of prophecy. Um, On the way there, do we see people fighting? People. Oh, sorry. Oh, it sucks. Fifth. Yes, uh, you. Cure oh. Um, oh, cure wounds. Yes. So it's, it's still just fifteen points. Um. Uh, you move from here. You see the crumpled body of Dweomer on the ground. You exit as fast as you can, casting spells. Pesha, give me um, an Arcana check. Um, can't name it, can't put a thought to it, but you feel something like holding ether in your body, something that you like took from the tree of names. It's hard to, to talk about, but as you came back, you got something from that legend lore, something big and powerful. It's, it's hard for your mind to access you. There's like something magical inside you that you don't know if you would survive releasing it. Uh, uh, it is not infernal. It's something from the tree, but there is something within you, and you're just you're, on a sixteen. It's not you, you're you're you were dead. You've come back. Um, everything has gone to hell. Your city is uh, slowly erupting in flames, and uh, but you feel that unmistakably. When I hear Laren and Xerxes talk about the emperor and empress, do I get a ping? Do I know what they're talking about? Yes, Emperor Raushan of Fire and the Empress Kamort of the Earth. Um, you arrive quickly at the Hall of <laughs> Prophecy. Um, the guards are gone. There are screams from a nearby neighborhood. Wow. Um, is, are, is everyone, is it just chaos? People running around? Yeah. Madness, like the, the sinking of the Titanic, yeah. or? You see, oh, as you begin walking, you see open crowds of people fleeing from devils. Okay. Um, you are welcome to join them in battle and stop them. It is 4.15 in the morning. Oh, wow. And the sun will rise before six o'clock. Oh my God. Would I have had enough time to get, uh, ritually get the telepathic bond back up? Would you want to take 10 minutes and make it 4.25? As we're, no, as we're running? As we're running? Uh, yeah, I'll allow it. Thanks. Thank you. Credit. Oh, wow. um, then the first thing I ask, a true kindness, is a special have... uh, message to Sarah. Are your children safe? They are. I hope it was worth the risk. Wow. I have two questions. Actually. Yes. Where is Tempest right now? Tempest is still here. Your, your griffin can right. fly. He flies down. I, I, I call him forth. I mm -hmm. uh, climb onto him, and I move up so I can get as much visual on everyone. It is chaos, and no one knows what to do. People are screaming, running, there are devils everywhere, fires are starting up. Excelsior Plaza uh, is a vision of hell on earth. 
Um, um, you see, uh, you know, flying up, uh, chaos and ruin. I would like to do one thing. Mm -hmm. As I'm absorbing all of this, taking it all in, mm -hmm. and seeing my part in it all, uh, Xerxes uh, closes his eyes and he tries to hold on to that cosmic connection mm -hmm. one last time, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna use the banner. Um, you hold the banner aloft as you fly, the banner of Avalir, mm -hmm. absolutely. Um, Normally he would shout mm -hmm. an incredible, passionate battle cry, mm -hmm. but this time it's just silent, and that energy flows out into anyone within sight. All of those within sight gain temporary hit points as they look and see the banner flying, mm -hmm. and you begin to hear people shouting and saying, Defenses, get their fences out to the edge of the street. Move, move quickly. And you hear spells firing out. Um, you see, uh, you know, Colossi and Carol Hulks moving into position. Um, and uh, you look down and see uh, figures begin to flock under the banner. Uh, as you fly overhead, the city begins, you hear horns and things shouting. Um, it still looks like chaos but the people are alerted that something is wrong. Anyone asleep awakes. Um, Everybody gets 19 temporary hit points. 19? Oh, Come on, man. What is it, like your level plus it's a yeah. or something? Uh, and, and, and charisma. I give you three D4 uh, plus five. Yeah, uh, I will, plus five. let me ask this. Do you, I can roll for you. Yeah, good uh, Do you have that, not to be mean, Yes. Do you, it, has it been a long rest? Do you, have you refreshed your ability from? I haven't used this yet. You I used it at the Ivy table when yeah. you use your inspiring leader feet, I believe. Oh, right? the inspiring leader feet. Um, yes. So I'm, this this still active. This still requires that access to that. Yes. I'm gonna I'm going to allow the banner to be used for the for, populace, for the population. but not, not as a game mechanic <laughs> for us. Cool. Perfect. You guys don't get 19 no. temp HP. <laughs> My Griffin does. <laughs> <laughs> um, Thank you, for that. Uh, you got it. Um, you rush to the Hall of Prophecy. Um, it is unguarded. Uh, the, the guards have clearly moved off because they've heard screaming and cries for help and went to investigate. Uh, the door is open. Uh, you rush inside, um, and as you do, um, you move into the chamber where Xerxes was before, and you see Carwin. This beautiful oracle, um, asleep in bed. You see, with the magic circle around her. Break it. Break it. Break the circle? I'm not mad. None of us are mad. Uh, I'll, yeah, yeah, she's not. Uh, I'll break it. Uh, Nidus, you boom, uh, dispel the circle. It breaks, and she goes, ah! and says, "A healthy, powerful looking." Um, uh, she actually is going to upcast an immediate uh, mass healing word. Oh! Um, uh, everybody here gains ten HP. Yes. Yeah. Um. Um. Bespin Clore is coming through. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh, and says, <gasps> her eyes roll back in her head, and she boom, uh, rises from her bed into the air. When crowned fire and a throned earth stride forth to join ancient war anew, then mother and father shall fall to the hands of their imprisoned kin, and all the stars will weep until the death of light for lost Exandria, whose every ashen breath will wish for death, and never knowing peace shall stumble evermore to seek in vain the end of horror without name. We can't let that. We have to stop if it lands. If it lands, they're let, they're freed. The gate has to be at Kathmoira. The giants, the whatever it's called. Get me to the helm. Get to the helm? Give me an arcana check, if you'd be so kind. Fuck. 
So bad. 13. Um, if anyone wants to give the help back. Can I <laughs> inspire her? Yes, you can inspire. Yes, I, this, is, this is help. Help yes. me think good. Yes. I'll, I'll give you the help back. I'll give, I'll give, I'll give the help back. A, thir- a 13? Thanks. Yeah. Oh, it was worse. You Nice. You, gotta, <laughs> you have to be nice. <laughs> it's the lesson. Sorry, what no. t- it's a D10? D10. D10. God, it's about 16. 16. <laughs> Brendan, I understand how all of this works. I'm the heart of Avalier, please. <laughs> please, it's not the engines, it's me. I know this. Um, <laughs> as you begin to say, uh, get me to the helm, that stone is shattered, the one that Sarah saw. Um, on a 16. Uh, there is a world where you fix the helm in the next hour and a half. Oh boy. Oh my God. There is a world where you fix the helm in the next hour and a half. Uh, it would require you to get there uh, and know everything that the dead Akami Ro knew about how the helm worked. I will also say we got a bunch, we got 11 batteries and a rudder. Laren, you have paid very dearly for your astral lay right. It still works. With the Calyx destroyed and the Drashari tithe now irrelevant, there exists a possibility to work some great magic with the lay right itself. On a 16, you can't think of it right here in this Hall of Prophecy, but the limiter, the etheric limiter is gone. Uh, The tree is gone. We know what ruin that has brought to Exandria, but that ruin is already here. And now you have a device that has never before been seen in this world and will, in fact, never be seen again. But you, on a 16, you know one thing. Ley lines are attached to the world of Exandria itself. And the world is in and of the same thing as these primordials. And if you could take a ley line and move it off the world, what might you be able to do to a primordial? Oh. Getting that is a very bad idea. And I kind of step back to think and figure this out. What is your bad idea? All of the energy, everything. Everything I built still works somehow. So we move the city or we move the emperor and empress themselves. I have 11 working batteries and a rudder that can do something that's never been done before. They're under the mountain though. The emperor and the empress. So are the ley lines that we've been traveling across. There may be a way for you to use the uh, the engine yeah. to transport them to another plane. That's the best I've got. Wouldn't you have to know where they where they are, or, or or would it be when they emerge? I think I know where they are. There we go. You do? I saw it. Yeah, I saw it when I touched the tree. Wouldn't we have to go there to touch them, to, to activate it, or, or can you just point it at them? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I think this could work. It's got to. We can still fix this. We have 11 batteries. More than six of us. Yeah. Uh, just to double check. 
Our two options are to try to fix the helm, barely make it in time, prevent the city from connecting with Kath Moira, stopping all of this, or locate a primordial emperor and empress under a mountain and try to move them off this plane. Even if we fix the helm, there's no guarantee that the city isn't still going to connect to Exandria. Is that true? Yes. Not only that, if we, if, even if we stop the, the descent, all of these demons and devils are still here, right? They'll still, they'll try to get control again, won't they? So we just have to move the goalpost. Carwin looks at all of you, having descended back down. I know what I have seen. If the Emperor and Empress join battle with the betrayers, all hope is lost. If the war is rejoined like it was in days of old with primordials and betrayer gods side by side, there will be no new dawn for Exandria in all the ages of the world. And it was for this. And it was for this. I'll say something to you that I've never said before. Please ignore me and go get to work. <laughs> Where do we need to go? The astral like red. Follow me. I, there's something I'm going to get us more automatons, uh, uh, constructs. Um, I will meet you there. I will as well. Okay. While you go, I, I think I have to, I think I, I have a duty to report what's happening. Uh, if I can get word down to Kath Moira, maybe we could save a lot of lives. Yes. So I I, I'll, I just cut you off and kiss you. Oh, in the kiss, I'll cast Cure Wounds on you. Oh! <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> Incredible. Fuck you both. <laughs> um, too much. It's so uh, good. Eight points. Oh, thank you. Oh, first level. Oh. Oh, I can do it at higher levels. Yes, thank you. <laughs> I was about to be like, damn. No, no, it's just as first. Oh, it's, it's, first level. Level. it's not the best. Get another point. Another one. Another one. There it is. Okay. You can tongue it there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna patiently wait for their smoochie to, yeah. to it's end. By the way, I'm only wearing leather armor and no other clothes. <laughs> nice. Just that top. You're just yes. Donald Duck in it. Ooh. Is this a um, penis? Cool. No, um, no, 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 so I'm gonna say, you kiss, um, Larry. Aaron, you you know uh, that that you have a miracle. You have an engine that works, and it's, it, it is an apogee solstice. Everything is in your hands to try something that has never been done before. And again, I think the questions remain: even if you prevented the city from touching down, which is what the Lord of the Hells wants to happen, you're still living in a world with the Betrayer gods. How long can you keep the city in the sky for if they want to come back and push it down? Um. Uh, Laren, you take off. Nidus, you're headed. You're headed to. to Seventh level <laughs> uh, summoning of the dragon again. <laughs> we don't have time to <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Dragon of Avalir, and you will do as I command. Oh, God. I, as, as you say, as you say. That's right, that's yeah. the fuck I say. Love. So we'll do that. We don't have time. Um, oh. Incredible. Um, uh, uh, you take up on your dragon. Xerxes, where are you at? Listen, I, I, I mean, I, I say to, to Loquacious. Because I know the gods aren't here. The, the betrayer gods that, that I saw aren't here anymore. They're going to Vasselheim. Yeah. We absolutely. need to, they're, they're heading to Vasselheim. If you can send some kind of communication to them, uh, they, yeah. need to, they need to be warned. I'll go to the Herald. I, if I can go to the Herald's tome, I can access all sorts of things. You're going, the, 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 it's across the plaza. Oh, yeah. oh, oh shit. <laughs> I'm hopping on. Okay, yes. what do I hold on to? Me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. um, incredible. I'm yes, taking, to, I'm taking. <laughs> I'm gonna take a, 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 how much time do I have left? 
it is 4, 15, 4, 20 a.m. And until and, sunrise. Um, <laughs> until sunrise. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah, and, and, and sunrise is 5.45, so you have a little over an hour. Before I lose myself. Before you lose yourself. Um, Lairin is here. Lairin is going back to where she needs to go to do the work that she needs to do. Okay. I, 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 I stop you, and I, all, you, all you see is me just hold your face and then just kiss you on your forehead. I forgive you for any, anything that you think you've done. I forgive you. And so does Evandrin. And I leave. I push uh, the locket into his hand. You take the last thing I have. The oh. last thing. And run away. You run away. Um, Sarret, uh, Pesha, Xerxes, where are you heading? Sarret, where did you send your children? To be with their mother. Where is that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. How old is young Maya now? 14. What a lovely age. I walk to my great grandfather's statue. Mm -hmm. Amazing. That's you are I'm going. Heading. You're going to the Arch Sept. You're going to the top going of the, the top of the city. Sept. You head there. Um, Where is Xerxes going? Oh, we're going. Well, you yeah, you two are going to Excelsior yeah. Plaza. Oh, Xerxes. Where is Xerxes I'm, going? I'm going to see my son. You're going to go find Elias. You see, Xerxes is heading over the edge of the city down to Kathmyra. He looks different. I follow Xerxes. You yeah. got it. I told Lara and I will meet her there. Yeah. Quick stop for me. We'll join you as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. All of you vanish. Doom has come. The betrayers walk the world. Carwin of the Hall of Prophecy, who predicted this, has told you the fate that will befall this world should the primordials rejoin their ancient allies. Fire spreads. The ring of brass has precious little time. Let us all hope that they may do as they have so often done for their city. And we'll find out if they succeed after the break. Oh man. Hey Critters, Laura Bailey here to guide you through what's new in the Critical Role Shop. This is pretty badass. I mean, the Traveler always says impulse purchases are a good decision. Check it out, look, it has pockets. Style should never be a dumpster, darling. Look at this, isn't it fashion? So much fashion happening here. And hey, if you want, you could head over to the Critical Role shop right now. Ray here, your friendly local ranger, to teach you all about the care and keeping of your animal companions and familiars. You see, on Thursday, June 23rd, I'll be running a familiar problem, Sprinkle's Incredible Journey. A special one-shot featuring our very own Laura Bailey, Matthew Mercer, and Travis Willingham, alongside wondrous guests Heidi in Closet and Isabella Rowland. That's right. We're using a one-page RPG system, a familiar problem, and I am definitely reading this promo alone right now. <laughs> a familiar problem is created by myself and Honey Heist designer Grant Howitt. It was a pleasure collaborating with him. I love him. You all should visit DarringtonPress.com to learn more about the game and where you can find it. And make sure to tune in on June 23rd to enjoy this special one shot. Don't forget to bring your animal handling proficiency and some treats. I'll see you then. Ding!
We now return to Tal Dore Theater and the Bard College of Tragedy. I stabbeth thee! Oh, I am stabbed! Any last words? Oh, oh most cruel treachery! But there is poetry in misery. Fate inspires in as it twists the knife and severs the golden threads that brought me to this tragic end. Thus die I alone. Thus. 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 Inspired, my gaze turns to the heavens, and your sorrowful fate is mine to alter. Shall your pleas be heard beyond the gates divine? Uh, alas, my charisma saves are for naught, too plagued with regret to beg for relief. God abandons his child in life and death. Oh. Ah! I stab you again! Oh! That's too... How brief candle this walking shadow spins its tail of hubris to the ears of arrogance. My fate is tragic, but yours, O oh foe, is worse. A fatal downfall waits for you so vile and filled with devilry that my dying words cannot encompass it. Tragedy awaits thee who struck me down. Uh, uh, weapon attacks now score uh, critical hits against you yeah, on an 18 yeah. through 20. Ah. Yeah, an impending misfortune beckons me. Triumph and time grow short. Though I falter, short rest is all I need. Oh, wilt thou give it me? Alas, my nimbus of pathos completes. A plague on both your houses! A horse! My twitch them for You're a horse! You're a toy already! Goosh! 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 The rest is silence. Turn misery into powerful poetry. Enroll in the Bard College of Tragedy with Taldore campaign setting Reborn. Available now at Critical Role Shops. Like a symphony playing to an empty theater, Critical Role dines alone without its audience. Yes, that validating and most enthusiastic congregation on the other side of the fourth wall. And what is this fourth wall separating the viewer from the creator? A portal to an often sought point of connection? Or 
the Twitch subscription zone. On the rare occasion that you miss the live bacchanal boasted by the ragtag group of thespians on Thursday night, you may always view the show on demand in the Shadowland known as the Twitch subscription zone. Picture, if you will, the necessary pieces to complete a jigsaw puzzle, but it's up to you to choose how it will be solved. You could, of course, subscribe with your debt rectangle, but many more divergent paths lie before you. Perhaps you found yourself in possession of an Amazon Prime account. You would then wake up to discover a free Twitch subscription each month for a channel of your choosing. But this artifact demands renewal for you must resubscribe each month to quench its unyielding thirst. One need not walk alone. Those who have already found their way can illuminate the path for others via the gift a sub button on Twitch. Critical Role is humbled by your subscription and wishes to thank you from behind the thin veil of this fourth wall. We hope you enjoy our content as much as we enjoy making it. And so ends another meandering digression, a complicated parody promo down an indistinct highway to the region we call the Twitch Subscription Zone. You will subscribe. Twitch Prime subscribe. Gift subscribe. Subscribe. Now that one was on camera for sure. Uh, it's Kablamity, and earlier at the top of the episode, Santa orgy. Um, the, uh, That's snitch behavior. Ho ho ho. Um, uh, so, uh, Avalier, fire spreads. Um, we uh, we return um, in this moment to the City of Crowns. And as we do, uh, I think we will actually begin uh, at the Arch Sept uh, with Pesha Porco, the closest place to the Hall of Prophecy. Uh, you, Pesha, you arrive and see the Arch Sept untouched. There are active magical wards here repelling extraplanar beings that are not extended throughout the entirety of the city. Um, you, enter and see lights dimmed by 
the coming of the middle of the night. You see the sort of soft red lights around in the dome. The grandfather, your grandfather, the statue of Emir the Bold above you. As you enter the Arch Sept, what do you do? Just walk up to the base of his statue. And I say, hello, grandfather. Happy replenishment. I saw the choice that you made. And henceforth, an entire civilization of people have been implicated in your decision. And the Kaltrashari could have been more forthcoming. They should have shared their knowledge. It seems these selfish choices have been reverberating through all of us. Grandfather, I have dedicated my entire life to Avalir. I bore no children, I took no spouse. Only the umbilical connection that I have to this city and the legacy of the Porcos. And the cycle of selfishness. I do not know if we will ever be rid of it. But I hope I can do my part. Ending it here, for now, for Avalir. And I'm going to levitate up. The city, the replica he's holding of Avalir, how big is it? 20 feet wide. Are there any little pieces that I could like break off of it. The very top is the Arch Sept, and beneath that, in the neighborhood of Gallimore, there is the Palazzo Porco and the Librarium Incantatum, all of which you could. I take the library, and I take my sphere of power that I have inscripted every scroll, every text, every memory of mine, every conversation, every backhand deal, every happy memory that I have possessed in my power. I take both of them in my hand teleport to Maya, Sarah's children. An orb and a library vanish. You look you spent a life collecting and collecting and collecting scrolls into a library and memories into an orb. Here in this moment, having scarred the perfect replica of Avalir, you look up at your grandfather. I have a question. For you, we have heard Pesha speak often of her grandfather, and we have never 
heard her speak of her parents. A silence deep and profound. So I want to ask you, do you think your memories of them are in that orb or were they taken away? And if they were taken away, do you think they were taken away by you yourself or by your grandfather when he was alive? It's strange. <clears throat> a little bit of above the table, Marisha here. Mm -hmm. There wasn't even a second when considering Paisha's backstory that I thought or considered her parents. I figured if anything, they dedicated their life to Avalier just as she did and that connection was stronger. As the orb leaves, teleporting away from you, a young girl looking at the face of an old and bitter Amir the Bold. Granddaughter. Where your mother and father failed, you will succeed. I know it in my heart to be true. It will be easier, I think, for us both to forget, don't you? And here you see a twinge in his eye. The dream of Avalier needs to be perfect. I, as before the teleport sphere or spell completes, I reach out almost wanting to get it back. But I think there's nothing else I need to know. I think I know it all already. How much have you changed? How many memories have you erased? How perfect have you made this dream? The orb and library are gone, and you feel the spell complete, and somewhere in the world, someone is holding the work of your life. It's all on you, smart girl. Door opens and Loras of the Weaver's Mask steps mm -hmm. through. Archmage Porco begins to descend the staircase. What the hell are you doing here? <laughs> I am. You speak quite boldly. What happens in the city? There is word of chaos and ruin. Go fuck yourself, Loras. And I walk past him. Uh, where do you walk to? Meet up with Liren. Um, he looks at you and says, Do you deny me my right? Do you deny me the ability to speak to you and make commands? I am a member of the Ring of Gold. I serve Eldamir the Wise, Archmage of the Septarian. Look around, Loris. Do you really think a title holds any weight in this moment right now? Outside. He looks at you and says, <laughs> you've lost your mind. Something is happening. You've lost your mind. And you see that he, he 
uh, rushes, uh, he rushes from this place. Um, uh, he f- flies out the window and you see him hit ascending. Lights in the sept light up of alarm, of concern, of worry. Um, and you see, as you are walking out, appearing at the top of the staircase, looking confused and frightened is Eldemir the Wise, who appears again. Is everything all right? Eldemir, my liege, I am afraid I have failed you this day. As has Loras, as has many a mage here in Avalir. Oh. oh dear. Oh no. The city. It's all right. My, my su- sweet young girl, it's all right. We must have the Herald inform the citizenry. He's already on it. He's going to tell them to divert their spell energy into the etheric net to preserve the city. Does that sound like a viable fucking plan? It sounds like something you would say if you wanted to preserve Avalir at the expense of all the people living in it. Uh, <laughs> right. I mean, maybe let him do it. Yeah, pretty chill. Myself. I don't know, I'm kind of down. Yeah. I'm just an old Is ass elder bear the wise. I say, Eldemir, the Herald has always had Avalar's, Avalir's best intentions at heart. He'll know exactly what to say. Very good. We we must hurry. I will tell the Golden Scythe we need as many of their ships as possible to transport the effects of the Septarian from the city at once uh, for safekeeping. We must protect the Septarian. I know I, we have like mm. 90 minutes, and so I just. He, he mutters to himself. Barely, barely nod out of more of a force of habit mm-hmm. like, uh, than an actual bow of respect and. Get to Laren. You are gone. You get to Laren as fast as you can. As I pass Loris, mm-hmm. I just one more dagger as I pass by. <laughs> he stares at you as well. Um, I say, you will die tonight, a traitor, and not just to Avalir, but yourself. He gazes at you, one eye. Other covered in the darkness of his half mask. I will live to see tomorrow, and I cannot say the same for you. Um, he vanishes uh, from this place. Uh, as he does so, we're going to cut. Mother, a- fuck you! <laughs> Bind him to the death! Oh, <laughs> I would do it. I would oh, no. do it. I wasn't busy. Yeah, got shit to do. Just kill him real quick. But petty shit. Um, uh, petty shit. <laughs> he he takes off from here. Um, we uh, go now. Um, uh, it is yes. It is hell on earth in Excelsior Plaza. Uh, as we're flying, can I make perception checks with regard to uh, the Harvest Moon? Uh, ships that we have at, uh, that are available to us, and parts of the city that are not completely under siege. Um, you can see what ships you have available to you. You see what parts of the city are not under siege. I will allow you to just get that as you're riding. Great. You just have that. Cool. Um, uh, you have five full galleons in harbor right now. The rest, of, you have a massive fleet of sky ships, but they are traveling around the world making money. Great. Um, there are five docked here. Yeah. Um, uh, you, I'm gonna say you arrive with Loquacious. You can drop Loquacious off on the ceiling of, or the roof. Tell people to head to the galleys. There are five. Uh, those who cannot teleport uh, can, can travel out of the city that way. Uh, and mention, uh, 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 I'm sure um, if you mention it, uh, the people who can man the ships will head there as well. I'll try my best. Yes, and uh, I'll meet you back up here or, um, We'll all find our way uh, to where we're going next. Uh, we, we shall. 
Thank you, brother. Of course. Oh, it's a really cool ride, by the way. It's yeah. <laughs> not fair. Yeah. Oh, I didn't get to say my thing. Um, <laughs> you see? Don't mark his name. Don't, don't have his name marked or whatever. No, his memory shall be marked. <laughs> <laughs> um, cool. Uh, you are dropped off at the top of the Herald's Tome, seeing chaos down below. The dragon takes off it through thick smoke. You're like coughing as you arrive at the top of the Guild Hall of the Golden Scythe. Um, as you uh, wend your way down with the the dragon, uh, do you leave the dragon on the roof or do you bring him down through these like? I'll bring the fucking dragon. You bring the dragon with you. Um, <laughs> uh, Hell yeah! Uh, okay. And I'm headed to wherever uh, wherever I was earlier uh, with Alessander, uh, where uh, the home of the uh, all the constructs in the city. All, all the constructs. Yes, absolutely. Um, uh, you get down there and you see this is a central hall. You go through the central hall to get to the, that bank of like construct engines, remote construct engines. You get to the guild hall, the doors are barricaded. You can hear things smashing on the outside. There's like sailor marines of the harvest moon here. Alessander and Daenerya and Captain Badron are all inside. They see you appearing from like upstairs. Mm -hmm. Badron says, Guildmaster, Run. there's chaos outside. Yes, and we must, uh, <laughs> we, we must meet it. Uh, you see, he looks and says, we've just received word from the Ring of Gold. They they require our ships at the top of the city. Damn uh, the Ring of Gold! The people of Avalir must survive! Woo! Uh, and I'm going to push past them. I'm headed to uh, the, wherever we keep the taxmen. Um, uh, incredible. Um, are you are you going to where the taxmen are kept physically, or are you going to wherever, their engines? The in, engine where we would control the them The engine from. where you would control them uh, from. And I say, uh, Batron, Alessandro, with me. Um, they start coming with you. Um, you see, um, uh, you see, uh, Badron and Alessandra are like running behind you, and they say, they say, sire, the the the, what, forget the ring of gold. What of the treasure in the vault? We our ships for the for the damn the treasure. All right, the city, uh, the evil we face is beyond anything we know. There, <laughs> the material goods mean nothing anymore. Only life. That is what we will save. That is how the. This beacon, this city will survive. <laughs> Our horde means nothing. Alessandra, power up the taxmen. They must defend the people. Batron, you must. You and the Harvest Moon will fight your way to the galley. You will take the people you can with them, as many as you can, get on the ship safely, and you will leave. You will leave, and you will go far from this place, far from Vasselhan. It will be done! Uh, and I'm going to uh, go about setting all this stuff up. Uh, you. Um, you turn to walk. You hear Badron, as you are facing him, say, as you will, Guildmaster, so that he can wait for you to turn your back. And a sword uh, plunges through your stomach from behind uh, as Badron, a pirate, pushes his sword through your torso. You've lost your mind. At the beginning of time, the gods made all the gold there ever will be. There will always be more people. Oh. Oh. And he pulls the sword out, dealing 24 points of damage to you. How hot was he when he said that? That line is <sighs> That is the first shit. <laughs> Whole <laughs> man. What is wrong with you guys? Concentration. <laughs> Uh, you hold, and 24 doesn't drop you? 24 doesn't drop me, and I hold concentration on Shao Kahn. Whoo! Okay, uh, uh, it's your, it is your turn. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I think I'm gonna leave the sword in, uh, no, I have to step off. Uh, I will, uh, I will uh, step off of, yeah, <laughs> uh, uh, step off of the sword. I'm gonna get off the sword. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know. Shit. <laughs> Holy shit. Cool. Uh, uh, I uh, wheel around uh, holding uh, the 
the space where uh, I've been stabbed. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, looking at the blood as it pools in my hand. Gold. Gold means nothing. If you do not use it to lift people up, gold is a resource by which mortaldom climbs. And if you cannot see that, <laughs> then you have lost your way, Badron. Uh, I'm gonna quicken, I'm going to attack him. Mm-hmm. Uh, with my sword. Yeah, uh, let's go. You need a fan. Yep. I know, uh, guide. Okay. Oh, thank you. It's First more for sound. Yeah. <laughs> I know we need, ooh, we need, we need like a little little shade fan, yeah. fan you know. Just, yeah, the church, yeah. Yeah. old church lady fan. Uh-huh. <sighs> uh-huh. Um, I'm, uh, let's fight him like a pirate. Uh, I'm gonna cast, like I'm gonna uh, cast Quicken spell, hold person on him. Um, fight him like a pirate. <laughs> I'm gonna fight him like a pirate. Uh, I'm gonna cast a uh, hold person on him. Quicken spell, uh, wisdom saving throw, 18. That is a natural four on the yeah. die. Yeah. Uh, I will now attack him. He is paralyzed. These are all, if I hit, they're automatically crits. crits. Yes. Um, oh, please. So, uh, and I do I, I also have advantage? That is correct. Great. Mm. Uh, first one's gonna be a dirty, uh, uh, it's gonna be a 24 to hit. That's gonna do it. Great, second one is going to be a 25 to hit. Uh, so one of these is 2d6, uh, the other one is 2d6 plus 2d10. Uh, Right. Oh, that's all of them? Yeah. Okay, okay great. Seven, uh, 15, uh, which is 22, uh, plus, uh, plus five, 27 plus 18. 27 plus 18 is, is 45. Uh, 45, great. Those are my hits. Uh, now, Shaq's gonna swing yeah. on him. <laughs> uh, Shaq has three attacks, mm-hmm. uh, uh, and these all have advantage. Uh, this only one of them needs the advantage. Um, great, that's uh, that's two. Oh, Patron, why'd you have to do me like this, dog? Uh, uh, that is uh, what is it? your spell attack modifier, so that's plus 10. Mm-hmm. So 22, there's a 22 hit. Yes, it does. Great, okay, so that's three more auto crits. Mm-hmm. Uh, great, uh, nine, 10, 13, 15, 16, plus, 16 plus 33. Damn. Um, 16 plus 33 is 40. another, uh, 49? So 46, 45, 49, and then he'll also make a uh, a breath weapon attack that's psychic uh, um, uh, for another, uh, which and he fails the dexterity saving throw for another nine points of damage. So 45 plus 49 yes. is 94 uh, okay. plus nine. Plus nine. Uh, uh, Badron's sitting pretty at 101 hit points. Oh. Lou Wilson, how do you want to do this? Uh, I'll say that I uh, hit him with the evil eye, uh, a move I used to use <laughs> back in my pirate days of just like a squinting eye. <laughs> and then I'm just going to ever so slowly place the blade exactly at his heart mm-hmm. and then just walk forward. Petron, you are a pirate, and I respect you. <sighs> but Avalir comes before any oath I made in a past life. <laughs> and he falls dead. <sighs> um, above you, uh, Shakorjan 
the, his head in gold above you roars. And oh, the, can we say that yeah. at the end of that, yeah. Shaq, Shaq just uh, bites his head off? Yeah. <laughs> um, you <laughs> twist. Uh, uh, a man stabbed you in the back, and you had the decency to stab him from the front, right through the oh. fucking heart. Oh. Um, uh -huh. um, you stand there bleeding, a full sword wound in your side. Not the first time you've been stabbed in the back. Hopefully not the last, yes. but who knows what the night holds. <laughs> um, uh, and uh, you, you, Alessandra says, the ships will be ready. That's it. They went. The ships will be ready. Yes, Guildmaster. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, you see, he looks and says, oh, "We will keep them ready. Um, none shall be sent to the Ring of Gold. Um, none." Uh, he says, "says We have five ships. We will make as many ready as we can. That one of the ships is a smaller." He says, "We have a smaller frigate off to the side." Uh, he looks and says, "The the the university. Do you want us to send a ship there?" Yes, please. Yes, it will be done as, as, as quickly as possible. It will be done, Guildmaster. We'll see to it right away. Um, everyone, there has been a change in the organizational structure. Yeah. I will be commanding the Sailor Marines of the Harvest Moon. No. Um, yes. And you yeah. see, he steps up. <laughs> He's still got a fucking candle on the top of his hat. Um, I'm I, I step away. You won't be needing this. Well, very well. Um, you see, he takes out pull the candle out. Um, you stride forward. Um, uh, you stride forward with. Uh, uh, the dragon still beside you. Um, you walk into the Hall of Constructs. Uh, looking at the engines, what is it? What, which engines are you looking for? Uh, I want to power up all the tax men and send all but two uh, to uh, to uh, deal with the devils in Excelsior Plaza and move out from there. Hell yes. Um, um, you had a, go ahead and give me an investigation check. Oh, my God. We. Oh, that's a 13. Um, Alessandra, how does this damn thing work? Uh, Shaq, Shaq will give you uh, advantage on that. Uh, 14. I'm more of the creative. Oh, yeah, yeah. Shaq, get Alessandra then. Show us how this damn thing works. Um, you, you, can, I'm going to say, you get the tax men up. Um, you start looking. As you're going through, on that low thing, you don't see a thing in the tax men. You look in the wall of Hadmadad engines, of which there are vastly the most, they're the cheapest to make, you have the most of them. Yeah. You look at one of them, one of the engines. There's something wrong. You look down. It's the engine for one of yours, one of your couple hundred that you brought to the Feast of Amir. Mm. You see infernal writing on it. Gordranus, and you remember an element of mystery earlier this day, though it feels like a lifetime ago, Ahad Madad disanimating in the middle of the Feast of Amir with the word Gordranus. You hear behind you, <laughs> Canalithi emerging from the shadows. They've been in here somehow, tampering with these. The Hadmadad must have been practice. They begin to encircle. Your wound still there. Shaq Horzon looks at you. Is there any chance of us? Uh... There are so many. Uh, I think in this moment, uh, uh, Nidus realizes that for the most part, what he wanted to be done is done. Um, and is going to grab onto Shaq and be like, oh, we must flee, uh, and take off. Uh, as you say, we, you must flee, you hear. Uh, the Kanalthi are scattered to the wind, <laughs> covered in blood. Limping out of the shadows, you see a sphinx. I sprint up to him. <laughs> oh shit, what is his name? Pheromine. <laughs> Pheromine. Really good roll. Pheromine. <laughs> 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 I. 
Let us, if we can, if it is all right with you, consider this the boon, and I would like to be paid for my parade appearance. <laughs> Alessandra has been reassigned to Commander of the Harvest Moon, but we will uh, we will be sure that your payment is uh, is is seen to. They are, they came in. I saw them do something. They. He points and says, "says they didn't have time. I, I killed many of them as they attempted, but they did tamper with some. You look and see. You can you can send all of the tax men to to work. You have you have many of them. You can activate them here. You see that some of the tax men's engines have been tampered with. Four. The ones at the lay right, or does." Does it seem potentially like it could be the Ford of the Lairite? It seems like it could be the Ford of the Lairite. Uh, I'd like to c communicate that over to Lairin over the telebot. Lairin, uh, the taxmen, the, uh, the Canarthi have been in uh, the construct engine room. They possibly have tampered with the uh, the four taxmen uh, that, were, uh, that were in the room. Proceed with caution. Um, um, you look, uh, Pharaoh Mine says, hurry, hurry a little. Let the rest know, but and you hear, <laughs> and you see a legion of taxmen walk out. Uh, as as you leave the engine room, the Kanathi here are all dead. Pharaohmine is bloody. Walks with you. Shakorjan comes out with you, and you see uh, a, a group of about like ten taxmen get to the barricaded door that is being battered on by devils. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the taxmen. <laughs> And a 14-foot sword oh, what? <laughs> blasts through the door, okay. and the taxmen walk out just laying into these devils. Pharaohmine hits them with another roar. The sailors of the Harvest Moon come out and join the taxmen. Oh, you see yes. a group of devils uh, are like rounding the corner, and a Caro Hulk just straight up runs them over. Just a fucking. Yeah. Um, uh, you, and from the roof, you hear, all right, fellas, let them have it! And a bunch of Hadmadads <laughs> take off yeah. um, and all take their like various sandwich boards for local businesses and just start smacking <laughs> devils with them. Ba, 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 ba! Uh, <laughs> sure, sure, that as well! <laughs> <laughs> um, incredible. Uh, incredible. Um, <laughs> um, uh, we are going to move to the Herald's Tome. Um, I was dropped off on the roof. Mm -hmm. I will try to find an entrance, maybe through a balcony or a, a door on the roof or something. Yes, absolutely. Okay, I'll try to s slide in all awesomely. Yes. Um, <laughs> Awesome. You uh, you uh, um, uh, you go up to the roof. I'm gonna say there's like the the, the the door is locked, but you know there's an old side entrance. It's when you first bought the building all those years ago. It was a place to come up and grab sure. a cigarette on the roof if you didn't want to go all the way down. To the front. It's just uh, uh, you're like you. This, this is your home, man. Sure. Um, uh, you bust in through that side entrance. You are in here. It's quiet. It's, it's deserted. It's so it, nobody's here. Shit. I'm gonna call out anyway. Mm -hmm. Aria. Gwyn, Kaizu, Elwer, any, anyone here? Anyone? You say Arya, God and a moment it. later, <laughs> Arya's there, a uh, uh, full like nightgown, like like just you know like got cool. like curlers in her hair, just you know truly. Like, <sighs> I need pen. I need parchment. I need my gold robe, and <laughs> if a you're a hundred percent naked. I know. Yes, I am. Just don't look. It's fine. I've got I've got a little leather on. If a woman huh. named Bolo calls, Easter just Chicago. just ignore her. She uh -huh. has been calling me all night. Just ignore her. It's, I don't want any of those messages. Throw them in the trash. <laughs> Give me one. But um, <laughs> I need my gold robe. We need to broadcast now. Is anyone here who can run the equipment? I can, I can, I can do it. I can all do right, it. All right. So I explained to her that uh, we have a series of, of crystal uh, beacons uh, around Avalir, and then there's projectors on the side of the of the islet, mm -hmm. uh, on, on the side of the of, of the floating island. Mm -hmm. um, and I'd like to somehow, if it's possible, uh, direct them so that instead of sending out individual images, they're all sort of focused in one. In one direction below us, yes. try, trying to shine a, a gigantic mm. projection mm. down onto Kath Moira. Amazing. Um, uh, I'm going to go ahead and say that that um, uh, you you jump in, start getting to work. Arya jumps in with the technical stuff and starts to help. And this is stuff that uh, uh, is normally supposed to be for very special occasions only, but 
you tap in and just override the systems and boom, light and projection. You are about a mile above Kathamoira right now. You're you're beneath the weather line, um, and you or your image can be projected to Moira. All the crystal scene, screens all over the city come up online. Um, Arya looks and hears the screams outside and says, is everything all right? What's happening? No, nothing is all right. Everything's bad, but it's all <laughs> right. We're about to make it better. That's our job, and we're here to do it. So um, I need, I need, uh, parchment, parchment, and she gets you parchment and stuff like that. Thank you. She starts getting everything I online. Start scribbling, 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 crossing things out, scribbling, um, scribbling. As she runs into another room to get that stuff doing, you start scribbling. You feel something. Oh no. Golden leaves move in a circle in front of you, and a gate opens. And uh, a, what? <laughs> you look forward and see, you look forward and see Feywild. Golden trees and golden grass, and you see beautiful Lady Elmenor, High War Queen of the Burning Vale, matriarch of the Seely Court. Listen now, all my children scatters across the wide world. I have but one chance to open the door for you. The world of mortals is beyond our reach. Doom comes with the rising of the sun. I wish that I could save all those who now face ruin. But I may leave this door open only for those children of our court. And you can see that she is sending this a broadcaster much like yourself to every Seely fairy. So I can just step through this? This portal? She has, you or, see, or do I have you to? see in the Feywild portals opening all over Exandria, the fairies are leaving. The fairies are leaving the world because what is to come. Uh, My, I, I don't know if she can hear me. You sense that she is present in the minds of all she is speaking to. You also see that as she sits, like her th by the side of her throne, you see that there is a scroll written on like sort of rotting looking parchment. It looks like a missive from the hells themselves, um, as though they were warned or something. As though they were warned, some ancient pact between the Fae and Fiend, basically uh, that the Lord of the Hells uh, had to be like. I'm giving you, yeah. Sorry, sorry. No, no, exactly. Like, like the idea of the idea of him saying, like, "Hey, this doesn't concern you. What's Damn. about to happen? Get out." Yeah, 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 yeah. Or stay in. Yeah. Find out. You know you want uh, to say that. I, I will. Uh, I will. I will Fair reply around. to her. Yeah. I, um, not, oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You reply to her. She opens her eyes and beholds you. You can see that you have. You, she is able. To, she's an archfey. She's able to split her attention between as many people as she wants to. My lady, I have been gone from you for so long, and a great danger has befallen Exandria. I don't know what to do. I can't be in both places at the same time. But if you call, I must, I must come. I will come. And I step forward and I cast Gift of Gab <laughs> and I take back that last thing and I'll stay and I'll just turn my back on the door and, oh. and let it close. <laughs> um, You, you choose ruin and the world. You choose to cast aside the gift of your court and the right of your 
kin and all those from the realm of your birth to remain here in the home you have chosen. I'm sorry, my lady. I love you. But I love another more. My child, my heart breaks. I would rather mine break and yours be kept whole. She blows a kiss to you and your ticket from this place closes. You have... Um... Um, I'll hand a sheet of parchment to Arya and just say, proofread this, quickly. Um, <laughs> and get me powder. Yes. Um, she, you are a changeling. Um, <laughs> yeah, she, she, um, she, poof, uh, poof, poof, poof. Uh, uh, she powders you, she looks at it, says, oh, this is great, do we want to include, uh, oh, we do have some Market of Wonder spots, do we want to include any sponsorship? Sure, 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 yes, put okay. it in. <laughs> <laughs> Um, she, uh, ABC, yeah. uh, 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 incredible. Um, she she gets everything set up for you. Um, you are yeah, a primo sponsor. I have to. I have to. <laughs> Just somewhere in a burning tower, someone's like, you know what? If we make it out of this, um, you still have your. You also still have that recording that you made. About Laren, that's still on your person as well. Sure, sure. Um, uh, just, just saying that you get ready to go up. You walk past at the, on your way to the dais, getting everything ready. You, um, you see, um, you walk past the desk of um, Elena Tuveris, oh, who is is not here. But you, you have just, uh, you have just thrown away the chance to live forever amongst your court, and you are doing it for the woman you love, the world you love, the people you love. And you look at the desk of Elena Tuveris as you walk past. Um, a reporter of yours that, as you look, the reporter that discovered that something had happened to Evandrin Altera. And once you had confirmed that it was Evandrin's choice to take those risks, it's the first time you killed the truth. to protect the woman who now in this moment you protect once more. As I pass her desk, I'll just take off my little pin, the symbol of the, her of the herald, and I'll just place it on the desk and just say, I'm, I'm sorry. I'll continue on. You walk forward. Um, you arrive at the dais. Um, you're getting ready. Uh, Aria is setting up. You have your copy. Um, uh, and you stand there uh, and you see um, that there is a noise beside you as you approach the dais. <laughs> and Loris of the Weaver's Mask appears. God damn it! No. It's a I should have fucking killed him. I should have fucking killed him. I regret it. Is he it. in the room? He is in the room. Fuck oh, you, no. dude. Fuck um, <laughs> he, he looks at you and you see he says, Harold, I bring news from the Septarian. We, you must immediately broadcast to the subjects of Avalir. They must be commanded to divest themselves of all of their spell energy into the etheric net. The city must be preserved. Um, d d tell them uh, that they, many of them are, are fleeing, it seems, for, for ships that cannot be allowed. The ships must be redirected to the top of the city. Uh, this, is, this is the command of the Septarian itself. I 
I appreciate that command. Uh, uh, y yes, I, I will, uh, that's exactly what I had planned. Uh, uh, absolutely. Give me the deception. Yes! Yeah! 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 Yes! I should fucking kill him. Okay, it's a 25. That's <laughs> low for you. I know, right? it's as low as I can go. You gave me a 33. He, oh my God. he looks at you. Good. Oh. Good. Uh, and you see, um, uh, you see he, he says, <sighs> See it's done, Harold. Um, and would you like to watch the broadcast? <laughs> mm, mm, mm. By all means. He's, um, he. Uh, you see that Arya just him over to a seat. He he sits. Uh, uh, yeah, you see that he sits, and you can see that he's he's beginning to like do sendings in his head with other mages elsewhere in the city. Okay. And you see him say, "My master Eldamir." As he's I'm with distracted, I'm going to cast Wall of Force around him. Fuck it, hey. Best you man in the world. Are you yeah. playing? Uh, what level spell is Wall of Force? It is. Oh, 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 six or seven. It is Five. a six. It's my it's highest. It's a six. Uh, so the DC is sixteen. He's gonna try to hit you with a counter spell, he's, <sighs> but he's rolling it straight. Um, he needs a twelve or higher. We'll roll. Ooh, that's roll. a lot. That's Come easy on. to get. That's okay. easy to get. Oh, it's easy to shit. get. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. no. Uh, how does silvery barbs work? Uh, it's uh, disadvantage on the roll, and then you give. Can I reaction yeah. silvery barbs yes. him? You've, you can you react force him yep, to re-roll. I will like, do that. Yes, and give yourself advantage on your. And then well, you, yeah. I'll need it because he's gonna roll great. Roll bad. Roll bad. Eight. Ah! Eight. Um. So you see, he goes. Um. Uh. As you stand there, uh, you see that he <laughs> he looks at you. He says. Sorry, I'm with the Herald right now. He is about to cast a spell on you! Um, and you see, boom, he is surrounded in a wall of force. You smack his counter spell out of the way, and he screams, Ha! You are a traitor! A traitor to the Septarian! A traitor! And all you hear is, <laughs> Also, don't steal my words, bitch. <laughs> You're the traitor. You just Aria. got that from me. Oh, yeah. Are you ready? Here we, as she looks and has, is a horror. What the fuck? What the fuck? She says, um. Count me down. In five, <laughs> four, three, two. Uh, good evening, Avalir and Kath Moira. I, no. Good evening, Toramunda. It is I, Loquacious Seely. I report the news, win, draw, or lose. I am your heartfelt, handsome herald, addressing you now for the last time. <clears throat> Fire, <laughs> mayhem, <laughs> chaos, but also hope. Fear is in the air, but the spirits of Avalir are strong, and our brothers and sisters in Kathmoira inspire us with their bravery, sincerity, and pure forgiving hearts. Ladies and gentlemen, the replenishment is canceled. <laughs> <laughs> Our centuries old bond severed. <clears throat> the truth is, our wizards have failed you. The Septarian, the Ring of Gold, Loris of the Weaver's Mask. Liars, traitors, scoundrels, and curs. Their hubris run amok. But our two cities are like a married couple. We may have our differences. Oh my God. We may not have the same goals. We may even separate for a time. <laughs> but we are connected by love for eternity. We made a promise to each other, and it's one we must fulfill. Tonight, right now, a grave danger approaches your homes. But don't trust me. Trust someone else, and I will transform my face and body into Eldemir the Wise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. It is I, Eldemir the Wise. Loquacious speaks true, as, as always. There are prehistoric terrors and man made mistakes abound, but you can survive if you use your clever minds and passionate hearts to run. Flee now, take nothing but your loved ones, and get off Kath Moira immediately. You have 
until sunrise. Take every available sky ship at the galley. There are five. Take any means you need to to escape this place from Avalir. Use your magic to save yourself. I have instructed all the ruling elites and administrators of this city to go down with the ship. If you are hearing my voice and you are part of the administration, any administration, you must stay aboard this city as it falls. Uh, and then uh, my face transforms back into loquacious. Well, you heard it there, folks. Please. <laughs> Remember your Avalir siblings and the sacrifices we made for you. Remember Seret, the eyes of Avalir and his bravery. Remember Nidus, the dragon, and his sense. Remember Pesha Porco, keeper of scrolls and all the wisdom she brought. Remember brave Xerxes and Evandrin, the first knights of Avalir. And remember the architect Arcane, Laren, the most beautiful woman in the world. And also, remember the market of wonders. <laughs> <laughs> Specializing in Mercer's Discount Spell Ink. <laughs> we'll beat the price of any other ink maker in town or your next bottle is free. <laughs> I'm Loquacious Seely, and I'll drop my golden complexion and just use my true face, my true changeling face, saying, Seely, you later. I think Nidus down, down <laughs> is watching in rapture. Yeah. <laughs> um, wow. Oh. Oh. In 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 general. That was incredible. In general, roles tend to be asked for in moments where um, chance is required. But occasionally, people, without needing to roll a die at all, just give you a nat twenty, <laughs> and so that deception check as the administration of the city hears that they are being commanded to stay and see this through allows the populace of Avalir to rush towards the horizon. <laughs> and with those administrators staying, not only are the five galleys of the Golden Scythe kept, all the, the skyships, all the private vessels, uh, machines, ornithopters, carpets, all manner of things are made ready. And in that broadcast is a candle of hope held forward into the world that the people of this city might have a chance, which is more than the great Archmages of the Septarian would ever have given them. Um, uh, Arya looks, uh, sees, the, sees the wall of force, um, Loras screaming from within it. She, uh, she looks up at you and just goes, it's meant the world to me to work for you. And I don't know what the shape of the world's gonna be and I don't know what's happening out there, but I know that no matter how dark it gets out there, that the truth is gonna matter. It always does. And you are a big part of it. Thank you. Um, you don't like her. <laughs> <laughs> she embraces you. She, she, only, she only fucked a few times. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, that doesn't? Probably, uh, yeah. Okay, okay. She, uh, she embraces you. <laughs> she, she flees as well. Um, and do you, uh, uh, is there anything, any parting thing you say? Uh, because uh, Loris is, is fully trapped here. Oh! Yeah, but. Loris, I, yeah, I forgot about you for a second. You'll be fine in a few minutes. Uh, I, you know, I guess, uh, good, good luck. <laughs> Uh, it's been real. Uh, I quit. <laughs> uh, so, this is my two weeks' notice. Uh, good luck finding a replacement. 
and uh, I'll just sort of moonwalk out. <laughs> you moonwalk out. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, uh, incredible. This weird disco music plays. Incredible. Okay. Um, we are going to um, move to Kathmoira. Uh, we move to Kathmoira from there. Um, Xerxes, you fl uh, fly down as fast as you can. You, like, as you are landing, you see the broadcast, you, you know, a, a hundred foot tall, wreathed in like light and mist projected illusion of Loquacious alerts all of Kathmoira to the coming dread. Uh, uh, Abelir and Kathmoira both. Um, uh, you alight. Go ahead and give me a stealth check and a perception check. Uh, 25. 25. Um, seven. Seven. Mm, pretty good. You're a ghost. You're a shadow. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, um, two. Oh. <laughs> Incredible. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> you, you, uh, hit the ground in Kathmore. I assume you go to the home of Nidus's Where? brother. Oh, my God. Um, uh, I see this projection, right? Yeah, you see the projection, see yes, this. absolutely. Do I get a sense like that the I'm city like... has been emboldened because of this? <laughs> Yes, absolutely. Oh. I mean, the, the command the command has been given for the people to flee. Yes. Um, and you see that there are a number of sky ships also docked here in Kathmoira. Uh -huh. So there are, there are there are some vessels here as well that people are fleeing to as fast as they can. Um, I, um, I I have eyes on on Nidus's brother's house. I know that that's where Elias has been living. Mm -hmm. And what do I see? Do I see them fleeing? Do I see them struggling? Um, you see some activity as you land. People have gathered here because this, because uh, the all called of Kathmoira is uh, Edelis Okiro, is is his brother. Um, uh, so you see, he's out commanding a bunch of uh, people, uh, uh, wizards, druids. There are, are guards, you know, basically like coming into command of the city that has come to his home rather than to like the the great hall of the city because it's the middle of the night. Um, uh, you see, I'm sure, uh, this is this is uh, Nidus's older brother, uh, handsome man, big, muscular, big stomach, and a, a long, bushy beard. Um, looks to you and uh, sees you landing and goes, Xerxes, what what is happening? What is what is occurring We're in this moment? We're under siege. There's not enough time. You have to flee. You have to listen to what Loquacious said. All right. Where is Elias? Uh, inside. G go now. Uh, my, is my brother alive? Is he all right? He's, he is last. I check in, Nidus. Very much so. <laughs> <laughs> Very much so. Um, uh, you see, um, uh, he says, "All right, um, please uh, see to that. Please make sure that Elias is okay." Um, you see, he says, "He says he's inside. See, see him yourself." And you see, he points inside. You see, silhouetted in the doorway, golden light inside. I know, ah, uh, I know there's something that I could do, exactly, exactly bouncing off of what Loquacious just did that would help the city, and I've always chosen the city, and I'm gonna choose my son. I'm gonna get off of Tempest, and I'm gonna walk in there, and I'm gonna look at his face. Mm -hmm. Your beautiful son looks at you, in shock and horror, seeing the horns spread from your head. Oh, that's right. Oh, shit. Yeah. As you leave the darkness outside, you were where the shadows could no, 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 protect it's me, it's me, it's me, it's, it's. Daddy, it's. Dad? Yes, don't. It's me, just look at my eyes. Don't look at anything else, just look at my eyes. Please. I have to go. I'm gonna pull out my journal. I've kept so many of my thoughts and dreams and, and, and wishes for him. And I hand it to him. I set it on the ground because I don't expect him to actually take it from my hands. This is for you. Everything you've ever wanted to know about me and your father, it's here. He looks, he does not look like you remember him. Was a child. And now he's 13 years old. 
he's you look and see a Vandrin on his face. Mm-hmm. He's gawky and a little awkward now. He'll grow into it, but a young half elven a young half elven boy looks at you and he goes, Dad, Dad, wait. I'm so, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You have nothing to be sorry about. I do, and you see, you haven't even looked in his hands. He's holding uh, a basket with a spell kite attached. Uh, I don't know why I didn't send it. It's okay. I don't know why I didn't You don't send. need to explain yourself. I know why, and I, it's okay. It's okay. Elias, I love you. From the moment I laid eyes on you, everything that I wished for you to know about me, it's in this book. Take it with you. You'll always be five years old to me, no matter how much you grow. Dad. I have to go, and I leave. I jump back on Tempest. He takes the journal. You jump back on Tempest. Sarah, in this moment, you see some of this interaction occurring. Um, He takes the journal and you see Elias stumble back out with you as you go to a light on Tempest and you see for a moment as he looks holding your journal, Tempest nuzzles the side of your face and shakes his starry wings and a single feather falls into the basket attached to the kite. Elias looks at it, holding it. Dad, tell me that you're gonna be all right. Why do you look like this? What you see on the outside doesn't matter, my son. Just remember what's here. Then you will always see me for who I really am. Tempest alights, and you see your son holding the feather in the journal. Uh, Edelis looks up at you and says, You heard the first night. All the children, get them to the sky ships now! Oh. Um, and you see uh, Elias goes, Dad, Dad! And you see that uh, Edelis grabs him and says, listen to your father, listen to him! And grabs him and just hands him off to a pair of guards who take your young son and drag him towards a sky ship. I fly back to Avalir on Tempest. Um, you fucked up by putting kids in this man. <laughs> <laughs> Like, Truly. Bullshit. What the fuck? <laughs> Why could we all be single? <laughs> Why everybody gotta have families and love? <laughs> um, um, you, um, you return. Um, Am I in the sky? You're in the sky. I'm gonna call out. Mm-hmm. How much? I, how much time do I have? left before I know I lose myself. It's about five o'clock in the morning. You see the eastern horizon is becoming a lighter shade of violet. I'm running out of time. I'm gonna take advantage of what my friend did to embolden Mm -hmm. the people of Avalir. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to, in Infernal, Mm -hmm. call out to the fiends. Yes. Lay down your weapons! Um, give me. Oh, shit. Uh, give me either intimidate or persuasion, and please do it with advantage. Uh, uh. Oh, God. Um, persuasion? Mm hmm. It's a 15. Uh, you shout out, lay down your weapons. Um, Avalir is still very far above you. Mm-hmm. You hear in Kath Moira the chaos begin to subside. That 
as you have shouted down this command of the city here, um, you hear the fiends and Canalfi and various things like that begin to um, uh, subside at this bellowing infernal command. The moment you do, you see that your voice is stopped from reaching Avalier as you feel a grip in your chest. No. And you feel this wasn't the bar. <clears throat> uh, and you see that the last paragraph on the haft of your mace alights, the thing that Vespin wrote. No. Uh, oh. And uh, uh, the deal is not struck yet. You have less than an hour. You have minutes oh, left. God. And you, uh, you see, uh, you hear in your mind, Oh, how clever. Well, I can always abide by a deal. Let's see how much you can do with the precious minutes you have left. And you fly. Um, the devils lay down their arms in Kathmoira, um, and you see, as that happens, um, blood-soaked uh, druids, uh, uh, now that they don't have to fight these uh, fiends, see how few sky ships there are, and you see them start touching trees. Trees open to their brethren in Gwisar, in Asilra, in Wildmount, throughout Exandria, and they say, Rush, the first night has bought us some time. Come through. Yes. Uh, and people begin Ooh. to flee Kathmoyer and rush through these druidic portals to other lands, other continents around the world. Um, um, <laughs> but only groups have died because of the dead ones. Oh, oh, no. oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> we don't need all of you. Go. So many um, harmless people. <laughs> um, incredible. Um, you return, Sarah. Seeing this, uh, I I was just keeping an eye open for anything untoward, and I I didn't see it. So I'm staying I'm staying on. I'm staying on Xerxes only because there's not something right. There's something not right there. Yeah. Um, you all converge oh, man. to the astral lay right. And we're going to cut to Laren. Um, Laren, you arrive, as you, as you are returning to the center of the Meridian Labyrinth, you know that all these chambers are a short distance from each other. So the Calyx, where theoretically Vespin might be, you're not sure, but the Layrite is in a different place. Where are you going? What are you doing? Um, she's running through the halls, and uh, if I have time, I'm going to just check on the batteries and make sure that nothing else is untoward with them and they haven't been sabotaged. The other 11 are fine. There was that one that was sabotaged, the one that was like vandalized with the names yeah. of Roush. Yeah, I'm gonna go Blue. and like strike out the names and sever it from the like array. That Eldritch Battery is in a neighborhood called Okun. Ugh. It's far, I mean, the batteries are spread out. Yeah. Callum is there. You can you can tell Callum to try and do, yeah. do something there. Uh, then, oh God, how do I send a message? My little thingy's gone. I don't know how to tell him. I think that there's no way to tell him. You're gonna have to figure out a solution from the heart of the labyrinth. Him. Just, just have to trust him. Do. Um, as I'm moving through the halls, uh, every every broadcast Quay has ever made echoes through it. I've never missed one. And at his words, I break into a sprint and cast a mirror image. And uh, with the warning from uh, the dragon, uh, I'm tossing my little like all-purpose tool, this little screwdriver, and I turn it into the biggest, meanest version of a wrench, and three Larens, like scraping a massive wrench on the ground, enter into the calyx to take back what's mine. Incredible, incredible. Um, you arrive back at the calyx. Um, there you see... Or sorry, I go to the yeah. astral layer, right? Sorry. not the calyx. Okay, gotcha. Um, uh, you go to the lay right. Um, you do not see uh, anyone in the lay right right now. This, this is, it has not been a point. The, 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 your enemies do not know that you intend to do something with this. Um, uh, go ahead and give me uh, an Arcana check, if you'd be so kind. Fuck it. I can't roll better. Roll. 
I'm trying. I'm mm -hmm. not trying hard enough. I'm just gonna double check it. Oh yeah, it's plus 10. 19? Oh, that's good. Okay. Um, you need to start working right away. What you are considering is possible. The lay right, it's an apogee solstice, moving a ley line off into other planes of existence. Primordials are deeply attached to the same form of geomancy that creates ley lines. The names that are written in the Eldritch Battery are written to wake these things up. But you realize if they're written to wake them up, it can be, those names can be used to summon them. And if it can be used to summon them, it can be used to banish them. Yeah. And it's all of a piece, but it's incredibly dangerous. And the amount of energy that will be unleashed on a 19, you don't know. You don't know what will happen to the city. You don't know what the cost of this working might be. They didn't want to give you the names. Pesha arrives in the chaos. Oh, 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 oh. Didn't know what it meant. But I heard when I was touching, the tree did not give her the names. We have their names. You're right. Raushan and Kamort. Oh, and I've seen them written. And you've seen them written. Okay. Okay. Power in a name. You have a half hour to redo your life's work. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> oh, I, that's, that's right. Uh, that's right. Um, go ahead, give me another Arcana check. You have the names, so you can go ahead and roll this with advantage uh, as right. Pesha jumps in by your side. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, and 19 and 18 for 29. Incredible. Um, you jump in, as you start, you get your tool, you go to work, you are fixing, you are like literally working in the crystalline center of this massive throbbing crystal at the heart of the lay right. Um, Pesha, you are reciting names from the legend lore. Like, you are sc literally scribing through artifice the names, yeah. Pesha, that you remember. Um, these primordials have hundreds of names and you are writing all of them. And it's as simple as changing this from moving a ley line into the astral realm to moving these primordials into the astral realm. Uh, it's possible that you'll be able to limit the release of energy. The release of energy will be tremendous, uh, but you're, you're working on it. You're trying to get it down. You're trying to do it. The city is limited. Things start to, to alarms start to sound. You are approaching docking. You are approaching the city oh. coming down uh, to its final conclusion. Please, you feel this, right? Yes. When it becomes too much, I need you to leave. I need you to take Quay and get it out. I will finish this. And I can't be here to stop you. How much time do I have left? Uh, Xerxes, you are here. I'm gonna say that in this moment, all of you converge on this space. Um, we're gonna go ahead and put the board out. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 We had to fight something? What? Oh. Oh. You guys, what is this I have thing? something to confirm. No. No. I knew oh, it. God. You'd never trust a bird person. Oh, no. I have to piss so bad. Should we so just badly. call the episode here and make yeah. a fifth episode? <laughs> <laughs> I know. Uh, we're gonna get through it. Yeah, we're gonna we're get through good. it. Um, uh, Kyle just came, just poked his head in and gave you a thumbs up. Okay, cool. I guess. Great. I don't know what that means. <laughs> it means we're doing it, baby. Um. Uh, yes. This is we're 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 here. We're here at the end. Yeah. Um. Of all ends. Uh, but we're just gonna we're just gonna push. Uh, oh my god! There's like a the big almond. thing coming out. Yes. yes oh my so, god! What is, is that? Natural lay right? Is this my baby? Uh, do oh, you do need? Oh sorry. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Luda yeah. move. Yeah. We'll cut all this out in post. Do you need hands post, on the other right? side? Oh. Do you got it? Oh God. Do you guys remember like the sheer terror of having to bring out your project at the science fair? Oh yeah, oh, there it is. Ace of cakes. <laughs> Who the fuck <laughs> is that? <gasps> Whoa. Oh, okay, okay. Sorry. 
Don't know what that means. Don't even worry about that guy. Didn't even see his. Um, It's all okay. Um, Hold on one second. Um, Real quick. Why is my room dirty? Why is my room so dirty? Uh, it's all oh, good. Look at the stained glass. Oh, oh my god! Lighting effects. Oh, oh lighting right effects. It's right right okay. Thank you. Yes, there we go. Oh my god. What right on right earth? I think you just flip it over. Just flip it around. Around. Oh, flip it around. Gotcha. Okay. Wow. Perfect. Gotcha. Okay, great. Absolutely um, perfect. So. Oh my god. Um. Wow. Incredible. Um. <laughs> what a place to end it all. Hey, girl. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Keep... I thought that was a bad guy. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Tempest, oh, fuck Tempest. 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 We don't know. I told you about this, Tempest. going to be a good guy for maybe a little while longer. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, uh, we're not entering initiative right now, but this is it. This is the lay right. Hey, this is where. Don't forget Shaq. And don't forget Shaq. Shaq, uh, where'd you on go? On the left side. Light Shaq, the ooh. Yes, thank you. <gasps> Boom! A baby. Look at He's him. Bad. Hell yeah. Okay. Tempest and Shaq always a like. A child. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the Lyle rivalry. Yeah. Um, Who's so. the cooler? <laughs> thought I told you. Um, amazing. Okay. Uh, as uh, you all you all descend in here, um, you are working as fast as you can um, to conserve this energy. Uh, for anyone else here, as you arrive in this space. Um, oh, yeah, I'm just gonna say that I show up shirtless now. I've hell yeah. taken off my top. Fuck it, right? Why not? Fuck it to, uh, to like cover the wound. Boy and I now it. have just a. You see that I just have. I'm absolutely fucking tatted. You just <laughs> it's like ah! big, big nasty pirate tattoos. Like I'm yeah. like that is just a mermaid with just like. Too big of breasts. I was uh, real big titties. And then on the front is just a full spiral sea monster. Yes. Uh, Let's go! Amazing. Incredible. <laughs> um, <laughs> anyway, that's what you were asking if anyone has shown up to the Hell yeah. Um, that's amazing. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> um, uh, so, you, uh, you, the city is descending. Uh, your question. Um, the sun rises at 545. Um, it is now five, sun rises at 545. It is 533. No. Oh. Um, as you all hear, it's 533. It is no. the last minutes. It is, uh, you look and see, two minutes until replenishment. You are two minutes from the city docking. Um, you look through, you think of everything, right? you're working as fast as you can, you have two minutes left to do this. Um, uh, as you do, uh, the rest of you, yes, what as do you she, do? As she's working, can I go over to, to Xerxes, having, having seen all this, landed a little bit later, walk mm -hmm. up to him, and I'll just in, into his ear quietly say, your weapon was glowing when you called out. Is there anything we need to know? Yes, you need to know that by the time we land, by the time the sun comes up, and I say this to everybody, the deal that I made to buy us some time will take effect and I will no longer be me. Will it happen in the next two minutes? I have more than that. Then you can stay. I am going Get to stay. Get out of my way. I'm not in your way! With, oh. Oh. with a bonus I'm action. On your side. I'm just running past you. Yeah, what's that? With a bonus <laughs> action, can I use insightful fighting on Xerxes? Yes, you Just can. check him out. Yes, you can. Can I also use a bonus action to cast uh, I may have said level. that in info. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> words on myself. Yes, you can. Great. Um, and I'd also, uh, I'd also like to walk up to Xerxes. Uh, I don't think I can make eye contact with him. Uh, oh, that's uh, the worst. That's but the worst. I, I put my hand on your shoulder. Um, His breathing pieces. Um, did you see the boy? I did. I think they're safe. They will be. Um, you know me, Nidus. Don't let me become something I'm not. Brother, you will always be you. And whatever you. I'll make sure. Thank you. 
I, uh, I, I draw the mace. And I get ready to do whatever it takes to make sure that this works. Um, you're making the last changes you need to make. The city is about to dock. When it does, the layer will go off. And I want all of you to pick your positions where you are in this room. This is the lay right right here. Okay. I'll be next to Lairon. I will also be next to Lairon. No, <laughs> I'm just gonna put a hand on her shoulder as I do and, and okay. give yes. her uh, just some inspiration. Mm. My last inspiration. I'm going to. I'm going to say death, 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 death. Hell yeah. Where and is that's the door right there. So that's the door to the chamber. Um, I think I would guard the door unless there's cool. enemies in here. I move away from your bitch ass. Yeah, yeah, let me do it. I'm going to go over in that yeah. cool. I'm going to uh, stand beside my brother. Uh, incredible. I uh, see that face. I mean, it's nothing personal. But temp fuck Tempest that face. is. Yeah, thank um, you. <laughs> I'm not writing Tempest. Is there a window big enough for him to fit through? You're deep in the labyrinth. Oh, we're deep in the labyrinth. Um, uh, if, if Tempest would be out doing something, that's totally fine. <laughs> oh, man. I need. Um, I'm going to keep him in here for now. Um, keep him in here for now. Mm -hmm. Got it. Uh, um, I'd like to be on Shaq. Hell yes. I know it's a nightmare for you. Uh, Placement wise, but that's why. Yes, exactly. Because <laughs> you're about to do something nasty. Exactly. exactly. Uh, I'm that's also a challenge for us, a challenge for you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so I have 12 minutes ish, and we have two minutes to accomplish this. That's like yep. 400 rounds of combat. I know. Can you roll? I know. Can you roll this up? Are you but, mounted on on Tempest or no? Yeah. Um, I am going to be on Tempest. Yeah, I am going to be. Oh, Luis, can you roll a deception check for me, homie? Me roll a deception? Yeah. Oh fuck. Okay. You just have to be a 31, it's cool. Oh, yeah? Really? Jesus. Um, <laughs> also, can we just wrap oh, we'll myself on me and um, dragon and, 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 and pain and horror? Uh, a million yeah. percent. Uh, 23. Yeah, roll, gotcha. Like yoga stretch? Oh, yeah. Ooh. My shoulder did something good. Um, keep you yourself. Uh, yeah, uh, squared up in front of the door, the guild master of the Golden Scythe, and the first knight of Avalir astride a dragon and a griffin, uh, stare down the door. Um, Sarah, you are hidden off to the side in the shadows. Triangle defense. Triangle defense. Uh, and then uh, our two wizards and our herald are up by the layright itself. Um, Eighteen seconds. Three rounds. All right. All right. Three rounds. Three rounds. Explodes. What? And I need you all to roll initiative. Oh! oh. oh. When he does it so calmly, that's even worse. What does it mean, though? What does it mean? What does it mean? Fuck, which one do I want to use? Lucky right? Jade. Exactly. Lucky this is Jade. The, maybe this the most, is, the yeah, maybe the most, the most important, important initiative I've ever rolled. Is that what? the last one? I mean, there it is. Oh my god. How's it going? You guys, like, no, it's been an honor and a Truly. pleasure. Well, Brendan's not this here. I just want to take a second amazing. to say that I love everyone yeah. at this yeah. table right now. Dude, this right is when now. it feels <laughs> well, he's not man. Here. <laughs> we, we got a bond. We got a bond after this gotcha. one. Yeah. That's not bad. This and is not bad. Alexandria Unlimited Calamity. Chapter one, maybe. Chapter one. Maybe it's just chapter one. Hey, what's up? We'll see how these 18 seconds go. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Or maybe it's episode six, and we'll do episodes one through five later. It will be following <laughs> a new group of people. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay. What the hell are those things? Taxmen. Yeah, the yeah. ones that turned. Yeah. Oh, fuck damn, the ones that were hacked. It's the four taxmen of the apocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Amazing. Um, what did everyone get for initiative? Uh, 26. Oof. 26 for Sarret. Going out on a big 24. Yeah. 24. Uh, Tasha. 15. 15. Laren. Jeez. Oh, oh right she now. got a, a 15. 15 as well. Okay, so Ooh. Patia and Laren at the uh, back. Oh, right. uh, yeah, 12. Oh. Uh, and Xerxes. 14. So Patient I'm last. Oh, Loquacious is last. Yes. yes. Got it. Xerxes. Um, 
Yeah. Oh, I've done Serenitis Patia. Oh, can we say, oh, can you call it out one more time? Yeah, Serenitis Patia. Laren together. Laren. Xerxes. Xerxes. Look like So, Serenitis Patia Laren. Xerxes. Quay. I got your initiative. Oh, tight. Okay. Um, Nidus. Okay. Patient uh, there. Oh, so you got nothing left. Uh, loquacious. I know. Or, I'm sorry. Okay. Mm-hmm. Spell wise? Or um, emotionally? Yes. So, <laughs> uh, you are seconds away from the city landing. You are seconds away. Uh, outside, the horizon grows brighter by the moment. Um, you see the city coming, chaos, ruin, but ships are leaving. They have been leaving. Uh, they, they streak towards the sky as fast as they can. Avalir descending. As it comes down towards its ancient home, Toramunda, Mount Igora, where Raushan and Kamort were sealed by the Dawn Father and the Wild Mother in the schism in ages long past. The door to the Layrite bursts open. <laughs> Taxmen <laughs> come surging into the room. Uh, and Misty stepping in. Oh. Vespin Chloris. No, no, that's him! What? what? Oh, oh what? shit! Why did, Why did he rob the, oh. the fashion district? That is what? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, he did. Is he hot? Look at that halo. Is he is hot? Is he hot? That's is my holy favorite. shit. I, that fucking reaper is hot. Why do we keep making our big bags weirdly up. hot? Maybe we um, should have gone after him. Um, uh, <laughs> incredible. Um, I think we just have to keep these guys okay. off. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Of Laren. Yeah. We're not gonna win. That's um, exactly correct. Uh, uh, Sarah, you are first to act. Sure am, aren't I? Sure am. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he brought him. He brought in homies with him too. Cool. Uh, <clears throat> I am going to. <laughs> I'm gonna take. Go. Uh, uh, use uh, ten to fifteen feet of my uh, movement to move back uh, into the corner. Okay. Away from uh, the targets, and I am going to pull out, <laughs> believe it or not, um, my crossbow. Oh. I'm going to use my bonus action to take my attention off of uh, Xerxes, and I'm going to uh, make an insight check against Vespin Chloris. Oh. Uh, make an insight check against Vespin Chloris. You got it. Um, he's going to make a deception. <laughs> Come see me. Uh, 28. No. Yes, 28. You succeed. Okay, great. Uh, I'm gonna fire one crossbow bolt at uh, Vespin Chorus with sneak attack damage. Amazing. Uh, that is amazing. Uh, that is uh, 25 to hit. Uh, 25 to hit. Uh, hold on one second. Please, please fucking hit. Please. Yeah, oh God. Please fucking hit. Please it. kill. Can you imagine? That's if a bad miss The last fight, you just go. <laughs> you want a one through five. That's it? Five! Five. What? Wow. You bypass every mirror image and hit Vespin Chloris himself. Oh! He bleeds. He bleeds. He bleeds. Okay. Hey, a little, a little homage to not this right. Oh, nice. And then this one too. Okay. Uh, huh, I'm nervous. Hello. Uh, uh, 34 points of uh, damage. Damage. 34 yeah. points of damage to Vespin Chloris. Um, uh, uh, some big couple six. Uh, your crossbow, is it magical? I mean, oh boy. He's 14th yeah, he's gotta he's be magical. Magical. I do not be I do not, be- I do not, bro. I do not believe it is. Bro. Uh, bro. Look, I work up close, okay? I got an auxiliary no, you're weapon. Not, you're yeah, not, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey. <laughs> bro, bro. Hey, yeah. 17's a lot of damage, even for that. Um, crossbow. <laughs> I really should have invested in some silver arrow tips or something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> something. Yeah, in the bunch, right? <laughs> um, Mistakes were made. Uh, incredible. Um, hold on one second. I'm gonna have a heart attack. Die. 
And so much can change. In it's great. I know. Half a second. Great. That's the hard part about this shit. Right, exactly. It's like I feel crazy. Oh, I would use my area. Of yeah, re- yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, uh, Sarah. Oh no. Uh, he's got some sort of retro- oh, retribution strike. Out, right? Um, uh, as you do that, he goes. <laughs> 21 points of damage to you with a firebolt as a legendary action. Wow. Oh, God. Oh, okay. oh God. I don't have very many hit points. Okay. <laughs> yeah, right? Okay. I don't either. Ugh. We didn't really heal up, did we? No, we had not oh, wait, a moment. We, did not. Yeah. we were drinking um, champagne six hours ago. And your turn ago. hits you with a fireball. I'm going to use my reaction to have that. Uh, uncanny dodge. Done. Oh, what you have? I, I used it. I used Yay. it. Uh, I That's a good I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. I'm okay. Um, That's right, you didn't get you fucked up. There, you yeah. didn't die. Yeah, uh, that is, uh, Nidus, it's gonna be your turn. Great. Uh, I look back to Laren and I say, you were meant to pilot us to the future, but now you will pilot us to salvation! Forever there! Uh, 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 let's go! 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 I'm gonna, I'm gonna fly. Uh, can I ask you, yes. what do I know about the taxmen and what they can do? Basically anything. We're off keto. Um, <laughs> the, <laughs> we're, 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 off we're doing keto. it. We're yeah, doing that it. Moment. Yeah. Yeah. In that moment. <laughs> you wouldn't know everything about the tax man. Yes. There's no reason for me not to tell you. Um, I, like I, not AC or anything, but like resistances, that yes. kind of stuff. Uh, uh, when subjected to fire damage, they take no damage and regain hit points. Okay. So fire damage heals them. Um, Immune. Uh, I'm gonna communicate all of this over the telepathic well, bond in these six seconds. Immune yes. to any spell or effect that would alter its form. They have they are resistant against spells and other magical effects. Um, uh, you made these for a war, a possible war with Aeor. Mm-hmm. The swords, their blades deal damage proportional to the highest level spell slot a person is holding on to. So the more spell energy you've got in you, oh, the, the harder they hit you. Up build, Nidus. Uh, Brilliant, Nidus. I but have, fucked I up, have questions. They also have a. They also have a thing called a, a, a reaving dispel, which is basically they'll hit a cone of dispelling, and any spells that they can pull off of you will damage you as they come off. Uh, I can Why are you like this? <laughs> wow. Hey, these are bad. Well, if we weren't fighting them, they'd be fucking great. Um, <laughs> Not wrong. Uh, I'd like to communicate spe- and, and a special emphasis on losing your higher spell slots. Um, and with that, uh, I I am going to. Uh, Shaq is going to try and grapple the one closest mm-hmm. to us, and as Shaq moves toward them, mm-hmm. <sighs> uh, I'm in a six-level cone of cold. Um, that entire group. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Um, okay, you're gonna six-level cone of cold the entire group. Yeah. Um, you know your boy Vespin is gonna counterspell of this. Of course. How far? What's he gonna get? Is that 60 feet? Um, he has got to get an 11 or higher. We'll roll it in front of the board. Can roll that? Oh! Silvery barbs! Oh! Five! Oh um, he throws up the counter spell, it does not work. Um, <laughs> uh, go ahead and roll your cone of coal. Wow! I didn't, I, can I, I really didn't expect to do this. Uh, <laughs> one, two, three, four. Five, like six, really seven. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> uh, one, two, three, four, <laughs> seven. This is crazy. Uh, 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 can I have? Uh, I need. What do you need? Uh, what do you need? I need I a nine D eight, and I have seven, so I just need two more. One, two, nine. Two. I got you. Damn. Thank you. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah, it feels better when you roll them all. Great. Great. Okay. Uh, that's eight, sixteen. Yes. Twenty. Uh, twenty-six. Yes. Twenty-eight. 36, Woo! 37, uh, 39 uh, points of cold damage. Beautiful. Um, Any other effects? Uh, creature, uh, yeah, and they make a con save uh, against 18, but no, it's just the 39 points uh, to everyone in that 60 foot cone. They turn and run anything? and stop trying to take over the yeah, rock. Yeah, they, uh, they give up. Oh. <laughs> yeah, they're, okay. they're like, oh, it's cool. 39, it's 39 damage. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, okay. And a jacket. Came out. You're catching V Diddy in that too, right? I am catching everyone in that sweet 60 foot cone. 
that's been pokes through again. He was like, I was always about that wardrobe. <laughs> <laughs> I stay <laughs> dripping. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. Um, you <laughs> way up, cat. <laughs> um, just raw. You just feel like blizzards on the high seas from yeah, like yeah. deep in your soul. <laughs> just reach into a place of magic. Ah! <laughs> uh, and a, a cold rips across all of them. Um, that is your action, or that is a bonus, is a bonus action, action on a quick and spell. Yeah. Six level kind of cold is a bonus action. Uh, Shouts. <laughs> I am Love gonna, it. fuck it, I'm gonna run at <laughs> Vespin Glorious. Ah. Uh, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna shift the three points uh, shirtless. from uh, shirtless Ooh. as hell. So I will say this, oh, your, yeah. so Shaq yeah, doesn't yeah. have, doesn't have the the, fa the the space to get in between the taxmen. You could dismount to get up in Vespin's face I, if you want. I'm immediately gonna die. Oh, 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 fuck it. Yeah, this is how it goes. Uh, yeah, well, I'm gonna well, dismount. Well, well, Shaq, I'm, Shaq, stop him! Uh, and I'm going to go for Vespin Chorus. Hell yeah. Um, you <laughs> leap off of your dragon, rush in between these two tax men, and. There's a slide. There's a slide. Uh, Whee! <laughs> um, <laughs> go ahead and make your tax. Great. Oh. Uh, so these are, and yeah, so shifting the plus three to my AC, mm -hmm. uh, which is now 21, not that he's gonna use anything that uses my AC, uh, and so yeah, so this is made with a not plus nine. Uh, first one's a, a dirty 20. Mm. Um, he's used his oh. reaction as counter spell, uh, but we're gonna roll for mirror image. Great. It's a fucking mirror image. Uh, he redirects it, you get one of his mirrors. Great. Uh, second one, uh, it's gonna be a 19. 19, um, okay, uh, 19 is going to hit him. Uh, but, we're, but we're gonna roll, we're gonna roll mirror image again. Great. Um, it's gonna be eight or higher, he redirects it. Uh, he redirects it, you get the second mirror. Great. Okay. Uh, and those mirrors are gone? No. Is that, yeah. are they do I do now? damage? No, but but he had three, and now he's down to one. Okay, okay. wait. He's down to one. Um, okay. So no damage dealt. That's action, bonus action, movement. Um, action search. Uh, oh, if, only, if only I'd taken one level of fighter. Um, <laughs> and then uh, Shaq's just going to try and grapple the closest uh, taxman. Okay, great. Um, go ahead and have him roll athletics. Great. Uh, would he be proficient in athletics? Yes, he would. Great. You are trying to beat uh, a 13. Low roll from the taxman. Uh, first one is gonna be a 14. Just to see if he, I don't have advantage. It's a 14. Uh, he grabs it. <laughs> what do you want Shaq to do with this one? Hold him down. Uh, and then, if, well, if he does it with just one of his attacks, he'll use the rest to attack them. Go for it. Uh, uh, Shaq can also try to like, do you want him to hold him in the doorway or do you want him to? It, the, it's like to mm. reduce his speed to zero. I don't want him yeah. getting up. Um, you see it by grappling him. There are two more taxmen waiting outside the door oh and you, as Shaq pushes this one back, <laughs> you see he's helping to jam up the doorway. Those other two taxmen might not be able to push into the room Great. if you can choke up that doorway. Great, um, uh, I communicate that uh, to Xerxes over the telepathic bonds. Uh, <laughs> and then can Shaq make two attacks against this guy? Yes. Great. Uh, that's an 18, uh, natural 18, and then a, uh, a 18 flat to hit. Uh, 18 flat doesn't hit, but the first one hits. Great. Uh, and then he'll use his breath weapon on all three of them in that 30 foot yes. call. Let's go uh, for it. Yes. So uh, DC 18 dexterity saving throw. Mm -hmm. uh, the taxman he hit takes uh, 16 points of damage, uh, uh, piercing. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the breath weapon is psychic uh, and uh, does seven damage to anyone who failed, half to anyone who succeeded. Mm -hmm. Uh, seven to anyone who failed. Who failed and uh, of psychic damage. Okay. Um, incredible. Uh, end of your turn. That's it. Um, you hoo -ah, leap into the breach, uh, fighting uh, in your own way on the deck of your ship once again. Um, 
and you, he's going to throw a cantrip your way. Just a cantrip, got some motivation. Um, just a cantrip, it's fine. He hits, what's your armor class right now? My armor class right now is 21. Damn. Okay. Uh, An and attack is coming your way. I will shield to make it 26. You watch the guild master of the golden <laughs> sight leap forward, ba ba ba, and four d10 fire damage ricochets off your shield harmlessly. <laughs> <laughs> Not today! <laughs> <laughs> Hell yes. Um, incredible, Nidus. Um, okay, um, taxman number one coming for uh, Shaq. Okay. AC's 21. 21. That's only one hit on that taxman. Great. Um, Shaq is gonna take, and uh, Shakorjan has no spell slots, does he? He has no spell slots uh, and 70 hit points. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Seventh so level, okay. seventh level Shaq is tight. Yeah. Did you, did you summon him before I called the inspiring leader or after? Uh, but after. This yeah. is the second summoning. Uh, 23 damage to Shaq um, uh, from uh, from this taxman that is being grappled. Um, the taxman next to him is going to take two swings on you. Your armor class is now 26. Pray for me. You got this, baby. We praying. We praying. Boom! And you are holding up a 400 pound sword with your oh, defender oh. scimitar. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, over we your like head. Sexy exactly. monster. Xerxes, the bar has been set! Come meet me, brother! Uh, <laughs> I do believe the I man mean, has said, come get some. Yes! Oh, sure yes. He did. Um, incredible. Uh, oh. These, uh, this one, uh, this one is oh. going to. Uh, uh, it takes its swings, and it's going to move to try to clear a way here for another taxman to enter. Um, actually, no, it's not gonna do that. It's gonna stay right where the fuck it is. Um, uh, that's gonna go from there. Laren, that's you. Cool. Uh, do, the, do the stuff. Do yeah, the, hold do on, the first thing. Shit. Bonus action, uh, I pull out uh, I chipped off like a tiny piece of the bow before I used it. Yes. On the layer, right? Mm -hmm. And I just have this little bit of uh, material from the outer planes. And I can't decide between upper or lower. And I look over at uh, Vespin. And just with my fingernail, I want to carve in a symbol from the lower planes. We've been going through names. And I'm going to cast Tasha's Otherworldly Guys. What is that? To burn my sixth level spell, I have wings now, and I'm immune to fire damage. Oh my Yo. god! I will not. Yo. I will not be disrupted. Yo! I will finish this. Immune to fire damage. Immune, and uh, immune to poison. The poison condition. My dude has done literally the same thing on every player's turn, which is hit them with a fire, fire. bolt. Yeah. And it would be the cheesiest shit in the world for me not to do that right now. So you, boom. Hits yourself with the guys, and a firebolt <laughs> hits your abjurative wards. Barely even. Weak. <laughs> oh. And I continue to work with my action. Uh, you use your action to work. Uh, give me smoke? another Arcana check. What's that smoke? <laughs> uh, 22, unless it needs to be higher, then I can use a board inspiration. I'm gonna say 22. You have complete this round's actions. Cool. You are ready. You. Contain the energy. You, you, you. I'm gonna say this on a 22. You remove the possibility of an apocalyptic burst of energy. Okay. Okay. Exandria will be that this whatever this release of energy is. It will not be as bad as whatever happens if these guys come. You have it contained. It will okay. not be apocalyptic. It will potentially be bad, but you have two more rounds to get it done. Okay. Um, patient. Worst case scenario is off the board. All right. Um, Let's go. Let's go. Uh, Peisha, that's you. Peisha is doing deeps, a deep amount of math in her head, and she's evaluating every instance, and she's going to take a gamble, and she glides her finger along the ley line stone, and with a little bit of dust, she throws it over her shoulder and casts Disintegrate at 
Vespa. Whoa. Mm, hell yes. Sixth Whoa. level. Mm-hmm. Incredible. Mm-hmm. Um, he is going to- Fuck ro- your mirror image. <laughs> Fuck your Fuck shit. Fuck your mirror image. Is that a spell attack on Disintegrate or no? It's a dex saving throw, 18. Cool, so bypasses, mirror- bypasses the mirror image. Oh, great. Oh, golden, great. Mm-hmm. Fanta- I knew that. Mm-hmm. Um, here we go. How do you do? Okay. He succeeds on the saving throw, but I believe you still Silvery do. Silvery barbs. <gasps> oh! Yes! Okay. Weak! Okay. Incredible. Murderer! Um, so, I love her! So, he's, he rolls Amazing. with advantage, because he has advantage against it, but this is going to give him disadvantage. So I'm going to do a straight roll. Cool. Very impressed. Very impressed. Uh, and what's the, what's the save on this? 18. Dex. 18 dex. What is it? What is it? What am I doing? Uh, my boy fails. <laughs> Sorry. He fails and then he succeeds. Oh, no. Burning through one of his legendary resistances, okay. of which okay. you know he only has a limited amount. Cool. Okay. So um, it's a 10d6 he takes. Uh, but da 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 da. When I was in, it's gonna. He takes some phone. So, God damn it. Uh, and I give there. advantage to Zerz. On yes. a failed nice. save. Nice. On a fail. Oh, yeah. no, sorry. Uh, a little moat of like infernal energy shoots from me to you. I see Josh. Sure. More caffeine? You know, we gotta power through the. It's the, it's the last. It's you the just, last one. You pounded it's water. That one. <laughs> we need. We need to get up and go water. I'm pretty sure if you have one, you're off keto, but you have two, you're back on. That's yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, but, 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 okay. So yeah, no, I think that's it. I think Kelly? that's it. Yeah. Um, I don't know if there's half save damage. No, there's no half save for disintegrate. Nope. Um, you, uh, you deprive him Damn. of a critical resource, which is his legendary resistance. Good. <laughs> Spell <laughs> screams at you. So um, nice. you're not so, so. Any not any bo- any bonus action? Mm-hmm. All good. No. Uh, Xerxes, that's you. All right. Um, <clears throat> I am charging in as my brother requested, <laughs> and you just see him. Like, kind of lean back on one of his legs just to get some momentum, and he charges forward to the uh, other um, tax man. I'm gonna grapple him. Yeah, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grapple him and and try to like help uh, 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 block that doorway. Um, And I have advantage, Mm -hmm. and it's athletics. Yep. Okay. Uh, He's gonna roll athletics as well. Uh, You're trying to beat a 17. Oh. Uh, 30. <laughs> 31. Uh-huh. And this is just, is this you uh-huh. or is this Tempest? This is just you, This right? is just me. Hell yeah. Just the um, uh, uh, amazing. Uh, taxman in front of you, you grapple him. What are you doing as you grapple him? So I'm charging forward and I just, you just hear him and I just, uh, I, I just shove him right next to the other one that's blocking the doorway. And, uh, uh, what is it that you told me? Come meet me! Yes, the bar has been set. The bar has been set. The bar has been broken! <laughs> <laughs> Boom! And for a second, your two young guys back in Kath Moira. Oh, um, oh, uh, <laughs> why, why you do this uh, now? I'm bad. I'm bad. <laughs> I'm bad. Uh, I'm bad. I'm, I, came here to, I came here to hurt people. Um, uh, and I just hold them. Great. Boom! Just hold them. You got just. So far, you guys are doing an incredible job just holding the fucking door. Ooh, ooh, um, ooh, ooh. Uh, amazing. Uh, bonus action. Yeah, go for it. I am going to cast a spell. Uh, 60 feet. Ah. Uh, I'm casting Shield of Faith on you, my friend. Oh. Extra two to your AC. <laughs> all right, all right. So you see a, a you see a version of Xerxes, but how he used to look just appear right in front of you, and what little is left is a glimmering shield. <sighs> Beautiful. Oh. Um, I make eye contact with you now. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Aww. There it is. Loquacious, that's your turn. Oh, right? I have a turn. <laughs> um, I guess. I have a turn. <sighs> Uh, well, he's got those legendary actions or resistances, but maybe I'll get him to burn another. I will. Does he still have mirror images up? He does. One left. I won't matter. I will just, I will just close my eyes and just say his name, Vespin Chloris, and and cast uh, the psychic lance at him. Yes. Which doesn't doesn't need visual. Oh, Hell yes. Uh, Eighteen to save. Intelligence 18. Okay. 
Oh, he's a wizard, though. Fuck. Yeah, I know. I Maybe wizards. he'll roll bad. Maybe he succeeds on the save. Fuck you. Does anyone have silvery barbs? I do. Can I silvery barbs him? You can silvery barbs. We'll make it a straight roll. I have tax in my pocket. <laughs> uh, 18. You, I'll roll in front of the board for, for Farazis. I'm sure he's going to fail. Uh, on a one through five, he fails. That's it. Oh, oh. succeeds. It's two ones. That's two ones. Worse. It's got to be even worse. Um, so any any half Boom. damage from that? He gets half damage, yes. Uh, go ahead and roll. Uh, I'm going to borrow some sixes from you. Oh, yes, please. Um, Okay, that is seven, eight, 13. Oh, great. Uh, 23, uh, 29 halved, so 14. 14 damage. Psychic damage. Awesome. Um, okay. I'll give you my silvery barb. Wait, what does it do? Uh, advantage. advantage on what? A check? The, the next. What, uh, is it attack? No, it's just their next roll. The next roll. There's like three conditions. Of uh, attack, roll, ability, check, or saving throw. We've already got minute. inspiration. Maybe we should give it to Sarah since he's going yeah, go next, for it. right? Yeah. That makes I'll sense. give it to yeah. Sarah. Um, and then for my bone, oh, maybe I should get away from you since in case he does a big cone. For my bonus action, I'll just real quick, six seconds, get down on my knee and say, "Will you marry me?" <laughs> and and, uh, and uh, goes with a bonus action. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't have a ring. I have a raven's feather. What? And then I'll use the, my movement to back away. From yeah. <laughs> Uh, I like push my hand through my hair to like get rid of that weird uh, demonic guise. We're like, yes! Oh god, we have to live through this! Uh! Uh, I'm gonna move as far as I can, just sort of that way. Uh, Amazing. You move as far as you can this way. Just in case there's some sort of area. Why'd you have to do something so sweet? I know. Right before his turn, probably. You know! You know! He knows what he's doing. You know what you're doing! A monster! Yes! Yes! A beautiful monster. Fuck this, what's this? Uh oh. God damn it, God damn, damn. it, I knew it. I knew it. My dude cannot end it all this round. Oh. Cool. Um, Sick, that works for me. Yeah, that's good for me, thank you. Thoughts and feelings. Um, what was he trying to aim for? The no, no. He said end it all. Okay. Use your words, Vespin. <laughs> Vespin, what are you trying to do? <laughs> what do you mean in the dog? <laughs> oh, that's it? Oh, that's <laughs> all? Okay. Just I understand your frustration then. Maybe we can come to some kind of compromise. It's always for you. Um, okay. Oh no, that's good. Um, Vespin. Is going to misty step into the center of. <laughs> Vespin is going to misty step into the center of the room. Actually, I can. <laughs> counter spell. Blurp. You counter spell it. Misty step. I I would know misty step is a or a first. Uh, oh, second. It's, 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 it's real. It's like first or second. Yeah. Um, counter spell. Uh, level. You're going to just come and come at him and counter spell. Yeah. Uh, I don't God, want him does closer. He, does he want to counterspell this? How much does he care? What does he care about? Mm -hmm. um, he just is like, wait. I'm, I'm going to say, he. you see it's important to him to get closer to Larry. Okay. And so he's going to counterspell your counterspell. You dig. Uh, and he's going to drop a fifth level on it just to <gasps> smash it out of the air. Yeah, that does it. Wow. Beans. Yeah, but that uses his up um, for the entire And he's going yes, yes, until his turn. No yes, more reaction. Does. Uh, and he is going to Pesha hit you. No. Um, just use my reaction so I can't yeah. shield. Fuck. He would have hit you. Uh, it's not good. Seven, nine, 19 points of fire damage. Wow. All right. You're wow. okay? Yeah. yeah. Did that just burn for the temp HP? Or, no, no, not for the temp no, HP. There was no, but no. HP. Okay. Just what, do you, what are you at right now, Pesha? <laughs> don't tell her. You don't don't tell, tell me. You don't have to say <laughs> it. It's not gonna it. change anything. Yeah, if you don't say it, it's not real. Thanks to the kind folks at D and D Beyond, I don't need you to say oh! it. Tell oh. them, tell them. Let, let's let it, let's all share it. Wow. Don't do this. Dose, yep. dose, baby. Wow. Um, so you see, boom, <laughs> um, and the screaming yeah. fiend hits you with that firebolt. Um, oh, shit. 
looks at you. Uh, uh, and is has gotten close. Uh, we move round two. You just need to get to the end of the round after this one. That's it. Yeah, Sarah, that's you. Uh, and he, he threw a fire. He missed. He stepped and threw a fireball. He's down a reaction. He's down a reaction. Hell yeah. Come on. Get that guy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, bonus action. Uh, insightful fighting. I think you already got it on him, right? Yeah. Oh, I do. I can, yeah. it, it stays it's just, up for a minute. It stays up for a minute. Let's go. Kick ass. Uh, uh, okay, so I, it's instant sneak attack. I'll take a swipe with my magical hawks. Go for Ooh, it. Nice. Uh, er, oh, I got to roll ahead. That's right. 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 Thank. Sorry. I swear. Blah. Uh, 20, ooh, 22 to hit. 22 hits. Okay. Woo! Chuck, chuck! <laughs> I think you have advantage on that roll. Oh, I did. Oh, that's good. I know you already hit. Do that's you, okay. Yeah. Do you have advantage on it? Yeah. I'm he gave it to me for the next turn. Yes, that's right. Okay, so, uh, 20, uh, 26. We got oh. this, we got this. We got it. 30, 33 points of sneak attack damage. Um, how do you want to do this? No. <laughs> how do you want to do this? 34, 34 points. Um, you, Vespin, you've been training your whole life to kill bad mages. Feathers, wings, uh, you kick his hand. He like drops his arcane focus, and as he goes down, you bring an ax into the back of his neck. Uh, and yeah, actually, hook, I hook the back of his neck. I sink it in, and then I use it to turn him around. Ooh! <laughs> um, Nasty. It's ne you're, you are in the moment where your skills have never mattered more. The skills you spent a lifetime building have never mattered more than in this moment. How you doing, gorgeous? Yeah, there he is. <laughs> uh, the man you've been tracking down. You've got. You always get your man. Here we go, um, uh, Sarah. That is your turn. It is. Um, and you're gonna stay in melee. Right there. Right there. Hell yeah, Nidus, That's you. Maybe. I mean, uh, no. Shaq's got the tax man down. Sorry, end of your turn. Okay. Um, he, yeah. uh, end of your turn, he's actually not gonna fire, but he's done with that plan. Why? Okay. Well, um, it's a fine plan. It was working it, great. I lean in and say, it'll hit this one. <laughs> what are you doing, bro? Oh, stop. Bro, stop. Oh, bro, come on, don't. What is bro, that? What is that? Uh -huh. Boom. Uh, 20, that's, this is 20 foot radius, right? That looks about right to me. Sure. Okay. Yeah, let's say it. Don't get a bigger one out. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, I'm going to need Tempest, Shaq, and Sarah to give me dexterity saving throws. I have something. I do love. I'm sorry I renamed him. What's his name? Shao Kao? Shao Kao? Shakorjan. Shakorjan. Shaq. 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 Shaq's just better. Yeah. Hey man, Amazing. Shaq's just better. <laughs> <laughs> Seventh level Shaq is pretty cute. Pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good. <laughs> pretty good guy. Um, let me know if you uh, didn't beat a 21. Anything lower than a 21. Oh, yeah, this is low. I have advantage yeah. against spells cast by creatures within five feet. Of oh, yeah. Ooh. And Ooh. this is not a spell. It's not a spell. Uh, nope. Okay, so. Is he within not. 10 feet of me? Uh, no, he's not. Uh, I don't have, he wouldn't have proficiency in dexterity saving throws, right? No. Uh, 17. Okay. Shakorjan takes 21 points of fire damage. Tempest takes 21 points of fire damage. 28, and I'll use evasion if that was successful. Oh, uh, you take no damage. Um, he erupts in flame and you uh, twist into the explosion. Uh, and your wings, boom, uh, you are left unharmed by the fire. Um, that is. Uh, that's Vespin's uh, legendary action. Nidus, that's going to be you. Uh, Come on. Based on what I know about the taxmen and the timing, taxmen don't have ranged weaponry, correct? They have a short 15 foot like dispelling cone, uh -huh. but no, they don't have range. Got it. So my best guess is that they couldn't get to Leirin. Well, they could, well, if they move this turn, then we got to get to the other. So Shaq's going to stay on that guy. Hell yeah. Uh, <laughs> Vespin, we have unfinished 
Next business! Uh, I'm just gonna climb up his back. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let's go! Uh, okay. A shirtless climbing um, yeah. pirate! <laughs> Um, no. You're gonna get two yeah, opportunity yeah. attacks from these tax men. So uh, that's, um... But you invented them! <laughs> come on, come on! I don't want to this world! I don't want to get it too Is it there a fail safe or something? Wait, what's it? What's happening? I have to take two Clouty opportunities from this. What do you think? Oh, God. Wait, are they grappled? Both of those are... They are grappled. Their speed is zero, but that doesn't affect their ability to get an oh, attack really? of opportunity. No. Yeah. Mm. They're not restrained. Right? Speed's mm. zero, that's it. That's it. Mm. Okay. I mean, if one of these dudes clocks me, it's... They won't. <laughs> they won't. You got plus two to AC. <laughs> they don't have to. I have 20 AC. I can, I, bur I can burn a higher level spell to cast shield, right? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go! <laughs> I'm taking off. You're taking off? You're yeah. run. Uh, you, you, yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> So your AC is 20 right now? My AC is 20 right now, and then based on looks you may give me, I'm gonna cast shield at a fourth level. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna cast shield at a fourth level. <laughs> I'm, gonna get the luck, but I I'm gonna burn my last spell slot to cast shield at a fourth level. Well, honestly, you're probably good to get rid of the spell slot. Yep. Yeah. Um, uh, okay. So um, I'm uh, 25 at this point. Oh, one of them still manages to hit. Okay. Um, and it's going to deal you, that is 13 plus seven, 20 points of damage. How's Nidus looking? I am at, th at Trace. Wow. <laughs> Dose and Trace. Dose and Trace, oh, baby. Wow. Uh, um, and one of them, in the one boom. hand club. Um, one you hand literally, hand you, hand if hand you had not burned your last spell slot, you'd be dead. Yeah. So you get the last bit of ether out of your body as this sword prepares to disrupt your innate magical ability and finds that you are spent. Yes. Um, wow. Uh, and so how much damage was that total? That was a 20 damage total. Great. Uh, we uh, concentrate on, concentration on check remains. Hell yes. Amazing. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to make uh, multiple attacks on- Vespin. On Vespin yeah. Forest. Uh, again, uh, switching three over to my AC, so we're now at 28. Oh, yeah. Um, In the face! Uh, first attack is uh, is a 27 to hit. That hits. Uh, second attack is a 19 to hit. 19, uh, 19 does not hit. 19 does not hit, great. Uh, so on the one attack that does hit, we'll make, uh, we'll use my Last bardic inspiration. Oh, and I am gonna roll. I'm gonna roll for that mirror image there. Hold on one second. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's oh, one more. Eleven, one eleven or higher. Two. Oh. You, you get the real guy. Woo! I get the real guy. Uh, what did I say? What my AC was? Twenty. Twenty. Or it's twenty plus five. Twenty-five plus three. Twenty-eight. Uh, and we'll ta we'll tack another two on there. Uh, Are you up to thirty armor class? AC is thirty. I know. Yes, but I do. But I do. I do. But I only do nine da uh, nine damage total. Nine damage total. You got it. Um, uh, uh, okay, you deal nine damage total to him. Um, uh, <laughs> Uh, you run up, uh, you and Sarah on either side of this this fiendish horror. Uh, after you, uh, do you mind if Shaq yeah. takes his two? Yeah, uh, go for it. On the taxman. Yeah, 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 go for it. Uh, sorry. Oh boy. Oh, um, that's gonna be. Sorry. Uh. Oh, good. It's uh, a 19 and a 25. 25 hits. Great. Uh, oh, and one more. Uh, and a nat 20. Woo! So Fire. in total, that's 1d6, two, so it's only 3d6. Uh, uh, so 11, uh, 11 plus three is 14 plus 22. Uh, 14 plus 22 is 36. Uh, and then he'll also use his breath weapon attack on the two taxmen in the space there, doing six damage if they fail and three if they succeed. Am I in that? I mean, I'd love it if you didn't have to be. Uh, 
No, he can angle it. Yeah, yeah. okay. You're good. He's um, did you double your crit damage? What? Did you? I doubled the dice. Oh, he only does one d six plus eleven. Copy. Okay. Uh, Shaq's armor class. Uh, Shaq Corjon's armor class. One more time. Twenty one. Okay. Shakur Jean is going to take 25 points of damage. Uh, what what type? Uh, slashing. Okay. And then 20 points of damage. Uh, the first dragon of Toramunda is no more. <gasps> no! Oh, um, wait, how far away is he? Still too far. Oh, dragon. the dragon. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, Shakur Jean is released. Um, this tax man, having taken both his attacks, uh, is going to step forward here um, and create space for the companions oh to enter. Um, it's getting rough in here. One, two. Three. We're just getting warmed up. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. Three rounds. That's all you need. Look, we're, we're halfway away. through round two. Ding, 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 halfway ding, ding, through ding, round ding, two. Ding. We're all still up. We're all still, we're all up. still up. You dare say this. <laughs> the one hand club. <laughs> <over here. laughs> two. We got two. Oh, yeah. Two out of three. Two out of three. Awesome. Come on now. I'm moving. <laughs> Take a swing. <laughs> okay. Bob Parker um, with his really long sword. Come on now. Take a swing. The one dollar bet. One with three. Uh, Xerxes, without your shield, what's your armor class? 21. 21? Okay. Um, you are gonna get hit by one of the attacks from these taxmen. Uh, you take 20 points of slashing damage. Ooh. Um, what's the highest level spell slot you've got? Uh, one. Um, hold on. Get back down. Uh, a second level. That's the only spell slot I have left. Oh, uh, you take another eight points of damage. Got it. What are you at? I'm okay. I healed myself. He's with, uh, burning. He's burning. Uh, so what yeah, was you the see, total? You see this, like, dull gray adamantine Age of Arcanum, this, like, spell-stealing metal. Boom! God! And you feel, like, your own latent magical ability turned against you as this... Uh, Does that burn my spell? No, it doesn't burn your spell. It just deals extra damage to you. And that was uh, how much again? 29 total, was it? Uh, I believe, yes, it was 20 plus 9. I think, okay. Right, yeah. yeah. Uh, incredible. Okay. Right. Um, that uh, is going to be... Uh, and then this one, actually, yeah, that guy's going to move in there. That's the, yeah, he has the reach to hit you. Other one's going to take some swings, too. Uh, that next one is a miss. Um, oh, Jesus. 29, no, sorry, 36 points of slashing damage. Oof. Plus another six uh, psychic damage. No problem okay. for the Knight of Avalir. Yeah, you Stop. got this, man. You got this. <laughs> 42 points. Knight of Avalir. <laughs> he is bleeding, but he's up. Um, Laren, it's your turn. Come cool. On. I'm gonna ask for the last time. Uh, in the like half hour while other people were doing stuff and I was moving here, would I have had time to spam mage armor for a minute and 42 seconds to get my full arcane ward back up? Yes. Cool. All right. So with that back up, um, I'm interacting with this, but I am also going to cast a mirror image. Amazing. And Amazing. All three of us turn to you and say, "Run, oh, run, wow. run!" Wow. And then I spend the rest of the time interacting. Give me another arcana check. Oof, uh, a two. That's bad. Damn. Uh, Twelve. I'm gonna use uh, Bardic Inspiration. Sixteen. Sixteen. <laughs> this is your second to last round. The art, the energy comes in. You have to decide in this moment whether you want to limit the energy output of the effect or ensure that Raushan and Kamort will be removed from Exandria. Say that one more time. On a 16, you must make a tough decision. Do you want to further limit the release of energy 
and make the release of energy safer for the physical environs of Avalir and Kath Moira? Or do you want to ensure that Raushan and Kamort will be permanently banished from Exandria? Impossible. Laren's little joke to herself was always that the heart of Avalir was the like thing she inherited, but it was too small. She made it bigger. She improved it. She improved the etheric net and built this and that she was the heart of Avalir, and she gave everything to the city. But I know what people are fighting to protect, and I remember what Quay said about going down with the ship. So, we will ensure it. This will work. Avalir be damned. Avalir be damned. No more mistakes. The names are locked into place. You inscribe the final syllables of the list of all the hundreds of the names that Pesha learned. They are fixed into the crystal. This cannot miss. <sighs> Pesha, that's your turn. Down with the ship. Oh. Do I keep them away or add to the power? I need a couple more seconds. You tell me when. But in the meantime, with me saying that, <laughs> I'm gonna look at the stained glass of Avalir floating behind us, secretly questioning how Laren had the time to build all the stained glass underground. But it's you incredible and I love it. <laughs> and Ooh, resources and I built this. You know what? But there's like 380 Phenomenal. magisters. Not <laughs> only is it functional, it's decorative. Oh. And um, I look at the rest. Please! Oh. <laughs> I, I'm over there. I'm looking. <laughs> if you look closely, it's not very good. <laughs> <laughs> I look at the ring around the stained glass. <laughs> And I reflect on the brass ring, this amazing group of six people. And I look at all of us, and I just say, telepathically, in our bond, I love you, my family. And I, you just start seeing runes coming out of the ring behind the stained glass, and it pops out almost like a 3D effect, and smashes down over top of us, and I cast, cast a wall of force ooh, ooh, ooh. around, essentially, yeah. Laren and I. Incredible. Yes. I, yeah. Everyone else is kind of left out, yeah. but this is the most important yes. thing right now. Yes. Um, boom, uh, images, stained glass, force, boom, surround you. You've given your whole life to a place. And the hope when we give all of ourselves to something is that that something will, in times of need, stand for those that have given to it. You have served Avalir. Avalir now serves the world through its architect arcane. Let Avalir serve you both. Vroom! Uh, you are protected by force surrounding you. Um, you have one last round. Um, I, we're, we're making our way through this this second round. And Brennan, yes. I might be overstepping a little bit, Go but I essentially would like to hold my next action yeah. for the moment that the architect arcane says, it's time. Yes. You may absolutely hold your action. Right. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. Xerxes, that's you. Um, oh my god. <laughs> There's all of these things that are coming in, and they're... And I can't hold them all. I can't even hurt them. Do it all? Do it all? Yes, you can. Yes, I can't. Can. No, because yes, can. I do fire damage now. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Oh, um, and that gives them health. Yeah, yeah we it's fucked fun. up when I built these, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I apologize. <laughs> They've busted through. I'm holding on to one. I 
And oh fuck. <laughs> I mean Yeah. Yeah. That bastard. I am going to I'm gonna let go of the guy that I'm holding. Okay. And I'm gonna rush to Vespin. Okay. Uh, they're gonna get two swings on you. I know. Um, Dude. Only one hit. <laughs> uh, that's gonna be 12, 19, 26 slashing damage. Wow. And then 10 psychic damage. I go down. You turn to Rush Vespin and a sword, boom! 36 total, right? Thuds into your back, 36 total. Uh, I, the last there. thought I have is to Tempest. Um, um, to um, get out. You tell Tempest to get out. Mm -hmm. uh, on your turn, Tempest, give me one roll with, give me an athletics roll with advantage for Tempest. Um, proficiency bonus to it? Yeah. Uh, it's not trained in it, so I think it's going to be a 19 or a 21. <laughs> okay. Uh, you see Tempest looks at you as you fall and says, like, you say, get out. Tempest looks, looks at the tax man that just dropped you, and you see he goes, oh, and you hear, I'm with you. Yeah. Tempest ah! boom, leaps, grabs the tax man, and you see for the first time, grabs him and grapples and teleports out, removing one of the tax oh! from the battlefield. Damn it! And you see through the portal, oh. Tempest in open sky with this giant tax man and just drops it to let him yes. fall a mile to the ground. Amazing. Oh um, my God. Uh, and Tempest <laughs> is gone. Um, uh, Xerxes, uh, that is your turn. That's Loquacious, it. that's you. Run. Coming to you live. Run. I can, I could get him back up, but this is the last round. We're going into the last round. We're, yeah, this is, you're, you're bringing up the rear of the second round. Um, the next round is the important round. The next round is the important round. You don't even need to get to the end of that round. You just need to get to Laren's yeah. turn yeah. on that round. So in that case, I will hold my action I will just hold a simple healing word. Mm. Mm. Incredible. And that's it. <laughs> you go for your healing word. It is Vespin Chloris's turn. Yeah. Um, Vespin goes to cast a spell. Um, I'm going to real quick look up the wording of Wall of Force because I believe this will bypass it. So, um, come on, uh, bitch, come on. Uh, <laughs> nothing can pass physically pass the wall. It is immediate all damage can be dispelled by dispel magic. You see, nothing can yeah. pass through the wall. Nothing can physically pass through the wall. Oh. But this does. This is not passing through the wall. Um, Vespin Chloris needed to get close within 60 feet. A ninth level power word kill is no. coming for you right now. I'll use my Mage Slayer feet, but I don't know what, if that will do anything. You get a reaction and you have, uh, it, is a, it is a sneak attack. Um, I don't know if you have any way to, to make it advantage, but uh, you do get a reaction to hit him. Does he have to roll on this? What's that? Does he have to roll on this spell? No save. It's about the hit point total. If you're under 100. Um, but he has perfect. Yes. He has mirror to. Mirror image. Uh, mirror image only applies to attack rolls. Oh, this isn't an attack? This isn't an attack. <sighs> We're just all desperately looking at our eyeballs. Oh, this can't be! Um, uh, and first, first of all, no one—I don't. No one. No one has any counter spells or anything like that. I, I have a silvery barb. Oh, fourth level counter spell. 
Okay, fourth level counter spell. That's all I got left is the fourth level counter spell. You add, so it's it's you. But after it is this after Sarits. Sarits. You can you can you can do these in any order that you want. Wait, what did Sarit do? I have made so so he casts a spell. I, I get to hit him with sneak attack. Okay, but that's do, do that. Sort of do that. Okay, okay. But you guys I don't think that just stops do that. the spell from happening. Do that. You I can do both. Is there an order that you want to resolve these in? Do you want to do the counter spell first and then this him hurt for him first? Okay, him first. Sure. Okay. I'm gonna silvery barbs. It was twenty five. Okay. Okay. Twenty five to okay. hit. I'm gonna yeah. silvery barbs him. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah, yeah. What yes. does that do? You have to roll with disadvantage to hit. Uh, oh wait. Also, I don't think we didn't get the. It's the he has the last mirror image on him, you right? Give her advantage. Yes. On her column spell. There's a last mirror image. Brilliant. Here. Okay. Oh. There's a last. Yeah. There's a last mirror image here. I love it. Brilliant. So I have to roll with disadvantage. Mm -hmm. Want to kiss you? <laughs> yeah. So smart. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna roll for okay. mirror image here. You want a one through a ten on this? That's a six. Wow. Woo! You hit the man himself. <laughs> Except no, you have to roll with I disadvantage. I rolled with disadvantage, and I'm gonna miss him. What did you get on your second attack? A 17. Okay, 17. Um, counter spell coming in twice. You have advantage. Yeah. Well. Sorry. No, no. I don't think it would have killed him. No. Whatever you did. I don't think so either. It was, it was, it was just all sixes, right? So. Yeah. I don't mean, you're day DC 10 plus. This is a ninth level spell. Ninth level spell. Oh my god. You're gonna have to roll so fucking high. Is it a nat 20? No, it's not a nat 20. I believe you had plus five to the roll, so there's gotta be a 14 or higher. I have to roll? You have to roll. Yeah, you, have to you roll, roll the counter spell. I have to roll. You have to roll the counter spell. Yes. Oh, sorry. Fourth and you're, you're, level. Fourth level. Fourth level. Um, I mean, if we only need a 14, we can get a 14. I'm going to home rule in this instance that because you're casting it up one level, you can get it on a 13 or higher. And I have an advantage or just you have an advantage. advantage? Come on. 13 or, oh Come my on. god. You got this. You Come got on. this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. Porco. 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 This is your city. Porco. For the Palazzo Porco. What is that? I can't, Wait, are those I can't double tell. tens? What is that? Those are two tens. <laughs> Copy that. Does the best wing for us have uh, more than 38 yeah. hit points? I am going to make a ruling here. The counter spell is gone. Spell. Is gone. It does not succeed. No other counter spells active anywhere no. here. Your disadvantage attack roll here. Missed. <laughs> that spin. Uh, here's the thing. Vespin's AC has been unnaturally high this whole time because he's been casting shield whenever he can. Uh, if in reaction to your, you, you rolled a 17 on your attack roll, right? I did. 17 is his armor class without shield. So, he would have to cast shield to avoid it. But doing so would trigger your reaction that you are using. It's a, it's a complicated scenario. Reaction, reaction, yeah. So, Travis, the way we're gonna resolve this is this. Because he's gonna throw his shield up so he doesn't get hit. But I only have one reaction, so I couldn't do it twice. But it's, yes, it's, it's, an, interesting, it's an interesting thing. I'm gonna leave this to one last roll of the dice. He's got an armor class of 22 with that shield going up, but I'm gonna allow you, because you're reacting to him casting a spell, to react anew to that casting of shield. No advantage, no disadvantage. You've got one chance to hit an armor class of 22. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Box out. Natural 20! 20! <laughs> God, yes, yes! What? <laughs> roll. Roll double damage if you'd be so kind. Sneak attack too? Oh my god. I'm gonna throw up. 
I have I feel a negative two right now. I think I'm dead. Barely, I'm just like, what? Yeah. Okay. That's 67 points of damage. Oh my god! I just wrote down on this piece of paper how many hit points <laughs> Thespin Chloris had. How much damage did you just roll? 67. With 35 hit points. Oh! No fucking way. No! Travis, how do you want to do this? Come on, Mage Oh my god. That is so nasty. Oh, so, oh, wow. Wow. I see, I see Vespin aiming for Laren, and the hawk that he usually keeps in a concealed manner, the blade rests in the palm of your hand. You can fold your fingers over it and that's it. He reaches back and lets it slide all the way down to the bottom of the handle so you get the maximum momentum. And he sinks it eye to eye straight into his temple and pulls it down. <coughs> With the yank on the hawk, you watch the light go out of his eyes. And <laughs> uh, a silhouette of him in flame is all that is left as his body is wrenched back to the bottom of the Nine Hells. <laughs> oh my god. You're perfect. <laughs> what the fuck? What? What the fuck? The early the bird. bird. The early bird gets the worm. Yeah, all sorts of sayings. Um, holy shit. Um, un unbelievably, it is your turn. Oh my god. Uh huh. It's your turn? Oh, it's my turn. There's nothing else to do. Just a little bit longer. Yep, yep. I'm just going to move to the nearest. Uh, Move to the nearest tax man and stand between them and the ladies. Incredible. Um, uh, do, you, do you want to make an attack, or do you want to ready an action, or anything like that, or no? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll make a, I'll make a. Mm, go for mm, it. I'll make an attack. Yeah, go for uh, it. Why not? And then Nidus, you're on deck. So uh, that's a 20, 25 to hit. Twenty five hits. Uh, you can roll sneak attack on this. Oh, I can. Okay, yeah. I would have to do the deception that for sure. Five, uh, 40, what? 42 points of. Wow. Damn, that's the biggest Holy one. Shit. 42 points of snake um, damage. Bam, bam, just hitting this massive construct with your axes, uh, uh, raining down blows upon it. Nidus, that's going to be you. Uh, this is a crazy, I, I guess I can make an arc. I cannot too. believe that you just saved Lara's life by killing <laughs> Vespin Chloris <laughs> <laughs> on a nat 20. Oh, Unbelievable. Natural. Put that down with a case. <laughs> <laughs> right? Case Unbelievable. Exactly. exactly. Never. That's <laughs> never use that dice again, okay. or use that dice forever. <laughs> um, it's just yeah. another. It's just another night on Avalon. Just another day. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty. Um, okay. Do I get the? Uh, this is I, the promise. The last promise I made to Xerxes is that I wouldn't let him turn. Do I get the sense that if I killed him, like if he straight up died, died, he would not come back? You can make uh, make a religion check for me. Oh. Well, he was always the one who was better at those sorts of things. Uh, only a nine. Ironically, it would be a leap of faith on your part. <laughs> if you believe or not that that might save your friend, it's unclear. I look to loquacious. No, I don't. Never mind. <laughs> I don't look back at loquacious. <laughs> I look, no. Um, Confirmation. <laughs> I'm just picking things out of my teeth. <laughs> I, uh, God, what am I gonna do? 
Did I kill my best friend? Is that cool? Yeah. I, I don't, that's cool. <laughs> that's yeah. Like, yeah. That's sick murder. Yeah. Yeah. What you think you should um, yeah, put him out of his misery? Oof. Uh, yeah. You tell me if you'll allow can, this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. Can he roll like an insight? Like. Rec yeah. Recollecting something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me. Give me an insight. Uh, uh, we'll say, call it a DC 15 insight. Okay. All right, I just gotta get, don't get two. That's 10, so 22. Okay. Is that enough? Yeah, well, um, you know me. I would never have let my guard down like that. I took those blows. Uh, if you'll allow me, I'd uh, I'd like to make uh, one attack on the tax man standing over him, and then I'd like a ready an action, uh, so that should I fall, uh, I drive my blade into my best friend's heart. Oh. Oh. Make your attack on the tax Very man. Good. Cool. Uh, uh, that's a. Uh, uh, that is a. Nine plus 12 equals 21 to hit. That hits. Great. Uh, oh. <laughs> uh, uh, I will look back, uh, I will look over at Serret uh, and say, Vespin Cloris, not a bad name to have on your list. Uh, I'm gonna give you a bardic inspiration. Um, and uh, I'll do eight damage, or no, yeah, eight damage with an attack on the taxman. <laughs> um, uh, you swing around, huah, hit them here. Um, you ready your action. Uh, it's going to be the taxman. Vespin gone, they advance. One, two, three, four, five. All fours? Wall of force there, yes. Um, Sarah, you get an attack of opportunity. Yep. <gasps> get him. Body count, body count. Body count, body mm -hmm. count. Uh, that's a 26 to hit. Oh, uh, 26 to hit, 26 hits. But I can't use sneak attack again on this, right? It's no. just a single hit, yeah. Uh, so a whopping eight points of slashing nice. damage. Magical. Um, ting! <laughs> uh, uh, swings past. Uh, this tax man's going to Take a swing on Nidus. Twenty-three points of damage to Nidus. Uh, as I go down. Oh. No. Uh, I make sure I don't miss. Oh. Oh fuck. Ready in your action. Oh shit. You fall. You look. The sword the constructs you made. <gasps> Scimitar. Ta! That is two failed death saves for Xerxes. Minutes before sunrise. Oh man. Nidus, you fall. <laughs> the Uh, this taxman is going to move here and take another swing at Serret. Um, hits, oof, deals you 30 points of damage. I'll eat it. Mm. Yes, he will. <laughs> um, uh, dispelling blast from one of the taxmen that approaches the wall. Uh, yeah, these are fucking amazing. I'm gonna need a constitution, I'm gonna need a constitution saving throw from Pesha for the Wall of Force. Warcaster. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Nice. Big money, big money, no way I'm Fifteen. Okay. Um. Pesha, you take 18, 23, 28, 35. You take 39 points of psychic damage. Oh. Pesha goes down, oh. but 
Patia was also writing her action. Yes. As Patia goes down, if you will allow me. Yes. Whatever ancient magic deep down inside that I gathered of Raushan and Kamort mm -hmm. that I got from the arboreal cortex. Mm -hmm. I just look at Laren and more or less accept my fate and unleash whatever essence that Patia has left committing to this. The, sorry, what, what does he want to say there? Uh, even though like I know it wouldn't work, I would have thrown my arcane ward to try to take all of it. So 33 goes away, but I just don't think that's enough. How much was it total? 39. 39, I think, yeah. Still not enough. Yeah. Um, Patia. Within your body, Pesha, you release what you were holding on to. Uh, as you release it into the lay right, moments before Laren's final act, a ninth level spell leaves your body. A wish or a miracle spells that rework the fabric of the world itself. Leaves, hits the lay right, and the energy levels of the city rise to a hundred. <clears throat> you fall seeing your friend. Um, Half of the party has fallen. Uh, I'm going to need a constitution saves. If you have any active spell effects. Um, two, are up. two are up. Go ahead and give me two constitution saves, uh, concentration checks, essentially. Oh, boy. Oh. oh, God. Oh, my God. Wow. We just got it. What yeah. happened over there? Natural two. It was, it was a two and a, and a one, two. and then a one, and then a one and a fourteen. Shakes. <laughs> um. Eleven. Seventeen. Uh. Thirty-one. Forty damage from the first one. Oh no. Thing. I have one hit point left. Oh no. And you failed both saves, correct? What was the DC on the second one? Uh DC was 19. Oh, are these technically spell like is this spell damage? No, this is not spell damage. God damn it, Brennan. I so did sorry. one important thing and you're just not letting me know. <laughs> <laughs> um So we're gonna trace. So the second one would be an 18. The second one would be an 18? Yeah, it was a 14 on the die, plus four. Does that make it? DC is 19. Damn. Which is why it's really, really good that a ready. Do not leave me. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, your healing work. Oh my god. You cannot leave me now. <laughs> Go ahead and roll that oh for god. me, see? I thought I'm dying. What are you talking about? <laughs> What he just been in the corner picking his teeth, waiting for this beautiful <laughs> moment. Waiting. I'm losing my mind. I mean, I'm just rolling a. She's back up, right? <sighs> back up. Yeah. I mean, and I'm, Laren, uh, you don't even drop because the spell was ready. It's as a reaction. It's on. Wow. It's on the turn where you take the damage, so you don't even lose consciousness. You just take the damage and are back. Say a one. Oh my God. Three. Ten Always. points. Always. Ten points. Okay. Oh. And Laren. With the word of healing from your fey husband, you have 10 hit points, and it's your turn. Okay, I was all for this, and it has to have been worth it. I try to finish. I just have to finish. Come on. 
Give me. Oh, fuck that die. Yes, it's so bad. What are you trying to roll? What are you? It, what they've been it? Arcana checks the whole yeah, time. And you can right? roll with advantage, but yes, absolutely. That's uh, it's twenty-two. Uh, twenty-eight. Uh, just with that last healing word, give me one more of Loquacious's uh, bardic inspirations on top of it. Oh, okay. Plus another four. 32. 32. I'm physically falling apart right now. 100%. Loquacious, Patia, your best friend to your side. You see, lying beside each other, Xerxes and Nidus, standing in the center of the room, still fighting with every breath, is Seret. You reach, all of you feel. <gasps> As the city settles energy restored from what you saved from the Tree of Names. You touch your hands, this thing you made, this dream. Are you the woman who doomed the world or are you the woman who saved it? Are all of you, the heroes that you strove to be, or the villains that from time to time you might have been afraid you were becoming. In a world with this much power, what can be said to be the difference? You reach far away the Eldritch Battery the names of the emperor and empress alight. <laughs> Lime green energy <laughs> rushing through the city as the city docks atop Kath Moira, the sun threatening to rise above the horizon. The energy rushes into the ground, their names inscribed to break the ancient wards, to release the primordials Colossus of fire, a titan of earth, to join the betrayers and bring eternal torment to Exandria. That is what was foretold. If the primordials joined, all would be lost. Dying from his injuries, but smiling because he completed his last instructions. Callum staff right connected the broken battery back to the etheric net and put it online for you. It is nice perhaps to know that a woman of your singular genius was not completely alone. The energy rushes into the earth, connected to the lay right, and swirls preparing to summon them back into Exandria, and instead the Layrite crafts a path away from this world. You made your choice. Safety for Avalir and Kathmoira and the lands of Dominus, or certainty that Exandria in some form would survive the coming calamity. As the magic flows, the taxmen suddenly stop, and you hear a voice coming through them from the Lord of Hells. <laughs> Done. 
energy erupts, the ground shakes, and the ley line <laughs> angles up into the heavens. You hear the ground trembling. No! 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 from here ships are flying as many people as can have been saved are moving in these final moments there are many things that you do not see but it would be right for you to know <laughs> no A ship of sorceress children. A young Triton girl, a little dragon sorcerer boy, and a man whose hat has been freshly decandled <laughs> fly from the city of Avalier. I don't know how to describe what Exandria would have lost. And instead, all of those children with all of the magic within them are taken away. For Nidus and Xerxes, as you lay dying, Xerxes, you feel release. And let me ask you, your friend Nidus has given you this way out. The words of the Lord of the Hells were sweet and cloying. Does Xerxes take this chance to walk away? In his, like, whatever remains of his consciousness, it's as if he has a knife to his own throat. But in the back of his mind, he knows in his heart that salvation and redemption is there for everyone. And it pulls him right back. You remain within this form. The last thing you see <coughs> as your body begins to immolate and burn, going to the place where Vespin went, is a griffin made of stars called back to its feather bearing on its back a young boy holding a journal. Oh. The griffin climbs and climbs, racing against the dawn, and the griffin opens a door into a sea of stars. Elias leaps into the arms of Evandrin, reunited. You see the face of your husband and your son. And across endless realms, you hear Evandrin's voice. I know what you gave. You found a path beyond the stars. I do not know 
whence the gods came from, but I know that you found it in your heart. I promise you, Xerxes, I will find that place. I will find the secret of how these worlds were made. And I will come and find you and bring you home. Whatever little strength I have, all I can do is close my eyes and feel myself fall as I touch his name stuff with whatever little strength I have left. You fall into the flame to become something terrible. But your son, your husband, they know freedom and life out there among the stars. Nidus, in your last moments, you hear ascending from your brother. Nidus, this is Edelus. We're on the flagship. Where are you? Have you made your way? Your, have you made your way to safety? Yes, brother. All will be well. You feel a different sending in this moment. Your brother, with his latent magic, connecting to your heart and you see two young boys on the deck of a ship, looking up under a clear blue sky to a city in the clouds. You think we'll ever get there one day? Of course we will. With your heroes, <laughs> nothing's going to stop us. Well, some things might. You already, I don't know why I say you should get there. Your head's already in the clouds. <laughs> Brother, <laughs> it's important to dream. <clears throat> it's important to dream. As the life leaves from the wounds put on you by your own creations, you got those kids out. You got the ships to those people. When you think of the future and what people will say of this time, do you think anyone will talk about how beautiful your dream was? No. But that's all right. Because it was real for us. For those who survived, they will remember and it will inspire them to dream of things far greater. Pesha. The images of Avalir from your wall surround you. Your friend in your last moments, you can see she did it. She had the energy she needed. The words come back. You scanning through your orb. Selfish, selfish, selfish. And you are here at the end of this city that has defined you. In this moment, what can you let go of and what must you hold on to, if anything? Do 
do you reach deeper into yourself? You remember an image of your grandfather. Remember, Beja, if a time should come when you must choose between the poor Coes, our family, and Avalier, we built Avalier. We could build it again. What matters more, the dream or the dreamer? In this moment, as the life leaves you, what are Pesha's final thoughts? body as the taxmen power down. Many more dreams to come. The voice of a young girl. In your final moments, you hear, Dad? Dad, it's Maya. I, I've got, I've got some kind of orb. I've got, and knowing, knowing that it doesn't have to be forgotten, and that new dreams don't have to tread the paths of the old. No. You let go. Sarah, is it you here in your stone? <laughs> Wingspan, this is clear eye. You sound so afraid. Don't be. Are you with your mother? Um, you speak now to, you see that the, the stone gets grabbed by your son. He says, Dad, Dad, it's, this is talent. We, we're, we're back in, where are, and you hear the voice of your wife, Rain, go, darling, we are, we are in Grisar. All is well. L let me speak. Let me speak to your father. Okay, Beverly Code Daves. And you see, she says, Wingspan, I'm here. They're both here. They're both here. Tell me, tell me you're coming. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry I was never there. I'm sorry I never saw you or them. If I can, I promise I will make it up to you. That's a promise, Dad. That's a promise. Darlings, I want you to go inside. Everything's gonna be all right. You hear the noise of your children this goodbye? No. No. Those children are the best thing we ever did. And it's gonna take a lot more than this to stop me from getting back to them and you. You begin to hear the rumbling. <laughs> Darling, I want you to know, don't, don't in your, 
your heart have this. Don't feel regret. Moments seem like they're gonna last forever all the time. You look for problems, darling. I know you see the moments that you weren't there. Our children loved you, and I do too. You're a great father. You're a great man. And I don't know why. <laughs> the eruption of energy, stone goes dark. You hear the noise of collapse in the labyrinth outside. Loquacious and Laren. What? I run to you immediately. Yeah. I grab your hands and just stare into your eyes. did it. I couldn't have done any of it without you. Without all of us. Yeah. Yeah. This isn't, uh, the most romantic place in the world, but it sort of looks like a church. Uh, yeah. Oh. I think we have a little time. I... I've been able to become anyone I want my whole life. <laughs> but I just want to be with you. I... I can't believe that the thing I almost broke beyond fixing was us. You're the best thing that ever happened to me, and I have lived my life in defiance of the gods, but meeting you and being loved by you is a miracle. So I know they're real. And for whatever time we have left, I love you. I have always loved you, and I will always love you. I love you too. And I'll just, just kiss her. Noise, energy. Sarah, in this final moment, knowing that there's chaos outside, the halls are crumbling, energy is being released. Do you attempt to keep your promise to try and make your way out, or do you accept what is to come? I'll move to the door and look. My children deserve that. My eyes go wide, feathers up. Can I send him across the bond? The labyrinth that I know so well, like directions to the closest viewing window that he could potentially make his way out of. The directions to the, clo yes, absolutely. Um, this will be our final role of this campaign. Uh, you have bardic inspiration. I do. A D10? A D10. Um, with, and, and mechanically that's giving advantage, correct? I do. Um, you have a die of bardic inspiration. You have advantage. This is the calamity. DC, we are setting, is 30. And is he all the way across the room? He is uh, most of the way across the room, I believe. Yes, why? I'll try. I'll try to just throw him my 
my talisman. I have a, I have a packed boon talisman. And that adds a D4. A D4 if he fails. A D4 if he fails. You're going to roll this with advantage. And you have a die of inspiration. Let's roll the inspiration first. Ins- uh, inspiration first. Let's see what you're adding. Come on. That's cocked. Eight. Okay. You're rolling. Uh, you're rolling with advantage, and if you fail, you get a D4. What a am DC. I? What am I rolling? Investigation, which oh, is plus now pl- with that inspiration plus twenty-one. Got this. It's a, it's a plus what? Plus 21. That's a 31. Oh! oh! That's a 10. Oh! No way. <laughs> Laren and Loquacious embrace. Your movement is the only thing that saves you, that you can move 150 feet around. Underneath you, Raushan and Kamwart are released. You made sure it would work. Fire and earth together. Magma, lava, veins of red opening in the earth. As Avalir crumbles and the magic spreads, sprinting through collapsing tunnels, soaring as fast as you can through tight turns. Do we still have some remnant of a telepathic bond? Yes. Can I reach out to Lairon yeah. and say, the brass ring endures. I want you to know you gave us a chance. I don't think you hear anything back. Just you feel relief. The continent of Dominus will have been unfamiliar to most people prior to the beginning of our story. Because in the modern age of Exandria, the chain of islands known as the Shattered Teeth is all that remains. the most it could be contained to, to ensure that it would work, was the land of Dominus. The earth opens, and fire and stone (laughs) shatters a continent. The calamity will last for centuries and at the end of it, two-thirds of those living beings of Exandria will be no more. Some large amount of that greater number died not only in the first year, but in the first moments of calamity. As Raushan and Kamwort believing that they will rejoin the betrayer gods, are instead unmade, disenchanted, bound to a surging ley line, and fired, diffused through as many realms as the ley rite could send them through, two great titans are destroyed. Say what you will about the Age of Arcanum, but great workings were indeed possible. Gone from Exandria, those primordials do not join the betrayers. And as they do not join the betrayers, though it will see centuries of strife and ruin, one day the people of Exandria will triumph and the calamity will end. 
many will be lost. Divinity will be forever sequestered behind the divine gate. But at the end of it all, hope will return as many times as it needs to. The eruption of ash and fire, molten stone, sends a cloud of ash and shadow that will cover Exandria for a hundred years, marking the beginning of this age of ruin. Fire embraces Patia and Nidus. A different fire awaits the first night. And the fire as brightly as it may burn, does not burn so brightly as your love, which shines the brightest in your last moment, having given this world a chance. Ash, heat, rising faster than you can imagine from the earth. And on a 31, at the very top of that cloud, the last member of the brass ring gets to keep his promise to his family. You fly for weeks over oceans choked by ash and soot. You don't get to give your kids the world that they deserve, but you get to give them the world that they can fight for with you. In that reunion is a memory of this place and time preserved. I don't know that I can promise the future of Sarah, his wife and their children, nor the future of those children aboard the ships of the Golden Scythe, nor Evandrin and Elias out amongst the stars. We've told a story of the coming of a time of darkness, the coming of calamity, of shadow and fire and ruin, Why do we tell stories? To try to make sense of a world that can be terrifying and enormous. In Exandria, I don't know that your story will long be known. I don't know who will remain to tell it, but it did happen and it did matter. And though calamity is here, because of you, it will not be here forever. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, for all of you at home, uh, we're sending lots of love and it has been an honor beyond words to be at this table and tell this story with you all. Uh, tons of love from all of us to all of you, and uh, we hope that you have seen the story here and share in all of the feelings that we have. And I guess, I guess at the end, all I have left to say is it Thursday yet? <laughs> oh, that was masterful! <laughs>